Man, would you look at that. 365 days have passed. We are officially exiting 2022, and what better way than to celebrate than by cracking one of these bad boys open. Welcome back, pal. And I will say this has been a very interesting year. Of course, we always have our ups, our downs, but what else is new, right? As I do want to go ahead and welcome you guys back to the final video of 2022, where it's been a roller coaster. It's been a roller coaster. Lots of good things have happened. Lots of bad things have happened, but nonetheless, I'm very happy to be here. Why? Because last year, right around this time, I wouldn't be. Now, for those that are new or for those who are unaware, last year, I caught the mysterious virus from an unknown origin and I almost went down for good. But thankfully enough, I jeer in the virus and what more can I say? I'm still here, right? But I will say this. I am very thankful for all of you guys being here, the old people, the new people, and what an adventure it's been. And I can't believe, to me at least, how fast time just so happens to fly by because I'm gonna be 70 years old before you know it, you know what I mean? However, before we get there, today we're gonna be playing a bunch of games, and I think, I think, this might be my longest gaming roulette video ever. And the reason why I say that is because I'm in a gaming mood, you know what I mean? I wanna play a bunch of random games as many as I can, so I hope you guys stick on by and watch the entire video all the way through because we've got some really cool things to talk about. We're gonna be talking about 2023, future fan mangas, future fan animations, and everything in between, you know what I mean? And just in case you're curious as to the games that we're gonna be playing, those games and their timestamps will be located down in the description box below. So if you see something you like and you wanna watch it, click the timestamp, and there you go. You know, come to think of it, I might be changing the format to the Gaming Roulette series as we go into 2023, so I guess we'll talk about that throughout the duration of this video, right? So with that being said, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links will also be located down in the description box below. And also be sure to give this video a big fat thumbs up by smashing that like button down below for your boy. And I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. I hope you guys bang it out going into 2023. For those that are young, I hope you graduate and you guys are healthy. For those that are within my age range, I hope you guys get the bag, you know, work on your health, get married, do whatever, live your life and simply have fun. So as always, I greatly appreciate you guys. And with that being said, I am in a gaming mood. It is cold in my room, but that's not gonna stop me because I'm gonna fire up my PS5, my Xbox Series X and my PC. And we gonna get gaming because I have a lot of games that I wanna go in ahead and get through. So here we go. Where did I leave my Jack Daniels, boy? Man, what a way to end off 2022. We're kicking things off with a bang. Mastered Ultra Instant Goku versus none other than our boy Hakai Shin Powered Ultra Ego Vegeta. And man, do we have a lot to talk about today. So first things first, I am using a very specific modded version of this that doesn't have a HUD. And holy crap, am I just starting this off the wrong way. This man's going to Hakai me if I don't actually get my act together. But there we go. I was actually waiting for this to happen. So really, I don't know what to expect. I mean, for all we know, Vegeta could end up beating me or I could end up beating Vegeta, but I'm gonna have to be very careful here because if I'm not, then I think he's gonna get the better of me because here we go once again with the Hakai stuff. Interestingly enough, we started off the year with this story over here, Mastered Ultra Instant Goku versus Ultra Ego Vegeta. And if you guys remember, Ultra Ego Vegeta got the better of Goku, but this time around, I am beating the shit out of him and I'm gonna be the one that closes off the year with the victory instead of opening up the year with a massive L. So just to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer, we're gonna be working on so many stories going into 2023, which I can't believe that I'm even talking about right now because I don't know about you guys, but the year just flew by for me, right? But nonetheless, I wanna thank you guys so much for supporting the stories, supporting the Gaming Roulette series, and if you guys have paid attention on the channel, this has unquestionably been a very good year for Vegeta on the channel because we actually went on to feature several stories involving Vegeta, including, as of course you guys can see, the story of Ultra Ego Vegeta versus Merge Zamasu, an alternate story that happens in the Future Trunks timeline, and you guys have absolutely loved that story. 
Vegeta tore through Zamasu. Also, we have featured the story of Hakaishin Vegeta, not really Ultra Ego Vegeta, but more or less Destroyer Vegeta versus Beerus at full power, as of course you guys can see, which not for nothing, Vegeta had taken so many Ws on the channel this year, and really that's all because of you guys, because a lot of you guys were telling me, yo Al, you should give Vegeta more of the spotlight, you should be able to give Vegeta more victories, and guess what I did? I featured him in so many stories and actually made him shine through. So, uh, not for nothing right now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm getting a little nervous because I completely forgot this version of this ISO because I think Vegeta just might be a little stronger than Goku in this game. I could be mistaken, but yo, I am really trying to get the better of him and not for nothing, like, I think narratively, I should be able to win, but this is just insane and I'm really trying my best because I'm not sure if he's nearing the end of his lifespan, if I'm nearing the end of my lifespan. For all I know, one Hakai could ultimately do it and that would spell disaster for me. So from what I can hear my headphones, yeah, I kind of figured because on my headphones I can hear myself powering up. But either way, I don't think that I'm going to be including the no HUD ISO mods next year because, yo, having to remove the HUDs for these games is really hard. And some of you guys may not know this, but my PC really got fucked up in September because I was really trying to mod Budokai Tenkaichi 3, all of my ISOs to remove the HUDs, and I thought my PC was going to, like, self-destruct, you know what I mean? So I think that going into 2023, I'm going to feature the HUDs versus removing them, so it is what it is, I suppose, just like this gigantic gigantic spirit bomb hopefully this will be it and if it's not i'm just gonna keep launching spirit bomb after spirit bomb and that's all she oh it's over mastered ultra instant goku had finally gotten the victory over vegeta gg on that one but we're not done because we have another fight coming up next I mean, need I say more? A lot of you guys may already know my bias for this, but here we have Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito versus Mastered Ultra Instinct Gogeta, and as you guys may know, I'm a Vegito boy, that's my dude, that's my preferred fusion, and I'm gonna go on ahead and beat the shit out of Gogeta because this year was also a very awesome year for the concept of Vegito and specifically the concept of Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito. So, oh wow, he actually blocked me. All right, so this may not be as easy of a fight as I thought it would be because I think that, again, not for nothing, Gogeta might be, oh Jesus Christ, I have to be very careful. I think Gogeta in this game, for this ISO, may be stronger than me, but look at this, shirtless Vegito, torn pants and everything, I'm about to mollywop this dude, and not for nothing, like I said, my bias leans towards Vegito, if you guys have forgotten the story of Myrno, which, again, I can't believe that it's over when we saw Myrno actually fight toe-to-toe -to -toe against Master the Ultra Instinct Vegito, as, of course, you guys can see here, it was incredible. And not only that, but we saw other instances where I finished off the Vegito versus Gogeta story, as, of course, once again, you guys can see right here, we had the story of Vegito versus Gogeta, where they actually went as far as to use Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, 3, God Blue, Kaioken Evolution, we had Ultra Instinct Omen, Mastered Ultra Instinct, it was insane, so I think going into 2023, we're gonna do more including Gogeta, just to kind of please all of those fans that love Gogeta, just like right now, I am beating the shit out of him, so here we go, it's done, I'm calling the fight right now, it's over, and let's see if that's actually true, there's no way, oh crap, okay, that was, I did not expect that, is he dead? He has to be dead. There's no way. Oh, he's still alive. All right, let me let me go on ahead and put an end to this. I mean, like I said before, having the no HUD system is pretty cool because it makes the game stand out that much more, but not for nothing, I'm clicking and clacking, and I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what it is about Tenkaichi 3. My hands always get so freaking sweaty. So here is what I want you guys to do in the comment section right now. Number one, let me know in the comment section below what you guys want to see in terms of fan stories in 2023. Number two, in terms of additional fan animations, let me know in the comment section below as to what kind of fan animations in terms of sprite battles do you guys want to see in 2023. So we're going to try our best to make it happen. And I'm telling you all right now, it's done for this boy. There's no way he's surviving this because I, don't, I mean, Damn it, man. I don't know what it is. I'm telling you, I think that Gogeta for this game, for this ISO, he has to be stronger. Either, either that or I'm just going crazy. But needless to say, I want to thank you guys so much because we reached a million subscribers. We were able to achieve several milestones on the channel that I never 
ever would have thought would have happened and really it's because of you guys i thank you guys so much and i appreciate you guys more than you can ever imagine i really do which honestly i really do hope that you guys had fun on the channel this year what the hell is happening right is he transforming wait a minute wait 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 oh whoa okay omni god go g oh my god okay i'm dead I'm, I'm gonna lose this what the hell is this wait a minute i mean by proxy i should be able to do the same thing hold on i have to put an end to this i'm sorry what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna spam this final kamehameha i am not taking an l i am not taking an l to an inferior fusion in my opinion i'm not is oh he's dead wow that was yo i got a little worried i ain't gonna lie but you know what fight number three is coming up next so at least we got that Okay, now see, this one's going to be a little different because I know how strong Super Saiyan Blue Rykon is for some of these ISOs, but I said to myself, you know what I want to do? I want to go ahead and feature Rykon versus Jiren. So I want to see how far we can actually go here, you know, before we can... Oh, damn, he's dodging everything that I was throwing at him. I was about to say, I want to see how far we can go before we actually shed his blood all over the ground because I know how strong Rykon is. And if you guys have checked out or missed out the previous stories on the channel involving Jiren, involving Raikon, check that out because I'm telling you all right now, we have so much more coming your way. I think he's dead. There's, I mean, a few more shots. I know that my ultimate for this game, oh my god, look at those dodges. Watch this. This is my ultimate. I know it's a one-shot KO. And I think that's it. Yeah. Oh my, that was like the fastest fight ever, dude. Holy balls. Now this one is going to be interesting because not only has Goku achieved the level of the angels in going far beyond them, but this right here is Omni Angel Super Saiyan Mastered Ultra Instant Goku versus the Grand Priest. Now, as of course you guys may already know, I have restarted the story of the top five strongest in the multiverse, and you guys went bananas when I announced it and when I released it, and we have so much more coming your way, but I don't want to reveal too much because it'll give away a lot of the surprises that I have in store, but just know that at the end of the day, this is all because of you guys, and I really do hope that you guys had a fantastic year on the channel in just finding the entertainment value that you guys did with the stories and the sprite animations and all that stuff this is pretty brutal for the grand priest i'm not gonna lie which speaking of as of course you guys can see the grand priest's battle with Murno was insane a lot of you guys absolutely loved that and i am very grateful for that because the grand priest when he fought Murno, obviously enough was not using his full power in the beginning and as soon as Murno turned it up by using his full power which ultimately prompted the grand priest in using his full power that was the end of him and to see everyone jump Murno and to see the multiversal spirit bomb being used it was a fantastic story and you guys just loved every bit of it and of course this story right here featuring the Grand Priest training Jiren in case you guys have missed out on that that was a little special that we did which was absolutely fantastic so expect to see more stories involving the Grand Priest in 2023 and beyond because I mean not for nothing oh wait he's down oh damn okay so we beat the shit out of him so I really wasn't expecting for that to happen but now we have Zycor now why is Zycor important well for the month of Halloween we went on to introduce a totally new concept involving the resurrection of Zycor for a special as of course you guys can see and he ended up fighting hit which was just a crazy battle to begin with and i have no doubt that right now i'm gonna finish him off with ease because i don't see zycor doing anything to touch omni grand priest master ui super saiyan goku whatever the hell he wants to be considered so by bringing zycor back for some of these specials was really nice and I want to know for 2023, what are some stories that you guys want to see involving Zycor? Because I was thinking about bringing him back and having him fight multiple different characters for either specials or even an ongoing series, but I think that really varies on you guys and what you guys want to see. I was considering a few specific characters, but I guess we'll wait and see. I don't think that Zycor is going to survive. And I just noticed this, by the way, because my hands are really sweaty. Does he have Ultra Instinct? I mean, there's no way, right? I mean, considering the overall fact, look at me. 
and look at him. So I'm going to go ahead and finish him off here as we progress through. And again, I hope you guys sit back and watch through this entire gaming roulette video. Number one, it helps us out in the algorithm. Number two, it helps us out with the watch retention time. And number three, there's just going to be a lot of entertaining shit on this video. So I really don't see Zykor surviving this or I'm going to use my gigantic Kamehame. Okay, wait a minute. Is he down? Yeah, he's dead. All right, well, what a way to end off 2022 with a massacre like that, man. GG. Oh, we're waging war today. I just joined an in-game progress. Welcome back to Halo Infinite. This is Stockpile, and I'm just going to go in. I, I, At this point, Jesus Christ. All right, um... Oh, man, this is an all-out fucking war, man. What the hell is happening? Okay, I, I need to... I need to stand down for a second. Who the hell? All right, yeah. Just get in the Warhog and just drive, fellas. Jesus Christ. Okay, so I'm assuming right now that everyone's after the stockpile, you know, energy cases. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get that dude. Oh, that grenade hit me. That's not good. That's not us. Oh, son of a mother. Okay, what's happening right now? I am so confused. So the game just started, which is good. Oh, my homies are driving in the middle of this pit of shit, dude. Closing off 2022 with a bang. Listen, I've been playing with a lot of you guys online, and it's been a pleasure. Like, literally, it's just been pandemonium. So this game is just the shit. I love it, and just based on everything that's been happening, dude, this game is super, super fun. I'm telling you all this right now. So let's all try to get the, um, I hate stockpile so much, man, but it is what it is. Yo, the enemy already has, like, okay, hold on. Yo, crap, there's a dude right there. He's behind the bush. Now nah, listen, homie, I'm gonna pop you in the in, in the name of retribution to get what why did I just throw that down there? God damn it, dude. In the name of all that's oh Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? He had a sword. Oh that son of a bitch had a sword. Listen, if you guys are down to play, my gamer tag is too real unreal. Jesus, yo, we're getting blasted. This is not how I expected to jump on hail. What the fuck? Oh, oh, okay, you know what? Uh does anyone wanna get on? Anyone? You sons of bitch. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go in the middle of this. I'm just gonna go in the middle of this. And I'm just gonna start running motherfuckers over. That's it. Just get in the get in the warhog! Get in the warhog, you stupid fuck! Get in the warhog! Oh my okay, someone got in the warhog. Alright, here we go. It's time to light these dudes up. Listen, I am closing out 2022 the best way I know how. And that's with the victory. So right now, it looks like we just need one more. One more power seed. That's all we need. Oh my god, my hands are getting so sweaty. All right, we're in their base. What are we gonna do? Oh, they're all up in here. Yeah, you know what? That's right. Yeah, look at all these assists. Wreck them. Oh god, if they stick me, it's over. If they stick me, I'm telling you all right now, it's over. This is like, yo, this is anxiety. This is anxiety filled, man. I gotta get the fu- Oh, get out, yo. We gotta get the hell out of the Warhog. Um, oh, perfect. Yes, yes, get out the Warhog. Get in here. Get in here. Get in here. Yo. Yo, get in here, you, you stupid bastard. Get, get, why are, oh my, you know, get, get in the, get on, get on. Someone get attached. Thank, thank Jesus. All right, uh, okay, perfect. So, more driver assists. Let, let's see what happens here. Listen, I am fighting for a victory. I don't give a damn about KD. Oh, oh, yo, we just ran him over. Yo, we just ran him over from the back, yo. How the hell do we ram our ass into him and he dies? Oh, this is wonderful. Come on, boys. Steal it. Steal the uh steal the power seed. What's wrong with our people? Come on. Steal the power seed. We're literally just camping at their base, bro. Steal the power seed. What is oh sweet mother of god. Nah, bro, you ain't taking me out. You ain't taking daddy out. I'm gonna run your ass over with my fat ass. Come here. Oh crap, there's a guy right there too. Jesus Christ. This is crazy, yo. And again, I just really hope that you guys are having fun because, oh, I gotta get the fuck out of them. Get out of the world! Ew! This ain't good. Oh, my God. Damn, what the hell's happening right now? This is... Man, my team. My... Listen, all we need... We just need one more power seed. Like, what's going on here? Oh, mother of God. You know what? I guess I'll go for it, I suppose. And, and the reason why I hate stockpile is because you have to grab these power seeds, bring it back, and then it becomes a struggle of who has the most power seeds it's just like i don't know i it, it ain't for me I, I i would guess but it is what it is now who else wants to smoke i'm going up in their base by myself oh my god lone wolf style listen i always used to do this and i'm still doing it now let me just make sure that nobody's here oh god all right oh no nah, no nah, you ain't stealing nothing boom you ain't stealing nothing double kill baby oh there's a dude up here wait wait hold on do i have any grenades ah damn son this is crazy and 
I encourage you guys to tag along with me. Only competent players only. You know? It's New Year's. I mean, why the hell not, right? Merry fucking Chris. I'm, I'm getting on this mongoose. I'm running somebody over. Somebody gonna get ran over. I promise you that. Unless I get killed. Oh, they... Wow, they stole our... Fu they stole our power seeds? Are you kidding me right now? They're stealing our power seeds? Oh, sweet jeez. I'm fighting two guys at once. Aw, oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yo, I'm... Yo, I'm a beast. I'm a god. I'm the motherfucking problem. What is my team doing? I don't get it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm in their base. I'm taking down, you know, just two guys at a time. And it's like... My team is like jacking off like in the bush. You know what I mean? It's just, it's weird. <laughs> you guys are weird, man. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I'd be jacking off in the bush too if I was in the, you know in the middle of a war. But you know what I'm saying? Oh, they're they're gonna score. I have that feeling. Yep, they scored. I knew it. Oh my god. And now, and now the power seeds are gonna be like all over the place. Oh, this sucks. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! All right. Well. Jesus Christ. So, they got the leg up on us. Oh, oh my god. I'm getting bodied from, like, all angles. Well, look at this guy. Look at this guy and his hammer. What, what is he gonna do? Who are you... Wow. Who are you swinging at, dog? Y'all saw that? Who is this guy swinging at? He was swinging at a ghost. Oh, my... I Listen, I'm not starting this game off with a loss, man. I just can't. I'm throwing empanadas in the sky. I just can't start this game off with a loss, man. I have to do what I have to do to win. I'm not a KD person. I'm just the person that runs in and we score. That's it. Like, we just get the victory, the W. That's it. I, I'm willing to do whatever. Oh, it's the same guy that took that guy's hammer. All right. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. We need to hold the line here. Get all of it. Oh, my God. Yo, gun him down. Gun him down. Gun him down. Okay. We took all the... Oh, my God. We took all the power seeds, right? Or at least we should. Grab him. Grab him. That's right. Okay, we scored. Thank God. Go back. Go back. Go back. We have a lot of power seeds. Come on. Oh, crap. They, they brought in the Warhog. Oh, my God. What is happening? Yo, take down the Warhog, guys. They're here. They're here somewhere. Where are they at? There they are. Yo, take them out. 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 Can someone rocket launcher their asses or, or something? Oh, there we go. I had to do it. Take them down. You little punk bitch. All right. Who's next? Uh, oh, my God. It's in the cave. I hate this place. Okay. I'm going to have to figure out a way how to storm the cave without getting spotted. Oh, this is gonna suck. Well, they stole the power seed, lovely. Oh, shit. There's people at our base. Well, yeah, yo, there's people in our base. Duh. How does this guy, like, not suspect that? When the when the freaking AI just said, enemies in the base. Oh, I'm gonna die. Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Come on. Alright, let's see. Come on, just play it safe. Ah, uh, come on, take him out. Yo, homie, take him out. There's two of us. Uh, did he take him out? I have no idea. Uh, did he take him out? Yeah, uh, he did. Okay, I, I need to chill. Oh, my God recover oh there's a guy right there there's a guy right there i gotta shit my pants yeah oh he's grabbing the power seat no 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 not today you're not nope not today you're not chocolata oh god uh there's two of them of course is this guy is, is this guy even playing okay i was about to say that's right take him down take him down all right these guys are like all scattered all over the place Oh my god, there's people at our fucking base. Do you do you hear these people on the other side? No, oh my god, nobody's there's people. Doing anything about it. This guy's complaining that nobody's doing anything about it. Why don't you do something about it, jackass? There's a guy, like, hiding behind rocks right here. Like, of course they're in our base. You gotta love the people that are like, Oh my god, they're in our base. Nobody's doing anything about it. Why don't you do something about it, you big nose moron? Come on, I'll protect this guy. Go, go, go. All right, one more power seat. Come on, boys. We have to get one more power. I'm not letting you score. I'm not letting you score. Nope. I am not letting you score. Nope, I'm not letting you score, homie. On my honor. Oh, Jesus. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Switch tactics. There we go. Gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, and we scored. Yes. I got what the hell just happened? Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So all we need... Oh my God. All we need is one more. That's all we need is one more. Come on, boys. We have to kick this off with the victory, yo. Can we get this guy? This is so... I'm telling you. Like, this game, and probably, like, Gears of War and stuff, like, it's just filled with anxiety. Like, this shit gets your blood flowing, man. At least for me. And I want to thank you guys for sticking on by and watching all of the gaming roulette videos and all of the crazy shit we've done in these games, man. Oh, there we go. Come on. I'm taking on, like, 50 guys, man. Come on. I need help. 
Grab the power seeds, boys. Oh, let me... Can I grab this? Oh, my God. Look at this guy. He, th he thinks he's a ninja. He's, like, walking in there with the energy sword. Ooh, a sniper. Is, is he is he doing justice? Is, is he taking them out? At least we have a watcher, though. We call him the watcher. All right, come on. Um, Yo, just throw empanadas in, brown. Yo, all we need is, like, what? Two more, right? Come on, boys. Come on, come on, come on. We just need to... They need, they need one more to get to two. We need two more to, to actually finish the game. Protect me with your life. Yo, oh my god. Okay, they, they scored. Protect me, protect me. Uh, is this guy protecting me? Yo, protect me, protect me. Oh, sweet god. Come on, come on, come on. Yo, we just need two more. We just need two more. All we need is two more. Oh, I, I we need to... I need to kick this off with a W. Come on. Come on, come on. Oh, they're, they're, at, they're at our base. They're at our base. Oh, Jesus. All we need is one more, boys. Come on, come on. Oh, wait, did we score? We did! We did! Oh, we did it. Yo, what a great way to start this off, man. Oh, that was wonderful. Perfect. Oh, we're definitely doing another one. That was fire. That was really good. All right, here we go. Another game. This is Capture the Flag. So let's see if we can get this done. I'm very familiar with this map, but let me... All right, I guess we're both going up here. All right, so I'm... I Since he went first, he's going to grab it. I fucking knew it. All right, so he's got the sniper. Jesus, they're already shooting at us. All right, um... The squad needs to go in. I don't like working on this side of the field. I like working the opposite side. But Jesus, yo, they're tearing us apart. Are, are they in the Warhog? Yeah, they have to be. They have to be. I don't see anybody, though. Are we moving in? Is anyone moving in? I mean, I just see a bunch of our guys over here, right? Yo, take the Warhog out. Take the Warhog out. Somebody, anybody, right? Anybody? Oh, we have a man on the field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, crap, 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 crap. I am not losing this, I promise you. Capture the Flag is one of my favorite games. Oh, crap, they took our flag. Son of a... Yo, can, can y'all defend that? Thank you very much. Yo, they're all over there. Like, what the hell's happening? Oh, this guy is hiding behind the rock. Oh, you're mine. Uh-oh. This ain't good. This ain't good. Oh, this is gonna be a battle of... Oh, we just knocked each other out. All right. Um, wait. Why is the sniper on the ground? What is this guy doing? All right, I mean, all right. We're all up in their base, I guess. All right. Well, we got their flag. So, the only thing we need to do is just run back with it and that's about it right they have our flag so yo they're all up in our base is anyone going to like stop them look at this yo they're all up in our base oh jesus christ hold on wait a minute oh we throwing empanadas up in this bitch oh no no we're not going down listen it's it we're nearing 2023 oh what the hell yo what, what did you just see that something just like thrusted me into like my opponent that was crazy what the hell take him out take him out take him out somebody anybody Empanadas, do something. Uh, wait, did, wait, 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 hold on. So they recovered their flag, and they captured our flag. Oh my, what bullshit, bro. What is going on? Jesus Christ. Um, okay, I mean, we're down by one, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean we're gonna lose, I hope. So, let's see. Uh, someone get in the vehicle? Anybody? No, wrong side. Wrong side, dipshit. Oh my god. You know what? You know what? Uh, all right. You know what? Shock the top this time. I'm going right in. Are they, what the? Yo, they froze us. Get out of the Get out of the vehicle. Oh my god, dude. Really? Dude, and they have our flag. Can you not? Like, are they not gonna kill him? What happened? What? What the hell's going on down there, dude? Oh man, I don't like my team. I don't like my team. These guys aren't aggressive. Enemy flag carrier spotted. Oh, enemy flag carrier spotted. You know what? I guess I'll run up in their base, and I'll try to do something, because if I don't, then it is what it is. I mean, oh, they got multiple guys up there. All right, um, what am I going to do? Let me turn the corner here. Hello. Yeah, you're done. You're done, homie. He turned around. He was like, what the? All right, he's done. Let me go in ahead and grab some empanada. Oh, this guy's finished, too. What are you doing on the mongoose? Yeah, there we go. See, leave it up to me to run up in there and grab the flag by myself and try to bring it back. You know what I mean? Yo, I'm getting shot. I need help. I need help. I need help. I need help. Yo, this is why, bro. I want to punch these dudes in the mouth. What the hell are they doing? What are these guys doing, bro? Why are you... Why is he sniping from that vantage point? That's such a bad vantage point. What an idiot, dude. They're gonna score our shit. Look at that. Yo, they, they already have our flag. What are they doing? Oh, this is this is bad. Unless we can somehow turn it around. Oh, they scored. Yo, you guys suck. Come on, I'm not taking an L, man. I'm grabbing their flag again. I'm taking a different direction. 
Somebody cover me. For the love of God, somebody. Oh my God, they have a freaking aircraft vehicle. And this dude just jumped. Get him? Can you get him? Can you, what the fuck? Just, what, really? Yo, y'all saw that, right? Look at this guy. This guy just walked over to his death. Are you stupid? What is happening right now, dude? Oh, man. All right. Let me... I guess I'll just... Oh, okay. So he's not... What the fuck? Oh, my gums. Yeah, this is the worst game ever, dude. I can't believe this. Is this really happening? Is this really happening? I just saw a guy, this guy, like, jump to his death. I fell to my... Man, I, I fucking hate my team so much. Yo, it's oh, this is all y'all's fault, man. They're gonna score again. You're gonna score again. I can't believe... Yep. For, oh, my God, an L. Nope. Nah, we have to give redemption. We have to have redemption. I am not accepting this. Okay, so here we go. Another round of Capture the Flag. I just joined a brand new game, and I am pissed because what the hell happened? Whatever happened during the last game doesn't count. I'm out for redemption by any means necessary. So I guess, I mean, hopefully my team knows what the fuck they're doing because if not, then I'm going to be really upset. Is there anybody here? No. Uh, where's the, uh, is there a sniper here? Or am I bugging the fuck? Oh, did this guy grab it? Okay, wait, that's not a sniper. All right, cool. So... Let me see if I can make my way towards this direction. If there's anyone here, that's going to be bad on my... Oh, crap, they're shooting me. No, 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 no. Hold on. I have to seclude myself. And they found me. Of course they found me. So, so as long as my team is on the hunt to get that flag, that's the only thing I... I it's really the only thing I care about because that L, that was like one of the worst Ls that I've ever suffered in 2022 for Halo. Because you guys saw it, like my team was stupid, I was stupid, and I'm 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 playing based on like on my my anxiety from like the last game that we just played. Like I'm panicking right now because I really want to win. And if we end up losing this, then it is what it is. I'm probably just gonna break the game. I, I'm gonna break my entire console. So let me oh actually, you know what? Let me use this shotgun right here. If anyone gets up close and personal with me, it's done. So I'm really hoping that, come on, boys, escort him, escort him. Okay, good, good. There's nobody around me. Go, go, go. I'm getting shot, bro. Just go, just go. I'll stand around. Jesus, where is this guy? Oh, he's right there. Come on, uh, come on, Alex. Jesus, all right, assist, uh, whatever. So as long as the guy is able to go, that's all I care about. And there's like five guys behind me. What? Ah, damn it. Okay, wait, he's still running. Yeah, run, Lassie, run. You better get your ass over there for the love of Jesus. He's getting shot in the butthole. Come on, man. He's getting grenaded, too. Come on. We have to escort him. Our flag was taken. Wonderful. Okay, so homeboy's running. Yeah, we got like... Hold on, hold on. Yep, there they come. Yo, there's like four of them over there. Holy grenades! If that would even work, I wouldn't... Oh, I actually got... Yo, we actually got someone! You stupid bastard! Aw, oh, you... Oh, <laughs> you got him. Yo, I don't... Listen, man. We took an L, but we're gonna come back with a fat W. Follow me, boys. Come on, you want me? Huh? You guys wanna jump down? Come on. Come on. Oh, wait. I, I just noticed we actually scored one. Perfect. All right. Damn, they're all up in our base. Yo, y'all need to, like, secure the position and make sure that these mankeys don't get a hold of our flag because if they do... We're just gonna tie the game up and it's just gonna keep going and going and going. But like I said before, I am very grateful to be playing this. I love Halo. You guys don't understand. I've always I've been a Halo fan since Halo 2. And when going back and playing Combat Evolved, then Halo 2, Halo 3, ODST, Reach, Halo 4, Halo 5, and now Infinite, it's been a roller coaster. So you guys have no idea. It's, it's this is a great franchise. It had its memorable ups. It had its horrifying downs. Trust me. So it is what it is. Can we just escort homeboy? I'm just gonna shoot this randomly to draw a distraction. Come on, draw a distraction. All right, he went down. All right, so I drew a distraction, but it's not. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna die. Come on. Can I hide it out? Can I possibly hide it out? Uh, I don't know. Oh, a victim. Is that him? Oh, wait, there's another guy behind me. This this sucks. Uh, let me just... Uh, can I just shoot him at least? Do whatever I can. Granada. Uh, did we get him? Okay, we did not get him. We got an assist. All right. Uh, what the hell is this guy do? He has, like, a bomb. That's a bomb, dude. He's gonna... Oh, I see what... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty smart. This dude just said, yo, the hell with your life, man. I chose suicide. He woke up and chose fucking suicide, bro. Here we go. There's a, there's a dude on the rocks. Come on. Yo, I am panicking. I am pan- He's- Yo, he's injured. Come on. It's just one shot kill. What the hell's- There we go. Oh my god. Yo, that was embarrassing. Yo, you can tell my anxiety for this is getting to me. Get him. Get him. Don't let him live. Don't let him live. Good, good, good. Oh, yo, my assists right now must be crazy. Oh, is, is that an overshield? Get him. 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Blast him, blast him, blast him. Blast him, grenade inbound. Blast him. There we go. We got him. All right. Um, We need to score that. We need to score. So whoever's out there. Yo, I am so jittery right now. All right, F it. I I'll, I'll try my luck. You guys have seen me. If you guys have been watching my gaming roulettes. Uh, oh, I nearly got him. I mean, I'm pretty decent with the sniper, but yo, oh, what the, the rock got him? Are you serious? Yo, this is bad. This is bad. I'm witnessing a live teabag. You saw that? This man put his nuts in his face. You saw that? He just dragged his ball sack across the other guy's chin. That's hilarious, bro. He just said, "Smell my sack." Oh, I'm, I'm, yo, I'm panicking right now. I, I don't even know who's who. I don't know who's friendly. I don't know who's who's foe. Oh, that dude's probably gonna come after me. Oh God, what's what's happening? Um, is there anybody coming? Yeah, there he is. And, and and of course, when you're aiming down scope, man, and they shoot you, it just it fucks everything up. Damn it! What the? Come on, guys. Come on. I mean, not for nothing, I think I trust this team a lot more than the other one. Because it seems as though, like, we can actually defend and we can actually capture. So, I'm just trying to go in there and just blast whoever I can. Like, and, and if it means me capturing it, I'll do it. But what I want to do right now is I'm going to sneak around like a little tiny mouse. Let me see if I can actually... Unless I get caught. If I get caught, then I'm going to get put in the rat trap. You know what I mean? I'm going to get fucking destroyed. I mean, but th th this is the point of the gaming roulette, guys. You guys gotta watch it, bro. It's so... This is me at, like, my purest. You see? Like, you know what I mean? So, I and <laughs> anxiety-driven when playing games like this. Is there anybody? Oh, uh, homeboy got lit up. All right, we need more people in there. I, I don't want to expose myself right now. Oh, come on. Come on. We need... We need... Uh, all right, he went in there. All right, I'll, I'll follow him. Uh, I don't know what's about to happen, but... Oh, I, as a matter of fact... Hold on. Shield and grenade. Did that work? Okay, that was nice. You can't get to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, wait. Oh, I forgot. Wait, the hammer is strong enough to damage the shield. That sucks. Oh, that sucks, man. All right, whatever. All right, boys, come on. We need to score. If we can at least get two, I will be comfortable enough to say that we probably got it in the bag. But if we don't, and if they end up tying it, then... Which they kind of won't, because if you guys have seen... Look at my legs, man. Like, my quads must be huge. If you guys if you guys have noticed, they really haven't gotten far with our shit. So let me just throw some amponadas this way. Oh my god, bro, watch what- Yo, where'd you get your license? Like, Mario Kart? Oh god, here they come. Here they come, Jesus Christ, bro, the assist. The assist, there's a dude on the rocks. This is horrible. This is hor- First of all, it's horrifying, because I'm dealing with this by myself. Like, this is just like- I don't know, man. I, I just I just need to ensure my survival. There's a dude in here. Of course, very smart tactics. He threw grenades, knew that I was coming in there, and that was it. So it is what it is. But also, I mean, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below your favorite maps, favorite games to play. Mine is Big Team Slayer. That is smart. Homeboy put a Warhog on top of the flag so nobody can grab it. I like that. Whoever did that, I fucks with you because you're smart. Y'all, see? A brilliant team. Right now, I'm just playing the role of a just brain-dead soldier who's just running in there and just, like, shooting and getting shot and doing whatever. So, uh, we need to escort him. Oh, please, God. Come on, guys. Go, go, go. All right. Uh, okay. They're, on, they're in a vehicle. Yes, go. I, I guess I'll shoot this guy if I can. Oh, can I get the better of him? All right. All right. I got him, though. I got him. Are they going to go? This guy's... He's, he's carrying a whole bomb. Like, that, that's what makes it picture perfect, you feel me? They're carrying a whole... He's carrying a whole bomb on, like, on... <laughs> in his pouch. Like, I don't know. Let's see. Uh, come on, guys. I, I think they have our flag, too, right? Oh, wait, we got... Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I smell victory, boys. I sm Hey, listen. If they somehow turn it around and they just beat us in this, this will be the last time I'll play Halo. I'll smash my Xbox into a million pieces. I'll smash my... And I just saw Homeboy over there, too. I'm gonna smash my Xbox into a million pieces. Is anybody around here? All right, perfect. So, I'm gonna go to their bit. What the fuck was that? Oh, my God. There was a dude down there the whole time. And look at this guy with the ghost. Oh, he got disabled. You better get out of there, homie. Okay, never mind, never mind. You know, that dude was hiding in the bush. You saw him? Like, I feel like we're fighting, like, like forest ninjas now. Like, they're in the freaking bush. You know what? Speaking of, like, bombs, I'm about to throw a bomb... At one of these dudes. Yeah, I got... Oh, wow. That was the most... Oh, my God. Talk about embarrassing, bro. What is happening to me right... Where is my... Yo, what's going... Yo, you know what it is? You know what it is? I I'm... I'm... 
I'm just straying too far off. I'm getting a little bit too comfortable in my, in my freaking gaming anxiety is like driving me crazy. I can't even like focus, but don't let that dude, don't let that dude take it. Don't let that dude take it. Oh, don't let that dude take it. Don't let them capture. Listen, we got a zero and three for the last game. We're going to get a three and zero for this game. I can promise you that. I am not taking this laying down with all of us just, you know, nah, suffering defeat. God, oh, come on. What is, wait, hold on. All right, wait, wait, okay, okay, we got uh, we got him from the grave. I was about to say, nah, we're gonna have a clean sweep. We got swept last game. We're gonna have a clean sweep because I'm just not gonna put up for it. If they if, even if they score one, it is what it is. If we score three to one, it's just it, that's that's all that's all I care about, right? Oh man, they're coming. Yo, they're coming in like hot. They're coming in on like war hogs and hold on. Oh, you try to take out my boy? Nah, we swapped. You saw that? That was good. That was good teamwork. All right. Um. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Grenades. Oh, we got him from the grave. From the grave. That's all we need, man. We just need a victory. Which, I mean, at this point, if you look at it, we're surrounding their base. So I think it's pretty much a dud. Like this is done. So if I can run up in the in their base with this, I. Oh wait, we, we won. Oh yes. What man? What a fucking fantastic way to end this. Yes. Oh, salute to the squad, homie. That was really good. Yes. Okay, okay, so not for nothing, I couldn't resist one more game just to kind of see what's about to happen because, you know, we took one L, we took two W, so maybe we might take another W right now, so let's go on ahead and see. Capture the flag. Let me go on ahead and capture the sniper real quick. Okay, so what is the... Oh, shit. Oh, crap. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, this is... Oh, my God, dude. Okay, can we just take a second to chill? Because they just, like, vaporized me to death, dude. What the hell was that? Okay, that was pretty bad. That was, like, really, really bad, dude. All right, well, I'm hoping for a victory because if we get two L's and two W's in one single session, then I don't know what else to say. I mean, that's kind of, like, it's it's not what I want, but it is what it is. So, oh, God. Oh, God, here they come. Uh, is anyone going to... Yo, get him. Jump him. Jump him. Jump. Oh, oh, there's one guy. Hold on. There's one guy. Get him. Get him. Get him. Do not let him flee. There we go. Jeez, man, we jumped the guy. You saw that? He had no chance. And not for nothing, man. Like this game has been so fun. And I don't really—I've said this before. I've said this during the other videos, man. I don't really care about KD. It's—it's it's all about the Ws. At least in my opinion, some people are so fixated by KD. Oh, we have ourselves a runner. Not today, says the cat. Okay, I need to grab that flag, yo. I can't be a little biatch. I need to grab that flag. Am I the only one here? Uh, where the hell is the rest of my team? Thank you very much. We're supposed to be grabbing the goddamn flag. Oh my god. I'm getting shot from all angles, dude. What the hell's going on here? It's like Fast and Furious going on. Jeez, these dudes are like rolling on in there. Oh, they're rolling up. Okay, I see. So they, ju they just rolled up on the enemy base okay okay i like that i like that they just came in there with war hogs blazing holy shit there's like a war going on over here oh crap there's like there's like two guys here hold on hold on grenades oh come on come on oh damn it god fuck okay as, as long as we keep the flag as long as we keep the flag secure i think that's all that really matters this dude got like flaming armor and shit man what a year it's been all right uh what's going on here all right i i guess i'll you know what um Okay, well, somebody else just took it. I, I'm I'm gonna go on ahead and take this fucking mongoose, right? Yo, everyone's getting shot left and right. Let me see if I can attempt to get my sniper back, if it's even here. Where am I getting shot from? Are you kidding? Yo, that was bullshit. Come on. Are you... Nah. What? All right, I'm smoking some crack right now for this game because... Oh, that was bad. What the hell is going on, dude? Listen, we got we got one capture already, which I'm, which I'm glad... If we can get three off the gate, that would be amazing, but that really varies. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I, and I, I, wow. Okay. So, they're ganging up. Like, they're rolling up in a the gang. There's, like, two to three guys, right? I mean, thankfully enough, we have guys, like, camping at, at spawn, so we don't really have to worry about much, but this has been something, man. Season one, season... I mean, all, all of these, like, events that they've been putting out, it's been crazy. Let me, uh... Let me see. Oh, God, they have they have aircraft vehicles, dude. That, that's not good. You guys may already know I have such difficulty with aircraft vehicles because they come in guns blazing. Come on, can I get... Oh, my... Who shot me? Like, who... Like, you know what I mean? Like, who, who the hell shot me? That That's such bullshit. Oh, damn. Oh, there they go. They're all up in the base. Grab that flag, man. That's all we need right now is just grab that flag. I don't think I'm... 
I don't think I'm too good with like mongooses and stuff, but it, it is what it is. I'm just using it. Oh, wow. I'm just using it as a means to travel. So who just got shot down from the air? I'm assuming it had to have been one of the uh, the enemy team. My God, dude, this mongoose. Listen, listen. I I I really. Oh, can I get him? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm panicking. Son of. A there's two of them. Of course, there's two of them. There's always two of them. Okay, so we have one of our guys over there. But the question is, like, why do we have one guy on foot? You know what I mean? Come on, dudes. The only time I think of, I, I really care about KD is when we're doing, like, you know, big team Slayer and stuff like that. But outside of that, like, it's just, like, when, when it comes down to total control, capture the flag, you know, stockpile. It's all about just getting those dubs, man. Like, straight up. Come on, boys. Oh, get in, get in that Warhog. I'll, I'll try to hold them back, dude. All right, we got one. We have a runner. We have a runner. Got him. Yo, what a way to, I mean, listen, I'm hoping 2023 actually uh, brings us lots of happiness and joy, because oh, because right now there's no joy with me. I'm just getting gunned down. I'm just getting gunned down left and right. Can we capture? Oh, we're, we're about to capture. Are, are we really about to capture? I think we are. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. Are we going to? Yes, we did. Wow, we did it. Okay, this is really good. Yo, we're going to close off the Halo portion of this with like, with like a W. I think we are. Unless they turn it around. I mean, we got 10 minutes left. Oh, 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 damn. They're really trying to kill me, dude. Holy Jesus. I got him with the grenade. Where the hell did I just stick that one? Oh, there's another guy. Crap. Oh, man. Oh, look, look at this, dude, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, they, yo, there's like World War Three going on, dude. Jesus Christ. Listen, if you guys ever had the chance to play Halo with me, it's been, listen, it's been a roller coaster. Again, I'm not really too fixated about like, oh, yeah, this and that, KD, whatever. I'm just more about, yo, get the dubs and that's it. Let me see if I can, can I use my hook? And, ooh, oh, shit. Okay, so I, oh, yeah, if he gets out, he's going to get gunned down. Guys, uh, whatever you do, just don't bomb the Warhog. I, I'm in it, okay? Hey, hey, there's a dude in our bit. Yeah, get, get him out of there. Get him, I'm, 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 I'm shooting. Get in there. Oh, there we go. Good job, good job. Get him out of there, get him out of there. All right, perfect. Oh, he's still shooting at me, this guy. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hop out, hop out. No, you moron. What the... Oh, my God. You got us killed, dude. Seriously? Oh, my... Yo, what the hell, dude? I mean, this is nuts. I mean, you can tell that the enemy team's getting desperate because I'm getting desperate to try to go over there and grab that flag, and I think my team is, like, kind of chill. Oh, what the... Who the hell is you? Yo, come here. Because my team looks chill because they're all at the base. They're just like... I don't see any... Oh, he fell. Uh, is he dead? I don't see anybody moving around. Where the hell is this guy? Hold on, he didn't die. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, oh, wow, you know what? Nah, nah, props, props goes out to him. Whoever that guy just was, he outsmarted the fucking shit out of me. That, yo, I, that was the dumbest moment. That was the biggest blonde moment I think I've ever had in this game. That dude played the shit out of me, man. Good, oh, who the hell is shooting me now, dude? Oh my, it's the air, oh my god. Thank you, take him down. Take him down. Rob that shit. Do something. That dude really outsmarted this shit. I, I, I'm. Did he use like the grappling hook or something? Like that's. I was not expecting for that to happen, to be honest. All right. I'm. I'm gonna once again attempt to try to grab that flag because it's two to zero, right? Oh, we have enemy mongooses inbound. We got multiple people coming up on us. Oh, come on. Oh, come the fuck. Come on. Come on. All right. We got him. We barely got him. This dude. What the hell is this guy doing? He's like hiding in between the pipes. Get him, get him, get him, get him, gun him down, gun him down. Good, 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 good. Okay, now run back. Oh, I, I don't know, I don't know what it was. Listen, fucking chickens. God damn. All right, yo, I mean, so from what it looks like, we have, like, two guys over there, right? And I'm not saying that we shouldn't have, like, people at spawn. But what I'm saying is, like, I guess for situations like this, I'm always going to be the guy that goes out there to try to get the flag by any means necessary. You know what I mean? Whether I live, whether I die... That's my job. There's a dude right there. Oh, hold on. Can he not see me? Come on, run. Run, run. That's my job. That's the only job I have is just to run on foot. That's right. Oh, I'm grabbing that flag, baby. I'm going to grab that flag. That flag. Oh, I'm getting... Wow, dude. I'm getting... Who, from where? From, did they just spawn? They had to have spawned. They had to have spawned. I, I refuse. Listen, four games in, I've seen it all right now. You know what I mean? All right, let me... Let me take this. Is, does anyone want to get in? Anybody? Yo! I know I'm not honking for no reason. Hey! Get in the fucking war! Hey, man, you know what? Screw you guys. 
Let's get the hell out of here. All right. Oh, what the fuck? Yo, where the hell did he come from? Did you just see that? Yo, replay that. Did you just? Did you guys just see that? Where? Yo, where the hell did he come from? Oh nah, dude. What the? Yo. Yo, that was good. Oh, they're trying to snipe. Holy crap. Yo, you saw that, right? I can't believe. Yo, he he must have camouflaged himself or something. Oh Christ. Oh Christ. Thank you. Oh, there's another guy. Ah, oh, son of a. Get him, get him, get him. Throw empanadas. I got oh, God, am I going to die? I'm probably going to die. Oh, Jesus. Is he? Oh, he's alive. There oh, there's like three of them, of course. What is this guy going to do? Oh, he's up again. Oh, he has the hammer. Oh, he don't die. Oh, he got one. Holy, he got the same guy that killed me. Okay. All right, come on. We need to... Uh, come on, don't falter. Don't falter. So far, I really think we're going to win this because I don't think they're going to be pushing hard enough to get in to you know tie it up let alone even get three i'm getting yo that aircraft carrier that that thing is shooting down I'm, oh my god i'm gonna get mass oh and, and great now there's a dude in front of me bro what the my god you know what i, I don't even care i don't even care because we're in the lead so it doesn't really matter to me and you know what else i've noticed like i haven't really like changed up my armor i mean it is what it is i guess like i'm not really too concerned about that so are we not like are we okay so are we not going to try to at least grab that flag like i'm the only one that's like bum rushing in their base i'm trying i'm panicking right now because i'm fighting like five guys you know what i mean like that dude just shot me from behind while i'm shooting at two others in front of me like what are y'all doing there's like civil war going on down here dude all right can we uh you know what stick and move i'm going in either either you get oh there's a banshee inbound either you get in or oh crap jesus they have a hammer dude all right, yo, F it. I'm going in. If you want to... Are you coming? No, he's not coming. Right. Oh, my God, dude. Get in. Oh, my God. Come on. Gun somebody down, bro. Can I run somebody over? Can we do something? All right, kill assist. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wait, I need to get out. Oh, Jesus. All right, so they're... Yeah, they're all around the perimeter. He's hiding behind this. I, I'm panicking. Oh, God. Great. I just... I flew underneath the Warhog. Listen, at the end of the day... What is it, like, 4 minutes and 11 seconds left? Alright, I mean, I, th I think we'll be alright. Like, there's, I mean, first of all, they're not gonna capture that flag right there because it's, it's literally in the middle of the open. So, I, we could just do this until it, like, just comes back. So, let me... Come on, guys. Oh, is anyone gonna grab it? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, there's a dude right there. No, 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 no. There we go, and... Come on. Come on. Yes. Alright, flag return to base. Yeah, there's no way. If they somehow tie it up, or if they somehow win, I will eat my shoes. I will make an entire video where, like, I put my sneakers in my mouth and I just, like, devour them. You know what I mean? There's no way. There's no way. Because I think at some point we're going to get, like, tanks and stuff. Maybe then. But I think by that time it's going to be a little bit too little too late. So here we go. Christ, I'm nervous. Ending off 2022 by capturing the flag. That's right. Come on, baby. We're going to grab that flag. What? Okay, he, that, that dude just grabbed my ass. What? Come on, really? I mean, look, look, everyone's at base. Mine is like two guys. Everyone else is at base. You got one guy using a sniper from like point blank range, you know what I mean? You got fucking chickens everywhere. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw, I'm just gonna throw grenades. I really hope you guys are enjoying this, man. This is so entertaining. Oh, shit. I didn't even, oh, man. Hold on, I'm panicking right now. God, playing four games like that back to back. There we go. Back to back to back to back, man. Alright, ordnance dropping from above. So oh wait, there's a guy right here. Hold on. Oh there he is. Yeah. Or so you would have thought, young man. Yeah, there's no way. We got two minutes and twenty-three seconds. There uh, there's not a chance. Victory, man. Victory. Three W's? I mean, I'm hoping it's going to be a W. Three W's and one L. It is what it is. Oh, my God. And in case you're wondering, I mean, some of these maps, they, they, even when they... Oh, my God. Even when they came out during the beginning, I mean, they're still hot fire. You're like, you know? Oh, Christ. Oh, Christ. Come on, boys. Grab that sniper. Do something. Defend or try to go capture because... Wait a minute. I hear that. What the hell's going on? Okay, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, they're here. They're here. Can we gun them down, please? Oh, they got a... Is that a Banshee? Oh, fuck. Man, damn it. Come on! Who shoot? Yo! Oh, he was... Damn it. 
All right, so they're behind me. They, yo, they got everything, man. Oh shit, yo, yo, we better, yo, y'all better, y'all better, y'all better watch it, man. Listen, with the last game being what it is, either I at this point just defend, I suppose, but I'm still gonna try to go. Oh, oh boy. Nah, who the hell am I kidding, dude? Shooting a tank with a pistol. Oh god. Hold on. Where do you go? No, no. There we go. Oh, they got our flag? Oh, crap. All right, uh, good spawn spot. Oh, never mind. No, okay, bad spawn spot. Whoa. That dude, yo, he got lit up. You saw that? Yo, he... And he had the sniper, too. I think he had the sniper. All right, let me... Is anyone going to be here? Anyone at all? I see someone. God, I'm panicking. I, I can't even... I can't even keep my accuracy straight, man. 46 seconds. F it, dude. Come on. Ah. Whatever, kill assist. What's going on here? Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. Damn, you saw that? Oh, come on. Strap on. Oh, never. Okay. Oh, damn. Yo, we're getting butchered. Yo, we're getting butchered. But you know what? We're about to win. Oh, we're about to win and move on to the next stuff. Oh, that's that's all I wanted, man. Because that L earlier, that really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know why. Come on. Are you guys going to grab it or what? Grab the flag. You just throw some empanadas up there. Oh, what the hell? Are you guys are blocking the freaking... Uh, Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're in there. Oh, what the hell's going on? Where am I getting sh- Oh, they're right here! Holy shit! Wait, what's going on? Hold on, hold on. Recover the flag. Recover, 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 recover. Recover, recover. Yes! Holy sh- Yo, we did it. Oh my god. What an amazing four games. Even after taking the L, man. We're walking away with the W. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Now, just when you thought you've seen it all, we are only beginning to scratch the surface with Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 mods. Right now, I'm battling against both Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito and Hakaishin Powered Ultra Ego Gogeta, and right now, I am using Super Omega Janemba, which was created way back in the day, and I'm teaming up with Super Boo Moral Absorbed. So I guess my first target right now is going to be Vegito because I know that he's the strongest among the two in terms of hacks, and I guess it only kind of makes sense for me to get rid of him first, you know what I mean? But this game has some of the most re- ridiculous mods that you will ever find and most of them i would argue are commissioned by me i always love commissioning people for mods because the creativity aspect of making these mods or at least introducing somewhat of a fan-made character and then having them come to life is insane as of course you guys can see this was my original concept in having moro be devoured or at least kind of consumed by majin buu in majin buu's best efforts in kind of keeping moro sustained within his body but instead his evil essence leaked out and not only did i go on to create a story featuring such concept but the renders and the overall outcome of this character was only then later introduced in modded format for video games such as this now i'm not gonna lie vegeto right now is giving me a little bit of a headache because i mean i just don't understand how the hell he's surviving my hakai i don't even know what the other i guess super boom moral absorbed you know fusion that i have is doing maybe he's winning maybe he's losing this is just beautiful look at the animation behind this bam kicks him right in his spine so either way with that being said for 2023 we have tons of mods coming your way and you guys have seen on the channel like i've mentioned before we have given vegeto quite the run this year on the channel for fan stories and whatnot so we also have a lot of things planned for the character for characters like gogeta and even other characters that i'm really not going to mention in full detail just yet to give that away but another hakai ought to do i swear to you i don't know what it is but this dude is just he is not taking hakai for an answer like you know what i mean the hakai energy itself should be enough to destroy him but i just don't know what the hell's happening right now i'm trying my best that i know and i want to hakai him again I, th I think that genuinely this is going to be my only way of defeating him because i think that with this version of vegito he's bound to get me at some point but either way i want to thank you guys so much for all of the modded support because i would argue to say that the modded community always tends to keep whatever gaming franchise alive for example with raging blast 2 people always mod that with budokai tenkaichi 3 people always mod that let me see if i can try to see if i can get the better of gogeta right now because he looks pretty cool too you know what i mean because there are just you know just specific characters that you will see be modded or created that you'll never ever see be introduced in dragon ball and the victory goes to those who work hard such as myself and super boo or at least in this case majin boo moro absorbed but as you may already know if you've been on the channel for quite some time we are not finished because we have way more fights coming up ahead
Now see, this one's going to be really fun because not only do I have Ultra Ego Vegeta on my team, but I'm also using Super Saiyan 4 Kaioken Gogito, yeah, Blue Vegito fused with Blue Gogeta versus Omni Murzamasu and Ultra Instinct Angelic Moro. And what's interesting about this is we went on to introduce some really cool stuff on the channel this year, one of them actually being Murzamasu versus Ultra Ego Vegeta, as of course you guys can see here. It was a brilliant and fantastic story, one of a kind, something that has never been done in the fandom before. And you guys just really how the hell is Moro actually able to hit me I don't understand you guys really really enjoyed it and again if you want to find that video just search up Unreal and Gaming Ultra Eagle Vegeta vs Murzamasu you guys will not be let down by it but at the same time since I am literally kicking the shit out of Ultra Instinct Moro as of course you guys can see here on your screen we also went on to introduce the concept of Ultra Eagle Vegeta vs Angelic Ultra Instinct Moro and once again never been done in the fandom before that's what we do on this channel originality and we keep it original and fresh, which is why I wanted to kind of reverse that narrative and telling a different story. So if you guys just so happen to have missed out on that video, be sure to go on ahead and check it out. So what I'm getting at right now is going into 2023 is I want to know what kind of stories you guys want me to feature, including Moro, perhaps maybe even Murzamasu. This dude Moro is literally trying to kill me from under my feet. And not for nothing, I'm using Gogito. This is not the strongest version of Gogito for this game. Look at this. He is desperately trying trying to just get me killed from underneath but i want to go ahead and target omni zamasu so i had an idea for the concept of omni zamasu but it is something that i'm currently in development for maybe you know zamasu comes back by wielding the omni king's powers i have a few ideas in mind but i guess we're gonna have to wait and see so i will target him i'm gonna go ahead and destroy him first and just the overall idea of seeing super saiyan blue and super saiyan blue together two versions of super saiyan blue mixed in while they have Super Saiyan 4 in creating this is just busted as hell. But I don't think it would be as busted as probably Omni Merge Zamasu. Just how crazy, you know, of a concept that would even be for Zamasu to possess the Omni King's power. But I want to go on ahead and just beat the ever so living shit out of him. So at the same time as well, I need you guys to let me know right now what kind of mods do you guys want to see us create in 2023? And I legit say we could create anything. So, I mean, it's Xenoverse, so you can create essentially whatever character you want, but we can't let this dude pick up Zamasu. So if Vegeta ends up Hakaiing him, that would be great. If something else happens, let me see if I can use this. I can't believe that. That's how you know this is an old game, or at least this is an old character, because the move that I just used is so old man by comparison to so many of the moves that we have now oh my god come on vegeta we can't let this dude pick him up and either way i mean at the end of the day we are going to be bringing you guys more survival challenges and stuff which was fun during the summer Ah, uh, crap you know what um let me see if i can pull it off jesus christ let's do it we're capping off 2022 that i get him oh we got him perfect okay now we need to destroy moro once and for all we cannot let this dude pick him up because i have this fear that perhaps vegeta is on his last leg right now so i'm not too sure what's about to happen but perhaps oh come on let me finish him that failed that sucks hold on we have to we have to gang up on him i mean if he could actually hakai him which would be okay well i guess the solution to all of this is to beat ultra instinct moro to death which i don't really mind too much but damn i thought he was actually gonna try to hakai him but with that being said we're not done because we have another fight coming up next and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to like this one Now, how could we not, right? The unstoppable, seemingly unbeatable Murno, and I'm going to be battling against Mastered Ultra Instinct Beerus, and do you guys remember when Murno first squared off against UI Beerus? As, of course, you guys can see, it was a memorable moment because despite the level of effort being put out by our heroes by having Goku Master Ultra Instinct, Beerus Master Ultra Instinct, Jiren Master Ultra Instinct, it didn't really get them anywhere. Although, to their credit, when working together, they were able to slightly give Murno a run for his money by the very end it just proved to be meaningless just like this fight right now because let me tell you this version of Murno right here is dangerous and he is really really effective so mind you I am fighting the strongest variation of Beerus that I can find for Xenoverse 2 and Murno is making him out to be like child's play so this is pretty scary this was actually made by one of my really close friends in making Murno even seem unstoppable for these mods as well because I mean just look at this I mean it's just gigantic sphere after gigantic sphere I mean I don't even this is actually pretty crazy because I know 
that Master to Ultra Instinct Beerus in this game is pretty strong, but against Murno right now, I don't think he has a chance. But even then, when looking back on the story, do you guys remember when he went on to stop Goku and Vegeta's fusion, as of course you guys can see, and then he also, I mean, poor Broly, a lot of people actually said, damn, Broly's actually eating a lot of crap from Murno, and he did, to where, as of course you guys can see, he not only went on to impale Broly through the chest, but he murdered his friends, he ripped his arms out, so I loved telling the tale of Murno because it was a different story, and I truly, genuinely hope that you guys enjoyed. I am not bringing back the story of Murno ever again. It's done, it's finished, we're moving on. If I ever do tell another, let's just say, angelic story, it's going to be different, but right now, I will say this, right? I love this mod, and there are a very specific few mods in this game that I love, and we're closing out 2022 by just going back and recreating some of these fights because let me just tell you, a lot of these battles for the Murno story were insane, but we do have just as many, if not even crazier battles coming in 2023 and beyond. So I don't know what's going on right now because, I mean, it's crazy. Beerus is surviving a lot. I mean, he should be, okay, I was, about, I was just about to say he should be dead by now because you guys may already know what this version of Murno can do. So with that being said, I want to go on ahead and feature a fight that a lot of you guys may in fact remember very fondly. Oh, here we go. Father versus son, the Grand Priest versus Murno, and this was one of the most intense fights. Now, I know this mod right here isn't really that strong, so I know I'm going to beat him relatively quick, but as of course you guys can see, if you guys go back and watch the Murno story, the entirety of it, this fight was insane. I was drawn and inspired by Marvel's What If in seeing Multiversal Ultron versus The Watcher. So when we saw the Grand Priest and Murno just shatter through dimensions, they were shattering through space-time, they were fighting just with such intensity, and with Murno at least, with such hatred, that if you guys remember, he spit in the Grand Priest's face, he went after the Omni Kings, and he really desperately wanted to get his revenge. I mean, which was ultimately the whole point of the story, until the Grand Priest also used his full power, and that's all she wrote. Just like right now, that's all she wrote for the Grand Priest. That was actually really, really fast. I want to feature Murno in one other fight. I do have an opponent for him and I think it's going to be interesting because when going back and looking back on the Murno story it was just insane so why not go back and reminisce on some of those fights Now this ought to be good, so we have Murno versus the so-called ultimate villain, which is supposed to be, I guess, all of these villains merged into one. Goku Black, we have Golden Frieza, Omega Shenron, Majin Buu, Janemba, we have bits of Moro, stuff like that, right? So I'm not, I mean, he's very strong, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen, but I'm pretty sure that Murno is going to basically clean his clock. So as of course you guys can see, a lot of the fights from the original Murno story were absolutely nuts, and I hope you guys go back and watch the full manga movie in its entirety to kind of understand and see for yourselves how crazy this was because this story took about two years to build up because I really wanted to tell the tale of just like combining an Avengers story mixed in with elements of Harry Potter, mixed in with elements of the Bible, stuff like that, right? But I'm not gonna lie, this ultimate so-called villain is not going down yet. So I know he's strong, but is he strong enough to kind of withstand my attacks and kind of, I guess, respond in a very aggressive way. I mean, I'm gonna Hakai this dude into oblivion. So when going back to it, the only other time that I think I will ever include Murno again is either in some form of flashback or perhaps maybe in someone's nightmare because during the Halloween season, we featured tons of awesome stories involving Beerus' nightmare. We had Freddy Krueger meeting Vegeta, stuff like that. You know what I mean? So in terms of kind of resurrecting him, that's not what I want to do, but you can bet your bottom dollar that we are going to have him involved in a, I guess, non-canon, canon kind of way, even though he's non-canon to begin with, but it's pretty crazy because a lot of you guys like them. I appreciate that. A lot of you guys supported the channel by copying the merch, which went on to actually fund our manga project. So thank you so much for that. And going into 2023, I really, really genuinely hope that you guys enjoy all of the stories. I mean, do you see the way I'm moving? This is the way Murno is moving for this specific mod is just nuts. I don't think that 
anything could touch me. I mean, unless it's really, really, like, powerful. I haven't really done anything that I can remember of in featuring, I guess, Smyrno versus the Omni King of Saiyans, because the Omni King of Saiyans, I think, is unbeatable. We've already proven and seen that be done before in the game. He can't really go down unless you somehow use another mod that kind of slaps you know, the Omni King of Saiyans in just one shot, which is hard to fathom, but I really wouldn't rule that outside the realm of possibility because we've seen some crazy shit go down before. And again, I want to thank you all for supporting the mods, for supporting all of the music. In case you guys don't know, we have an entire music playlist for you guys in case you're wondering about the music that we use. It's all custom made. Oh, we got rid of them. Damn, that was a really good fight. I'm not gonna lie, that was a solid battle. And I guess before we close off the Xenoverse portion of this, I want to go in ahead and feature a few more fights or at least a little bit of a mix-up just to see how far we can get by involving said characters. Okay, now this one might be a little divisive. We have Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Broly, Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Vegito versus Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Vegito. We have Super Saiyan 3 Full Power Broly and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta, a mouthful, but I'm trying to figure out to see who I'm going to fight. I want to fight Broly, but at the same time, I... Yeah, I'm getting jumped, dude. The other Gogeta wants to smoke. Listen, in the comment section below, what I want to know from you guys is, let's just say Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta versus... Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, who do you think wins and why? Because, not for nothing, I really do like the Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I guess, visual, but at the same time, he didn't do much when he first debuted, which was okay, I guess. Well, not really, because I wanted to see him actually pair off with Evolution Blue Gogeta and kind of do their own thing, but they really didn't. So Broly is pissing me off right now, because I, no matter what it is that I'm trying to do, and I had to use my item, because listen, I'm getting jumped right now, so it is what it is. My hands are getting sweaty because I think I actually might lose this. I, I Listen, we're not taking no L's, man. To close off the year, we're not taking any L's. So I had to take one capsule, and I normally don't do that unless I'm getting jumped. So it is what it is. But Broly, I, I, I don't know who to take out first. I want to fight Gogeta. Like, I want to get, like, that fair one-off. You know what I mean? But he's kicking the shit out of me right now. So, uh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. How do you like that? So now we have Vegito and Gogeta double-teaming his ass. So I think that by the end of the day, what Super Dragon Ball Heroes had done well was introduce us all to so many wacky characters and stuff. You know what I mean? Concepts and ideas being introduced. It was fun for the time being, and look at Vegito trying to step in. Listen, even, I, you guys know I'm a huge, huge Vegito fan, right? More so than Gogeta, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know what they did with Vegito. Like, they never give him any definitive victory, and, and I don't know about you guys, but that really bothers me because he's one of my favorite fusions ever since he debuted against Buhan. He was whooping on him, and that's what he tends to do, you know? He whoops on somebody, but he doesn't really finish it. In this case here, I have no doubt that Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would whoop Broly into shape, so if this dude wants to smoke to cap off the year, then I guess it is what it is. So after this, I do have a bunch of other games lined up, and I think what I want to do, maybe, depending on if we can actually get to it, so I want to close this, you know, entire gaming roulette off with Raging Blast 2 mods. I want to see where I'm going to fit that in. I'm kind of looking to close it out, you know, close out the video with that, so I guess we'll wait and see, but Broly is really, listen, if there was ever a time where I was really annoyed at Broly, it would be right now, because not only did, I mean, did he interfere in my fight with the other Gogeta, but let me see something real quick, I remember this move, yeah, he's finished, oh, he's finished, if he survives this, then I don't know what else to tell you, I really don't, so uh, he's alive, I don't know how, and I mean, I, I guess, okay, so we have Vegito is the only one left on the team, right? So, and I guess Broly took care of that. Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Broly, that is. So again, it's been fun. We have so many more mods coming your way in 2023. So be on the lookout for that. Survival challenges and all sorts of other surprises. So with that being said, let's go on ahead and jump into the next game to see what we got coming up next. Man, talk about deja vu. Whoa, Welcome back to Left 4 Dead cool Mods. Look at the Z Squad. Shit. Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo, and Android 18. This is City 17. Who the hell am I playing as right now? Am I going to be playing as... Yes, Vegeta. Okay, so this is a modded map. I have no idea what I'm doing or where I'm going, but Vegeta is about to start busting some caps in these asses. All right, so damn. And you know what's crazy too? I saw a video not too long ago 
where people criticize Back for Blood. I still enjoy Back for Blood, but yo, it's nothing like Left 4 Dead. Now, my sensitivity right now is kind of weird. So is it, is it like, okay, so I'm assuming it has to be like this for the entire, for the entire City 17. It just has to. Um, oh shit, Kakarot. There we go. I mean, they could have at least given me, what the hell? They could have at least given me Ultra Ego, you feel me? I mean, I, I guess it is what it is. And I love zombies, you guys know this. I'm a huge zombie buff, man. I just love horror movies, I love scary games. Oh damn, they're coming through the door. Kakarot, quickly, give me the earrings. Even though Vegeta would never fuse with him, or at least he never wants to. Let me let me see how far we can actually go here. I have, I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. I mean, this is terrifying. For our Z fighters, I mean, it would be kind of interesting for them to see them use guns, you know what I mean? Oh, I hear a, oh, I hear a boomer out there, bro. Send in 18 first. I ain't going out there. Or at least send in Piccolo. He has long ass arms. You know what I mean? What am I supposed to do? Uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What is... Okay. Uh, is there a door here somewhere? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. There we... Oh, there's a jockey. All right. So there's a door right here. So we're going to have to exit through this door and I guess make our way towards the safe room. Oh, you better back up. You better back up. I'm the Prince of All Saiyans. Oh, damn. There's a spitter here, too. If you guys want me to play more Left 4 Dead, let me know because this game is still fun till this day. I mean, the game is like, what, 11, 12, 13 years old, however old it is, I'm on fire right now. Jesus Christ, can Goku, Goku, can you protect me, bro? Like, I mean, there's zombies pouring in from, like, <laughs> every angle, man. Get, get away from me. That's right, big bang attack. Oh, God, wait a minute, wait a minute. Back up, back up, back up. Oh, I'm sorry, I just shot Piccolo. I just shot Piccolo. Piccolo, Piccolo would not be proud of me. Piccolo probably curse out Vegeta. What the hell are you doing, Vegeta? Shut up, Namekian. All right, let's make our way through. I mean, I, I kind of understand the premise of this, per se. I guess we're going to make our way into a facility or something, but... Damn, I mean, the fact that we're in this tunnel and there's, like, zombies everywhere, it's pretty intense, you know what I mean? So, I dig it, but let me go on ahead and uh, let's close off 2022 with a pipe bomb. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not talking CM Punk. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Boom. And even the physics, right? Like, the physical mechanics for the zombies in this game. Oh, damn, they're gonna bust down the door. Oh, they're busting down the door. Oh, they're busting that shit down. You better back up, all of you. You know what? Um, I'm a typical Vegeta person, so what I'm gonna do right now, let me just see what we got going on. We got Molotovs, we have a shotgun. So, like I was saying, watch this. I want attention, right? So, yeet! Oh, boy. I want all the smoke, Kakarot. All right, we took down the spitter. All right, where else? Where are they coming from exactly? So they're gonna be coming from. Okay. Uh. Okay. So they're be, they're coming through that door. Jesus Christ! Come on, Vegeta. Come on, Vegeta. Oh, this dude got armor. And like I said before, like for Back for Blood, I really enjoy Back for Blood. But after watching a few videos by comparison, you know, comparing it to Left 4 Dead and stuff, it's just not the same, and it's so sad. Oh my God! It's Moro. He's trying to. Oh God! It's Majin Buu. Oh, Majin Buu just puked on me. This is not good. Help me, Kakarot. Oh, they're coming down. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait a minute. So, where are they coming from? Are they coming from upstairs, downstairs? Like, it seems like they're coming from the upstairs area, dude. Goku. Oh, my God. Goku looks so, like, stupid. Help me. Help me, Kakarot. Fuse with me. Gee, is it over? My God, man. This is me fighting through 2022. You know what I mean? My God. Uh... I hear mice. Oh my god, they actually put like mice sound Ammo effects here. for this mod. Oh, there they are. I'm ready for all the smoke. I am ready for all the smoke. I will take on every zombie. I mean, first of all, in real life, you'd never catch me do this. You know, especially if they're like the 28 days later Dawn of the Dead zombies, you know what I mean? I don't know why I just threw that right now. It did absolutely nothing. I, I just, if I get like even one zombie, that'd be a miracle. But I, 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 sh I shouldn't have wasted that, man. Damn. Damn it. Oh, wait, we got one. Yeah, that's right. You suffer. We got one. We, oh, no, we got two. Yeah, we got two zombies. There we go. All right, watch out some of the... Man, F this. You know you know, I don't care about the alarms. Vegeta wants all the smoke. The Prince of the Saiyans. Oh, damn, they're coming from that corridor. Okay. All right, they're coming. They're coming. They're coming in hot. But guess what? So is so are all of the, the, the ammo shells that I got right now for my shoddy. They're hot, too. All my shells are hot. You feel me? Oh, God, they're coming from behind us. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This is not good. Back up, back up, back up. Um, damn it. I need... All right. I, 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 damn it. I have a boomer vial, though, so that's good. Just in case... Oh, there's a hunter. Where's the hunter? Where is the hunter? 
A hero hunter, Kakarot. Oh, wait, is he there? There he is. Yeah, that's right, you go down. I wonder how, like, I mean, hey, some I'm of reload. these, like, maps are, like, witch. incredibly large. Oh, there's a witch somewhere. Oh! Yo, you saw that spitter, bro? Get out of here. You ain't trying to spit at me. Listen, we're ending off 2000. I'm not entering 2023 with some spit on me, you know what I mean? So let me go ahead and take care of this. Reload. That's right. All right, so she's out. Oh, there's a, oh, wait, there's a witch somewhere, bro. I think, there she is. I think I see her. I think I see her. All right, whatever happens. Oh, wait. What did 18 do? Wow, Android 18. Oh, wait, there's two of them. I think there's two of them, right? I mean, oh, wait. Oh, what? oh my God. You. I will not go down. Come on, shoot her. Shoot her up. Come on, guys. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up. Pick me up, Kakarot. It's always Goku, you know what I mean? Oh, God. Um. Oh, there's another witch. Ah, you know what? Let's do it. Oh, wait, there's a safe room. Yeah, let's do it. Come on. I want all the smoke. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Shoot her down. Break her down. Come on, shoot her. Oh, Piccolo's down. There we go. Yo, we're, look at Goku going in the safe room. He's like, come on, guys. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I'm healing myself before this is done. This was really good. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this on a chapter basis. So this was pretty solid. Oh, we finally did it. That was good. Oh, that know? was good. We made it. We actually did back. it. Man, I can't even tell you when the last time it was that I played Resident Evil 3 on God Left 4 Dead, damn. but here we are. Oh my Holy God, the Z shit. Squad. What the hell is Vegeta sort of doing? So who am I playing Christ as right now? Like I think I'm going to be Piccolo, if I'm not mistaken, because I chose a different person. So no, I'm Goku. All right. All right, so let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. So from what I recall, right, the Resident Evil 3 map, this should be a piece of cake. So I just got to make sure that everything's intact here. And I remember when, you know, I was first going through this that I just, I completely forgot like how to make my way through because I mean, from what I remember, not everything is the exact same. Certain things are, but let me see if I can just make my way through this, man. And it, and it, and it sucks because I'm a big fan of Resident Evil. I just hate the movies. You guys, if you followed my podcast and whatnot, you would know this, but I don't know, man. It is what it is. Let me see if I can go inside of here. If memory serves me correct, this is where that one dude locks himself in here. There are some items in here we got in here. That must be him. I like that. They kind of, uh, they kind of paid homage to like, you know, I guess him dying or whatnot. Oh, Jesus. All right. Well, I got sprayed. Oh, this is not good. All right. Oh, Joel, what the help me? Kakarot needs help. Oh, wh where the hell is Vegeta, bro? Okay. I was about to say, man, listen, Vegeta can't function without me. He needs, he needs a rival. And what's even crazier is... I wish we had, like, the, uh, Mastered Ultra Instinct suit and, like, the Ultra Ego suit for these characters, but, oh my god, everything is lagging right now because there's so much happening on screen, and plus, like, there are so many objects, too. Oh, I need the key, that's right. Um, let me get the hell out of here. Let me go upstairs, grab this key. What I need to remember, though, is... There we go. I don't know what that zombie was doing. What I need to remember, though, is I need to grab the oh, yeah. lighter fluid and the actual mine. empty lighter because i remember when i was playing this before i completely forgot you know what i mean there it is there's the key damn they recreated this like to the t and also let me know what your favorite resident evil movie is because it's kind of sad to say like for the live action you know what i mean welcome to raccoon city was trash paul ws anderson movies are trash i mean i guess the only exception is like the very first one that came out look at this dude look at that yeah, hunter just trying to sneak his way around there where is he the only exception I, I would argue is the first Resident Evil film by Paul W.S. Anderson, and that's just like barely cutting it, bro. Oh my god, you saw that? Holy god. All right, um, let me make my way through here. Vegeta, I need you. Danger. All right, let me, uh, let me make my way through. I remember, I, re I really do remember when I got lost playing this. Like, it was crazy. Because, like, they, they start you off differently. Now, from what I can remember, is there a weapon down here? There should be, right? Yep, there's a shotgun. Definitely give Goku a shotgun. It's gonna help out in the long run. And, oh yeah, what is this? Oh yeah, the lighter oil. There we go. So, all I really need to do is, I think, yeet. I need to go to the bar and grab the, uh, the empty lighter, right? And then once I do that, I can just, like, it, it's gung-ho. Because all we need to do is make our way into the Raccoon City Police Department. Oh, there's a hunter here somewhere. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, Vegeta! Ah, Piccolo! Fuck, yo, can someone help me? I'm, I'm getting hung here, help! Jesus. Listen, I'm not trying to end off the year by just getting bodied like this. Oh, God. Oh, here they come. Here they come. 
Hi, I'm Goku, and I'm willing to take on all the zombies by myself. What the? F oh my God! It's a. Tr I'm getting jumped. I'm getting jumped. Oh my! Damn it, man! Help me! You saw that? He just came out of nowhere from behind. He just like he just granoled me. Oh, he just came out of nowhere. Hold on. Uh, can I go inside of here? What the hell? Uh, oh, it's a glass door. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, I remember that. Let me. I need to go inside of this bar. I really do. So, oh, get out of my face! You saw that? She tried. Yo, she tried coming out of nowhere. Get out of here. Oh, there he is. That's right, you son of a. Where is he going? Come here, you freaking hunter. There we go. As long as we get rid of him. So I think this is the bar, right? This has to be the bar. All right. Now where the lighter should be around here, right? There it is. Yes. Okay, and now. Let me just check my surroundings because as soon as we're done with this, we're out. We're out of here. We're gonna burn that little gate and we're gonna make our way. Oh, it's Moro! Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out! There we go. And also, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys want to see more of these modded, uh, I guess you could say, Left 4 Dead videos. Oh, it's my ex! Oh, that fat slob! Oh, great. Let me watch my six real quick. They might be coming from here, so I don't know. Or, or you know, maybe Vegeta, Piccolo, and Android 18 got it secured. I have no idea. Oh, man. Look at this. All right. Are they coming from this area? Uh, oh, no. Holy crap. Let me shoot that barrel. All right. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. Son of a... Oh, man. Oh, wait. I just realized I don't have a med kit. Oh, dude. Really? Everyone has a med kit except for me, which is essentially a good thing, I would argue, but... Look at Piccolo just putting in the work in the fire. This dude Piccolo is getting shish kebab and he's still willing to protect me. During the final moments of 2022, you know, you know what I mean? There we go. Uh oh. Here they come. Here they come. Listen, if you guys are still watching up until this point, you guys are legends, man. You guys are absolute legends. I hope you guys, tonight, tomorrow, whenever you find time, just sit back and just play some old games. Like, just go on Steam, go on your... PSN stores, your Xbox Game Passes, and just play. Have yourselves a good time. This is crazy. There are so many things happening that it's lagging for me, dude. Come on, come on. Any more? Any more? Any more zombies? Hey, Vegeta, maybe maybe we can convert them and being good. The path is clear. Perfect. All right, um, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Follow me. Follow me, come on. Through this gate. Any zombies around here? Uh, oh, is that a hunter? Yes, it, it, that's a hunter. Look at that hunter. He's trying to be so slick. Look at him. Get him. Get him, guys. Get him. Oh, oh, you saw that? Oh, my God. There we go. We took him out. Finally, the Take RPD. Wait, what's happening? Oh. Oh, that's right. He's The tank is supposed to be Nemesis, and of course, he'd smack me first. Take him down. Take him down, boys. Vegeta, use the Big Bang. Do something. Jesus. Yo, he's massive. Is he, is he down? Oh, he's down. Get away from me, you damn zombies. Damn zombies trying to oh. come on, you guys. Can we, I, I can't. I can't close that. All right. Um, fuck it. In, 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 just go inside. Just go inside. Come on, boys. Come on, Vegeta. What is he doing? Vegeta, get inside. Piccolo, come on. Come on, Piccolo. Sounds like a smoker. Piccolo. Oh my. Piccolo, what the fuck? Come on, get inside. Oh Jesus, we we barely got through, man. Now this is a new one. I've never played this before. This is actually something called City of the Dead, and I guess there are zombies fighting up the rooftop. So we're starting off in this apartment Zoe, complex I know you're oh it's the og you. characters all right I really so don't this is going to be the last left for dead video i guess for 2022 i'm hoping that we survive this because if we end up dying then i don't know what else to say to you guys uh let me just grab that i mean thankfully this is not laggy because like the re maps are so laggy i don't know why oh yeah let's just get rid of let's just get rid of all of them all right, so follow the arrow. Um, just want to make sure. So am I going through there? I can't open that. Uh, whoa, what the hell? Oh, no. Um, okay, I think I know what I need to do. Let me just jump here. Oh, God, don't die. Don't die. Don't die. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, oh, crap. They're, yo, they're down here. That's not good. So everything is flooded. I'm assuming because of the rain and because of the pipe system. And here's the thing. Write this down, right? You guys need to go watch this Korean film called Stay Alive. It's like this zombie movie where, like, this uh, this Korean dude is in his apartment and he's trying to communicate with another woman that's living across the street in her apartment, but these zombies are, like, crazy fast. They're just insane. How the hell do I get out of here? You guys need to watch that movie. I think it's called Hashtag Stay Alive. So the hashtag, you know, symbol, and then stay alive. Look that film up. You guys are really going to like that. And 
of course, Train to Busan. If you guys have watched that, oh god, here they come. And for whatever reason, like, these foreign films are so good, and I, I just don't know why. It's kind of sad. It's like, yo, what happened to Hollywood? You guys have ran out of, like, creative ideas? Like, what's going on here? Like, you guys suck at making films now. It, like, it, it, it really is sad. I don't know. But Stay Alive and Train to Busan are definite. So you guys need to go ahead and check that out. It's a dead end. Um, let me see. Can we go here? Yes, we can. Oh, there are they, they're in here. They're in here. Yo, this is a little intense because... Oh, shit. This is a little intense because... I mean, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just... I'm just going as we go. Like, you know what I mean? I'm following these little arrows, I suppose. Oh, my... Where are we, dude? This is... This is not the ideal scenario to be in. I'm telling y'all right now. Any zombies? Any special infected around here? We're just moving through apartments. Oh, sweet Jesus. Am I supposed to... Are we supposed to come down here? I have no idea. Are we? Oh, wait, there's a gate right here. Okay, so... Uh, yes. I'm assuming we are. Oh, God. Weapons All right, um... What are we grabbing is the question. Grabbing some ammo. What the hell? Oh, we got a tank already, dude? Oh, nah. Oh, nah. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Oh, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out, take him out. Thank God. Thank God. I, I do not want to be in a position where we're vulnerable and, and just, you know, getting bodied by a tank. I'm assuming since there's light here, I guess. Yeah, so follow the arrows. Where are we going? Oh, God, there's a smoker here somewhere. This is a dead end. Can we jump over this by any chance? Oh, wait. Oh, I think that's the safe room, right? Y'all saw that door? I I know, I know I'm not bugging out, so we're going to have to... Oh, God, that, that's actually funny. Oh, they're all up in the bar. Anyone, anyone want a drink? Anyone want uh, some Jack on the Rocks? Huh? Some some goose? Anyone want a Henny? Huh? None? Anyone looking for a drink? Shit. All right, let me... um. I'm assuming we're supposed to... Okay, there's an arrow here. All right, what is... Oh, God. All right. Uh, are we supposed to move through the bathroom? Like, what's going on here? I have no idea what's happening. All right, we're all in the bathroom, which is not the place where we want to be, I guess. But um, this actually leads us back outside, right? Yeah, this leads us back outside. So, yeah, this can't be it. They're telling... I mean, are we supposed to break this? That's weird. Hold on. Oh, that's strange. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There's gotta be... Okay, so there's gotta be, like, a hole or a door that we have to go through. Oh, Jesus. Are they Are they really coming? Shoot them! Yo, just shoot them. Just shoot them. That's it. They're coming. Oh, how did that not even affect them? That's right. Get out, get out of here. Oh, Jesus! Help! God. Yo, I, I would have been... That would have been it for me. Um, I would have... What the hell are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to, like... There's got to be something here, right? Oh, what the? Are you kidding me? Help! Help! Ah, I'm getting strangled to death, bro. Help me. Oh, my God. Now we have to circle back all the way around. I'm dying, dude. Jesus. All right. Um, There's got to be something. So it's on the other side of this fence. But, like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Is, is there anything here, I suppose? There's a dumpster. We got, okay, canisters. Maybe that's a clue. I have no idea. Let me, let me see. Weapons over here. I like how, like, the map is, like, labeled, like, total population four, and it's just, like, the four of us, and there's, like, 50,000 zombies in this city or whatever the hell. Like, you know what I mean? Who closed all these doors? I need to look for clues. Um, it's telling me to go upstairs, but, yo, I don't see anything up here. Are, are we supposed to go in here? That's a bathroom. Um, it's, I mean... Yeah, I don't see anything. The arrow's telling me here, but, like, what do you mean? There's nothing here. There's a... Okay... Let me see. There's a bathroom here and a bathroom here. So, am I bugging out here? Like, there's got to be, like, a hole or something, right? They should have They should have labeled it, you know, a little better because I'm thinking to myself, like, do we blow a hole in the toilet and we just, like, go down? I mean, what the... Like, you know what I mean? What the hell's going on here? All right. There's nothing here, dude. Who keeps closing these doors? Is it Bill? Is it Lewis? Is it Zoe? One of y'all is doing it. I can't find anything. I, I really can't find anything. Yo, we need some clues. I mean, the rest of y'all, y'all can help me, right? Let me just, yo, we ha I, it has to be this. I mean, it has to do something with this because I see stairs and stuff. So let me, yeah, I don't see any holes anywhere. I don't see any doors. All right, you know what? 
Uh, let me... Oh, God, I don't want to do this, dude. Because I have, like, this... I have this weird feeling that it's, like, right in our face. Maybe. So let me just check the downstairs area one more time. And if worse comes to worse, what I'll do is I'll go... And I guess I'll grab those canisters and I'll set the place on fire. And if that doesn't burn down like the wood, then I guess we're stuck. You know what I mean? So let me... What's this? Melee weapons. There's a Molotov. Molotov All right. Um, yeah, so... They should have given us clues, bro, because... Oh, here come the zombies again. Damn you, zombies! Oh, here they come. Oh, I don't know what to do right now. Um, Do we have to break the... Oh, you know what? All right, F it. F it. Screw it. Um... As a distraction, let me use uh, this. All right, my my bio weapon. Let me just pick this canister up, I suppose, and just like try to stick and move. Damn, they're coming out of my face. They are they are flocking. Come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Come on, man. This is the third and final game for the Left 4 Dead 2 mods, man. Come on. I I, I just I can't give in now. Come on. Come on, come on. And, and thank God we're playing as the original characters, because if I was playing as like. A goofy Goku or like a goofy Vegeta or a goofy Piccolo that that would have been something all right so fire in the hose ladies and gentlemen let's see if this works does it burn anything down what the hell is this oh wait a minute this wasn't oh my god really really the whole time oh that's dumb dude that was dumb they could have given us a sign I didn't know you I didn't know you could break that you know all right let's get the hell out of here dude um so the safe house is here somewhere it has to be I don't see any we zombies. All right, here. perfect. Come down here. All right. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, this was the gated area, right? Yes, it was. Okay. So that means, yeah, there's the arrow. I know I saw that room. Yep, yeah, it, it's got to be here. Oh, oh my, yo, that scared the shit out of me. Yo, that scared the shit out of me. That was actually really good. Come on, man. We have to end off the final one on a good note. Can we get into the safe room? Did they find the safe room? Oh, Jesus, yeah, we, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Oh, this this has been great. Such nostalgia, yo. GG, guys, GG. Okay, honestly, I just couldn't help myself. This is Project Zomboid, and I guess I'm playing as myself. We have to survive. There are zombies outside, and I have myself a beautiful little sanctuary here. Listen, if I knew that there were zombies outside, I would not be leaving this place, but I have to kind of go see what the hell's going on out here. So, in case you guys don't know... This is a game on Steam that I really, really encourage you guys to get. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Close the door. Close the door. Uh, lock the door. Okay. Oh, they're trying to come in, dude. Okay, so that's not good. Because from what I remember, if at least one zombie gets alerted, the others are going to make their way here, right? So let me go on ahead and just put my little, you know, windows here. Just close my little curtain. I don't want anything, you know. Oh, shit. Oh, they, they spotted me, yeah. Oh, they spotted me. Okay, so... It's only a matter of time, I, I suppose, until they start coming in. I need to... Alright, I can't close my curtains. Oh, shit! What the hell was that? Oh, they're, they're in! Oh, there's two of them. Oh, God. Okay, wait, wait. Oh, I'm panicking. Hold on, we gotta get the fuck out of here, bro. There's another guy, like, right there. Oh, God. Snow! Oh, oh God! Get away, get away, get away! Oh, I need, to, I need to get the hell out of here. I locked the door. Oh, no! All right, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. We're going upstairs. Come on. Yo, I have to jump out of my uh, second floor window here. I have to. Yeah, I got... All right, let me... All right, let me get the hell out of here, dude. So this is the part where the horde just starts, like, piling up. And I really want to see how long I can actually survive. Yo, shit's going to get intense. I need food. Oh, like, they broke my window, bro. What would you guys do in a scenario like this, you know? Like, you're by yourself in the middle of nowhere, I guess. You're home. And all of these zombies are just... They found you, man. They're just trying to bust in. I don't even know where I'm going, man. I don't even think I could go anywhere. Let me... Let me see real quick. Oh, my goodness. I believe there's a shack around here, right? If I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. All right, we getting up in here. That's it. Oh, wait, it's locked. Shit. Um, let me open the window, because I'm gonna go in, and I'm going to close the window. I wanna see if I can put my curtains. Oh, there- Oh, we- Oh, we- Oh, shit! We have no curtains. Um, this is not good, because here they are. Oh, I gotta get the hell out of here, dude. 
Oh, they broke in. They broke in. They broke in. They want to eat me. They want to eat me, dude. Listen, we're closing off 2022 with a banger. Jesus. Okay. Okay, I was not. Oh, my goodness. I was not expecting for all of those. Listen, I mean, I'm thankful that they're not running and gunning. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Um, Open the window. Dude, I can't even open the window. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Why is it taking so long? Let me in. Christ. Okay, um, damn. There they are. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Listen, it's all about survival, right? So, I... I don't want to get eaten, bro. I don't, I don't I don't. feel like jumping out of my window again. They're all downstairs, actually. Hold on. Oh, damn. They're inside, man. Oh, oh, boy. Um... Can I... Can I sneak my way down? What is this? Um, I guess I'll grab a flashlight. I'm gonna do that. But then again, if I if I use my flashlight, then it's only going to I guess just draw the zombies in. You know what I mean? Because they're gonna see the light and stuff. Um, is there any? Oh crap! Oh yeah, yeah. They can smell me. They can smell me. I'm gonna stay right here. Hold on. Are they making? Yeah. Oh boy. I wonder how many zombies are here. Oh, damn. They're, they're, they're coming up the stairs. Listen, I have no choice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They're going to eat me, bro. Oh, my God. I barely made it out of there. Oh, here they come. Hey, yo, dude. All right. I need food. I need... I don't... Oh, shit. Oh, they broke my door down, dude. Look at my cap. Oh, my God. I don't even know where I'm going. My heart's pounding. I'm going to catch a heart attack while running, man. We got this, though. I, I think we'll survive. Never mind. Okay. Um, there's nothing out here, like, in the middle of, like, the woods. So, like, my only best bet is to stay here and try to see if I can outrun them or if I could do something. But, oh, crap. Yeah, I don't. Damn. Where are they coming from? Oh, where are they coming from? Yeah, I, I, I guess I'm going to go back inside because I want to see if we can... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, they're here. D oh, my God. Holy shit. Holy shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Run, 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 run. I'm bleeding. Ah, no, no, no. I will not get eaten. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. No, no. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Six minutes and 49 seconds. Oh, they're just mauling me right now. Damn, that was... Yo, that was gruesome. But you know what? What I'm gonna do right now is... I'm gonna do that again. But with a brand new character, just to see how far we can actually go. Okay, whoa, wait a minute. I completely forgot that this is not the way we're supposed to be starting things off. Holy shit! Oh my god, I'm playing as a police officer. I, I completely forgot that you start off exactly where you die oh my god all right this is this is officer fuck nuts out here i don't i don't know what i'm gonna do i don't i don't even know how long this guy is gonna survive to be to be quite blunt with you damn yo they got the whole into look at that the whole entire horde is inside man see i'm a cop so i guess i'm trained but at the same time, this is, like, not a situation that I want to be in. I want to see if there's anything. Can I can I just venture out here somewhere, I suppose? Like, there's, I know there's nothing. I, I did this before. Oh, man, but I haven't played this in a long time, so. Oh, this is crazy. My heart's beating. I know since I'm, what the hell is that? Are those legs? No, those are probably trees. I know that since I don't have, like, any food and stuff, like, I'm going to have to. At the same time as well, you're going to have to, like, pick your spots carefully. So, I know there's nothing out here. So, the last thing I want to do is... Oh, crap. Oh! The last thing I want to do is get caught in the woods. Oh, this is not good. So, they followed me. Oh, they followed me. They followed me. Come on, officer. Come on, officer. Oh, come on, officer. I, yo, I'm literally... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude. This is what 2022 felt like. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, yeah, this is definitely 2022 in a nutshell. Damn, so I don't even... I I, I need to find a weapon, dude. Oh, I, I can't. Oh, come on, keep juking them. Yo, I'm football juking these people, man. 
they are everywhere. I don't even know. From what I understand, I know that zombies could just pile up by the hundreds. So, the longer this goes, I guess the more zombies that are going to pop up. And if that ends up happening, then I... Let me go back inside. Oh, no, no, no. That was a big mistake. Big mistake. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I need to figure something out. Okay, okay. I can't stay in here. This is not good. This is not good. Get up, get up, get up. Run, run, run. Oh, gee, I'm stuck. I'm dead. Climb out through the window. No! No! Ah! God. Man, son of a bitch. Oh, my. All right, three minutes and four seconds. I lasted half as long as I did before. Damn, they're just, they're hounding me, man. And I know I'm going to turn into a zombie afterwards, but you know what? Now nah, we're not done because I know we can get by. I know. It's just a matter of, like, figuring out how. You know what I mean? Okay, so now, instead of playing as a cop and a random person, I am playing as a burglar. So I'm a criminal. You know what I mean? And I'm a criminal in the middle of Kentucky? Listen, I'm not from the Midwest. You know what I mean? So God bless you guys for living out there because it's just nothing but corn and trees and more corn and more trees. So I guess right now... Instead of me venturing out into the cornfields and stuff, I'm just going to be venturing down this lonely old rod just to kind of see where I'm going to be going here, fella. Oh, I hear zombies. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, nope. Nope. Listen, as a burglar, my job is to break into houses and steal as much orange juice as possible, right? So, I guess this is going to be my first... Oh, this is a nice looking house. Okay. Uh, let me see. Can I come in? Okay. I can't go inside. Uh, let me see if I can smash the window. See, in a situation like this, like, you know, if if there was, like, an outbreak that, you know, just resulted in people turning into zombies and stuff, make no mistake about it, man. There's no, there's, oh, crap. There's no law, like, there there's no, like, grounded civilization. Like, it's basically kill or be killed, you know what I mean? And this, okay, this zombie's, like, preventing me from going inside. What are you, like, the former owner or something? Like, what's going on here? There's a dog house. Where's the dog? All right, let me in. Ha, ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. I was about to say... All right, um, there's a shack out here. You know what? Can we open the door? Uh, can we do that? No, it's locked. So I'm guessing whoever, you know, yeet, whoever owned this house just made sure that, uh, oh, I'm bleeding. Am I bleeding? Okay, I'm not bleeding, thank God. See, because the, the, the thing is, like, blood draws the zombies in. So, and like I said before, in case you guys are wondering what game this is, you know what? Watch this, watch this. Look at this. I'm washing myself with toilet water. Listen. I have no other choice. It's it's be or be killed. Do whatever it takes. Survival of the fittest. All right, leave me alone. So in case you're wondering about the name of this game, it's called Project Zomboid. I really encourage you guys to get it and just see how long you can survive. Let me, um... Oh, wait a minute. I am bleeding. Oh, shit. That's not good. So blood draws zombies, okay? Blood draws zombies. And I'm pretty sure I'm bleeding because I cut myself. Can I go inside the shack? Okay. Now, the way I normally play this game is like, I know, uh, I, let me, let me actually uh, go this way. Now, the way I normally play is I'm just running gun. I want to see if I can survive. Minus the gun parks, I have no weapon, you know? But if you notice on the ground, like my blood's dripping everywhere. So I need to, yeah, this is going to attract a lot of zombies, man. Oh, speaking of, hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, you, you thought you can catch up to me, right? Now, for those who forgot, there are, like, you got hunters in this game, so people will shoot you. You got, like, all types of, like, elements, like, you know, fog and snow and stuff like that. So it really all depends. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I mean, listen, I would rather be in the middle of nowhere. Oh, oh, yes. This place is big, yo. Oh, I'm staying here. Nah, the hell with that. I am staying in here. All right, anyone home? Anyone home? Come on, let me in. Oh, the door's locked. Yeah, I'm definitely staying in here. I am, I'm not gonna be venturing out there because God knows, uh, can I use the car? Let me see if I can actually use the car. Or at least uh, do something to, oh my, wait, where the hell did she come from, dude? Are you the owner of this here compound? Like, cause it is my compound now. Yaga. Yo, I'm bleeding all over the floor, dude. All right. Um, I mean, can I use that? No, I can't. Running around and, you know, just dripping blood everywhere, it's it's not really going to help my cause. But I got to do what I got to do, so I don't know, man. Let me... Damn, bleeding. I, I don't even know who's in the house. Is there a second floor here? There, I think there has to be, if I'm not mistaken. 
there has to be a second floor here i no, let me i just oh hello hello hold on uh oh god open the door show she nearly got me dude there's got to be a second floor okay i need a damn i want to use the car because i know you can actually use the car i'm not sure if oh damn I'm not sure if we need um specific kind of like equipment or whatever, but all right. Uh, oh, this is glass. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on, break it through, break it through. Ah! Wait, what? Oh, what the? Heck? Yo, wait. Wait, hold on. I, I, how do I? How can I? I just, you guys just saw that. Well, that's bullshit. Talk about 2022 glitching out on you, you know? Yo, I really hope you guys are watching up until this point. I don't even know how long i've been recording for like all of these games collectively but if you guys are still watching up until this point i guess hashtag officer fuck nuts i suppose right you know that poor guy he spawned in the middle of like a zombie outbreak just a zombie dog pile you know what i mean i'm bleeding my heart's pounding um oh there she is she trying to get in she trying to get in and um okay let me let me let me see this real quick. What is this? Where does this take me? Okay, that's the regular bedroom. All right. Um. All right. Let me grab that. All right. All right. So, yeah, this is um from from the way this is looking, yo, this is getting intense. So I I I don't know. I don't want to go back out there because I know they're gonna get me. But I can't. Yeah, I can't really stay here because. All of the blood here is going to draw them in. So, look at him. Yeah, you stupid. All right, so I want to see if I can find, like, a different house to go to. Maybe I can just, you know, find... Oh! Oh, shit! Someone shot me! Yo! Are you kidding me, dude? Someone shot me. There's a hunter out there. What? Bruh. Okay. GG on that one. Yo, GG. I was not expecting that one what i gotta admit this is one of my favorite games no cap welcome back to resident evil village look at the duke just sitting there looking like a giant meatball okay so i kind of went back to one of my like random ass saves and i think this is before getting to monroe right so we're about to explore have some fun here look at the village first and foremost right like you got to appreciate how like we start the game off like with a blizzard and there's werewolves and stuff man what is happening out here dude what's that oh shit yo I, I completely forgot about this thing god damn it yo we're not ending we're not ending off the year like this ah, ah, yeah, yeah, oh, I, i'm definitely infected i'm definitely infected what is this thing it's chewing on me dude sweet mother of jesus christ get in there ethan oh yeah man oh oh crap Back! 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 Oh, damn, I forgot I fought that thing. Come here, you little bitch. Where the hell did he go? Yo, we're capping off 2022 with a bang. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Oh, jeez. Oh, he's strong, dude. I gotta get my shotty out. Daga! Why, why, I mean, why can't you die? Why can't you just die? Nah! Finally. What the... F dude. Look at that thing, man. What is that? Oh, I mean, I got its skeleton. Look at this thing. Yeah, you perish. Looks like my ex. Yeah, that's right. You die. I mean, listen, man. What in the hell? Are there any more? I forgot. Like, it's been a while. What the hell's going on here, man? I mean, we're ending off 2022, right? So, might as well expect the unexpected, right? My God, dude. All right. Uh, Is the coast clear? Oh, I, I, I am just in distress. Let me just go on ahead and... uh. How do I... Okay, first of all, yeah, let me just do that. This game is phenomenal. Like, you, you got to appreciate, like, the Resident Evil series because for what it's worth, this game, I'm just as big of... Oh, my God, look at this. Was that thing eating horses? Man, what happened? It's like I come back into the village. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm not trying to read no note, buddy. Let me just grab those shells. I come back into the village and it's like pandemonium. I mean, because, like, not for nothing, I think this is, like the final portions of you doing your thing before you know you know offing monroe and then finding uh heisenberg and stuff like that but this franchise is golden like i i love it so much i'm actually really glad that you know 
they changed up everything for this game, you know? Especially with considering where Resident Evil was, and I can't wait to see what 2023 has in store. Fuck you, chickens! Oh, you guys got lucky. Oh, that's crappy mechanics. How the hell do I shoot the chicken, right? From, like, this barded door, and it's like, I, I can't even get it, you know? Alright, let me, uh... Let me see something real quick. Oh, shit, look at that. What the hell happened here? Oh, boy. I mean, typically, you're not supposed to follow the blood trail, but... You know, being the fact that I'm white in this game, I guess I'll do the typical white thing and just go inside and see what's up. Whereas in actuality, in real life, I would not be going anywhere. If I see a blood trail, I mean, hell, you're on your own, pal. Nah, I was raised, I was raised in, in New York, man. Diversity. I've learned a lot. When you see a blood trail, you go the other way. You don't follow that, you know what I mean? But I mean, hell... Let me know. Do you guys want to see more Resident Evil Village on the channel going into uh, 2023? Let me know. It's been a long day, guys. I mean, we've just been gaming, just capping off the year, man. It is what it is. And I'm actually glad. Uh, look at all this green shit. Yeah, this is um, this is Monroe's doing, right? Yeah, this has Monroe written all over. Oh. Oh, shit. Yo, where y'all at? Oh, I hear werewolves. Nah, back up, back up, all y'all, back up. Oh, shit. Where the- I mean, I, I gotta get the hell out of here. I know you guys hear it, too, you know? And by the way, I encourage you guys to check out the previous gaming roulette videos, specifically the Halloween specials that, we, that we've done this year. Alright, so yeah, I forgot. These are breakable. Um, Let me- no, instead of doing that, let me just knife it. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Ethan. Come on, yeah! Alright, beautiful. All of this, man, all of this just to get our daughter back. Or at least pieces of our daughter. Look at this. This is all like this is all covered in jizz, man. Like what the hell? I'm walking through like fish jizz. Yep, there it is. Alright, so this is uh Monroe's lair. I know that door is locked, so let me go on ahead and just cut my way through. This gigantic green ball sack, because that's what this looks like. It looks like a giant ball sack with, like, eggs inside. Like, just parasitic eggs, you know what I mean? Alright, come on, Ethan. Listen, if you guys are still watching up until this point, God bless you. Oh, we got pigs. Oink! <laughs> it's just... Yeah, that's right. You better oink for me, pig. Oh, wait, I forgot for a second. Hold on, do they, uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, they do. All right, let me unlock this real quick. Do they attack? I think they do. Hey, piggy. Oh, God. Oh, God, back up. Oh, you, you little shit. Oh, they're both attacking me. Hold on. I said, oink. I said, I done said, I said, oink. Damn, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. I mean, I, <laughs> I didn't really, I didn't really mean to, but I have to do what I have to do. All right, so let me, let me go inside of here. From what I remember... I'm like everybody else, man. I have like 50 saved dad, like game datas in here, you know? Man, I, I like it. That's why I just chose a random one and I was like, wait a minute. While I'm at the menu, this is uh, Monroe's stuff. Let me go on ahead and uh, save my game real quick before we go any further. Okay, so the game is saved just in case I end up going down. Oh my god, speaking of going down. What would you guys do? Like, this, this guy really must love his daughter, man. I mean, I'd do the same thing, but I wouldn't just be doing this with, like, a pistol, you know? Oh, God. From what I remember, this is gonna take us down, down, you know what I mean? Alright, Ethan. See, Monroe was, like, the weirdest one in this game. Like, for example, he was talking about, like, the others are gonna make fun of me and stuff, and, uh, like, he always tried to, uh, appease and kind of, like, you know, just suck up to Miranda, Mother Miranda. But Mother Miranda, like, never really liked any of them. And I'm pretty sure she probably hated Monroe the most, you know? Either that or Heisenberg, you know? Because I know Heisenberg hated that bitch, you know what I'm saying? This is creepy stuff, dude. Oh, I hear him. Oh, you can hear him. Where you at, bitch? I know you were around here somewhere, you frogfish monster. Oh, this is some shit. I mean, look, I mean, listen. You can tell, right? There's bags down here, like, there's blankets. 
if you're down here in like this mine and you see shit like this, like, nah, you gotta leave. This is nasty, man. I would not be down here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. You can tell. You can tell someone lives here. Look at this. Garbage everywhere. Look, look, look. Look, there's a whole rug here. Like, nah, man. If I saw something like that, look, there's bags here. I would be out of here, man. Forget that. Uh, do I have to cut this? I forgot. Do I have to cut this? No. Yes. No. All right. Well, let me... Oh, yeah. Hold on. Aha! Uh-oh. Look at that. Look, look at him. The goober. Look at him. He's in the back. Mother Miranda. Just take that from you. Thank you very much. We got the arm flask. Ah! Oh! Oh, Nasty. Oh, God. Ah, what a simp. Uh-oh, he spotted me. I'll just be taking this. What? 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 What are you doing with Mother's special child? What? She's not hers. Yeah, right? The hell? Oh, you have something to say? I do have something to say. What do you mean, Mother's special child? Yeah. Mother wants her baby back. What? Don't screw with me. Wait, 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 please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. So what? If I had you better than them. What do I care? Wait, just a little longer, please. Oh, uh, what happened? <laughs> He's laughing. What the hell are you laughing at? What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. I'll punch you in your chin. It's all over. I plugged away in. Oh, Wait. shit. You nasty. This is my you son of a bitch! I won't let you Shit. Alright, we'll see about that. I'll stab you, son of a bitch! Monroe! You freak! That's why nobody likes him, yo. He's fat! He's out of shape. He's like all gooky and stuff. And he's vomiting all over the place. Jesus Christ. Alright, um, it's time for us to skedaddle. Oh, look, look, now he's, now he's saying, Don't go! This dude has, like, bipolar disorder, you know? One minute, he's like, Don't go! And the next minute, he's like, Alright, I got you right where I want you! Where am I supposed to go again? I forgot, damn it. Um, okay, I can't... Oh, shit. Uh, is there... Aha! Yeah, this is it. Yeah, what happened to that door, though? Like, wait, did, did like, someone kick it down? This is bullshit. Oh, look at this. And to think that we were in here, man, that's, that's, that's like a coal mine, dude. Like, what the hell's happening here? This whole village is screwed. All right, well, somewhere in those waters, Monroe is going to do his thing. And it's interesting because he turns into, like, this gigantic blob fish monster, like, from the Bible or whatever, but he's, he's, he's a relatively interesting opponent. <laughs> Okay, I forgot what I'm supposed to do. So I know I can't. I don't think I can cross, right? Listen. Listen. Damn it. We have to end off the year with a bang. I'm not trying to shoot the chest. I know I have to go in there and, like, open it, but... Let me explore my surroundings real quick. It's been a while. Alright, we have a... Hold on, let me... Let me just take a look around here. So, okay. Um. Oh, yeah, that's right. Let me... There's a boat. Okay, uh, let me just... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I need a boat key. That's right. So, oh, wait, hold on. Where the hell do I have to go for the boat key? I think it's I think it's in the mines again. Right? I, I'm just trying to, like, double check, like, if there's any other way, like, we can travel to. Because I know we're going to be on the other side. I know that for a fact. But... Where the hell's the boat key, bro? Don't tell me Moron has... Oh, he, I know he doesn't have it, but if he did, I'd knock his frog ass out. Imagine, just imagine pistol whipping a frog, you know? Like, as stupid as that may seem, you just pistol whip a mutant frog. Or whatever the hell he is. Let me, um, I feel like, okay, so it's not here. Let me double check. That's nasty. I don't know if somebody puked their guts up. Alright, let me, let me grab, let me see, is this it? Let me, let me grab this, okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. I left the boat key in the shack in the mine. Oh, that's right. Hans is dead. So no more fishing for a while. Oh my god, that's right. It's in the mine. Okay, Oh damn it. With the giant fish. So, Hans was eaten by the, quote, giant fish monster, which was Monroe. Monroe is eating people, alright? 
I for okay, so yeah, I kind of had a hunch that it was inside. Cause from what I remember, it's like we have to. Yeah, we have to. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I remember now. We're gonna have to knock something down later. I think. I think it's that right there, right? Is it? All right. Let me just. Yeah, I think it's okay. So that's the bridge. Oh yeah. See, I knew it. Yeah, force can break it. All right, Yaga. All right, boys. We locked, ready, and loaded. I don't even know how long this gaming roulette video is going to be, man. Like I said, I, I really hope you guys watch all the way through because why the hell not, right? So many games. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I hear something. What the hell is that? Who's there? Oh shit. Are they are they eating people? They're eating people. Oh, they're eating people, dude. Hey. Oh, I got oh dude, look at that. I got a surprise for you. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's alive? Okay. So we got we got werewolves in the mine, right? Back. Back, 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 get back. Yeah, I got Oh my god, get back, just get back. Alright, so I'm just make him stab him. Just to make sure he doesn't get up. Alright, so happy new year to you two, right? Look at these bodies, man. What even are they? Are they eating people? Like what were they doing? Yeah, they were eating people, dude. Now either I'm going crazy or I hear more Oh what the, what the hell was that? Yeah, I knew it, I knew it! Oh shit! Okay, I I damn it, oh he got armor. Yeah! Take off the helmet, I said! Come on. How is he? Come on, dude. Really? Oh, there's another one. There we go. Headshot. You want some too? Bam. Oh, that was a nice headshot. I hear another one. Where's he at? Oh, he's he's probably, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit! Oh, I... What the... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's... Oh, there's two of them. What the hell? Yo, where are they coming from? Headshot. Shoot him in the legs. Ah! You fucking werewolves! Get away from me, dude. Gee, I, I mean, any more? Any more? I, I hear another one. Let me just grab all this shit. Where, where's the other one? I'm, like, terrified right now. I, I hear one more, dude. Where are they at? Oh, shit. Back. Back up. Back up. Back up, homie. You son of a bitch. Headshot. Okay. Like, is it over? I gotta make sure it's over. I gotta get the hell out of here, man. So... I guess they were- oh wait, Boki. Wait, where? 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 Aha! Now? Okay, hold on. Let me just double check. Alright, yeah, now? Now it's time for us to, uh, to, to get the hell up out of here. That's it. And let me know down in the comment section below, like, what your favorite, uh, Resident Evil game is. Whether that be Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil 3 Remake, OG Resident Evil 3, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 1 Remake, the original Resident Evil 1, is it Village? Oh, I can hear this dude, man. That's, that's crazy. I, listen, I don't know what this dude Monroe is planning on doing, but... You ain't gonna stop me from getting my daughter, I'll tell you that much. You giant fish. I mean, he's a fish. It would have been better if they, like, turned him into, like... A super mega behemoth, you know? Oh, I hear I hear werewolves, bro. Where they at? Oh, I gotta get the... Yeah, I gotta get out of here. Uh, let me use the boat key. Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan. We all know you don't make it in the end, but come on, Ethan. Alrighty, here we go. Come on. Uh, let me just double check. Let me just go here. So this is the reservoir, right? And from what I remember, we're supposed to drain all the water. And then take it from there, right? Ugh, nasty. Oh, there he is. What was that? Jesus Christ. Listen, if I was on a tiny ass boat like this, and I saw some shit like that, you could best believe I'm turning my fucking ass right back around and I'm staying where I was. I'm not gonna be exploring the waters. Like, you know, like that's some National Geographic shit. I don't work for them, you know? Good lord, bro. Gigantic 
Fucking sea monsters, man. Like, I ain't with that. You get you, you crazy? You got the wrong dude, man. You got the wrong player for this. Definitely the wrong player, man. I would not be down here. I mean, but then again, if, if it's your kid, you know. I mean, I would, but I don't know if I'd be walking out on the other side alive, you know. I'd... I'd probably be a ghost. Oh, I remember this. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Research center. Research post or something? Oh, it's... Uh, what are you doing here? Oh, shit. Oh! Yeah, you're not Chris. Come here. Oh, wait. Stay the fuck down! You shut the fuck up. Uh-oh. I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. Help me, Chris! How about you just do that? It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Oh, come on. Sure, Chris. Why not? Right? You killed Mia. Yeah. Now do me and finish the job. Well, it's not really Mia, but okay. Chris? Hey, Cap. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. Yeah, we should We should definitely move on. Yes, it's Monroe. What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. Big My ones. We've been here too Fish. Long, and Miranda knows it. Hey, Fish. Hey, did you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave yeah, it alone, Chris. Ethan. You are out of your depth. No. How about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. All right, the mold, whatever. There's a giant fish monster thing. There he is. Chris? Chris? You stay out of our business, Ethan. What business? Oh, shut the fuck up, Chris. Chris! My God, bro. Oh, Jesus, Monroe. Oh, I'm in the water. Oh, I'm in the water, dude. Can you imagine how nasty that water must taste? Jesus Christ. Come on. Get out of there. Ugh. Probably got a disease. Oh, there he is. You. Stay back. I would end him right there. Are you kidding me? Me what? You hear this guy? I don't have time for this. Ugh. How? Miranda sent you to slow me down? Yeah, right? So pathetic. Don't be cruel, what? Ew. Look at this guy. What's wrong with you? Uh-oh. Ah! Uh -oh. oh, you son of a... Yeah, right? Oh, God. Oh, God, he can't hold it anymore. Get your ass back in the water. What is wrong with the... Yeah, back in the water you go. He looks like every single dude that my exes decide to, like, date afterwards, you know? Oh, shit, fish monster. I gotta get the hell out of here. Hold on. I'm a little entertained by this. Look at him, he's just chomping at the bits. Oh god, I'm next. Come on. Come on, Ethan. Oh lord. Alright. I'm assuming we made it, right? Yep, did we make it? Oh my god, he's throwing pallets everywhere. Fucking fish! Look at this place. My god, look, uh, look at the town. It's underwater. This dude must have been eating people like left and right. So... It's time for us to drain the reservoir, if we can. What am I supposed to do? Well, I don't know, Ethan. I'm playing as you, so I'm trying to figure it out, you know what I'm saying? It's the end of 2022. <sighs> we gotta celebrate, you know what I'm saying? And what better way than to fight the exits underwater. giant fish monsters, right? Yo, you can hear this dude. You can hear him. So, from what I remember, there he is. Look at him. Alright, uh... Drain the... Water. Yeah, drain the water. That's right. There we go, Shit, right there. There's no power. Yeah, we gotta turn the power on. Okay. Uh, from what I remember, what was this? This is like a puzzle. Crap. Um, let me see if I can memorize this. So it's the three reds around. It's the two blues and the black. Okay. Uh, I think I got it. I mean, I may have messed up, but all right. So that's the gatehouse. Yeah, we're gonna have to link everything. So from what I remember, at least right now, I think the Duke is in here, right? Let me just check. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, there he is. So I'm gonna do my thing with him, right, Duke? As you wish. All right, I'm gonna do my thing with him. I'm gonna save, and then we're gonna continue. All right, so the game is saved, and now we're gonna be hunting Moreau's bitch ass down again. You know what I'm saying? 
Listen, I don't, I don't have any combat experience with like fish monsters. So, if anyone can drop a comment on how to fight a fish monster, that, I mean that that that'd be very gratefully helpful, you know. Like, what do you guys think Resident Evil 9 is gonna be like? I'm pretty sure they're not gonna go with like the name of like Resident Evil 9. I want to shoot these fucking chickens so bad, but I'm I'm kind of curious, you know, because thus far, like, and, and in terms of like structure, like I want to know everything about that game so bad. Like, I'm just, I'm dying for it. Like, I, I literally am. And that's because, like, I really firmly believe that Resident Evil 9, whenever that, the hell that comes out, it's gonna be great. Like, hopefully that is, you know? So, uh, I remember this. Let me access that real quick. Alright, let's go on ahead and just turn this here. And then it's gonna, yep, I knew it. Of course. Seriously? I know, I know. This sucks, man. But you gotta love this game because it introduces different bosses with different elements and different environments and different ways of, like, going about situations, and it's great, you know? Like, Heisenberg is different than Lady Demitrescu, and Lady Demitrescu is very different compared to Monroe and, you know, Donna and all. It's, it's great, so... Let's just make our way down here. From what I remember, I think we're going to be, like, jumping from house to house and shit. I might be wrong, but, you know, like, you know, while we're above water, I think. So, because we're going to have to power some shit. I don't know, man. Look, look, it is what it is. Monroe's down here somewhere. He wants to eat me. So, as Vegito would say, eat me. Yeet. Where do we go? Uh, oh, yeah. All right. Let's, let's make sure not to alert any fish. We don't want to alert any fish. No fish. I don't. I don't even have a fishing rod, bro. You. Oh, that's right. Yeet. Oh wait, I missed. How the hell did I miss? Come on. Yeah. Oh shit. Come on. Yeah, I'm not interested in sushi today, bro. Oh god. Yeah, I remember this. Oh, I gotta be careful. He's looking to eat me, bro. I don't even taste good. Trust me. After everything Ethan's been through. I haven't even showered in days. You know, like, just trust me. Ethan is not the guy to eat, bro. You are crazy. And you are fugly as a mother, bro. What the fuck? Uh, Alright, we gotta get the hell out of here. Shooting him? Oh, God. Shooting him really won't do much. So... Oh, you is a fugly fish, bro. Um... Oh, my God. So, what am I... Crap baskets. What am I... What am I supposed to do... All right, so I know that... Oh, God. I know that we're supposed to cross, right? We're supposed to cross that. But... Ah, oh, crap. Am I missing something here? It's kind of hard because... um, I, I know... Oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, yes! That is right. Okay, and... Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's another piece to it. Oh, that's right. It, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's got to be here somewhere. I know I'm not bugging out. Shit. Oh, go. All right. Come on, Ro. Can you just chill for a second? Okay. We're trying to throw some garbage in the water. Come on. Tumble over. Just tumble over, bro. Give me a fighting. Give me a fighting chance here, man. Screw you, Monroe. Oh, yo. I got to figure this out. Um, where is it? Jesus. It's got to be here somewhere. I know it is. Unless, if I'm remembering correctly, is it possible that... Oh, my God. Is it possible that maybe it's on the other side? Because from what I'm looking at right now, I don't see any tape. Right? So, let me just double check before I start making mistakes. Come on, tumble on over, you son of a bitch. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, I don't see... I don't see... Wait, wait. Did I, I, I could have swore I just saw something. Hold on. Where is he? I... I... Okay, he's swimming around me. Yeah, he's circling around me, dude. Damn it. Tumble over. Unless I'm bugging out. I know... Oh, wait a wait Ah. There's got to be something. All right, you know what? Um... Stupid fish. All right, you know what? Um... What I'm going to do... Ah, oh, Jesus. I hope I'm right. 
I hope I'm right, dude. I have to be. So from what I remember, I think it's it, it's like a really small spot. It's somewhere around here, dude. I'm just trying to see where. Oh, God. I'm, I don't want to be here. Oh, crap. Chill, Monroe. Oh, God. He's right in front of me. I'm dead. Oh, wait. He's... Okay. All right. Let me... Let me go on ahead and just get on there. Uh, anything, 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 anything. Is there anything? Oh God, where is he? Anything, 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 anything. Uh, aha! I knew it. Oh my God! All right, let's get the hell out of here, man. Yo, if I fall and I bust my ass in the water and I end up getting eaten, then I don't know what else to say. Come on, let's go, Ethan. See, I I knew I remembered. All right, um, I think these are like the electrical parts, right? They should be at least. Let me just grab whatever I can. You leave me alone, Monroe. I know I'm supposed to push that. Hold on. Where is the crap? I know there's something electrical around here. I think it's the I think it's these things at the bottom, right? Can I push this? I know I have to push this. Where's Where's the push option, dude? Where is the? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me right now? What the? Oh, come on, come on, come on. Can I? There we go. I'm over here like, wait a minute. We can't like push like. All right. We pushed that. Ain't no damn. Oh, yeah, that's right. We need we need to raise something here. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Um, all right. Let me. All right, let me try this. I knew it. Ew, look at those maggots. Ew, you see that? It stinks. Hey, look at those maggots. That's nasty. Ah, oh, God. All right, flip the switch. I knew there was something electrical here. All right, boys. Oh, this. Yeah, I remember this. Okay, so, yeah, I can't climb back up. So we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to circle our way around, if I'm not mistaken. But is it through here? I think it is. Stay back, Monroe. Oh, God. Uh, yes. So I got to, oh, God. Got to flip that. Okay. Uh, did we flip it? What's going on here? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we're gonna have to... Oh, shit. Um, shit. Shit. That's right, that thing is right there. Okay, let me... Oh, wait a minute, I forgot. So, these things are gonna swap. Oh, this sucks. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. Shit! Alright, I, I think I have an idea. Hold on. Let me see if I can flip the other switch thingy. Since the other one falls down. So let me see if I can quickly hop on over. Okay. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Oh, no, no. Really? Oh, really, dude? Really? I was eaten alive by a, like a mutant fish? That's how we're doing it? That's how we're doing it. Wow, bro. Oh, now this ought to be good, right? Welcome back to Back for Blood. Here we go. We're going to be entering this deserted destroyed, ridden, infested city, which I, myself, personally wouldn't be doing in real life if I was in this oh, scenario, shit. but I have to do what I have to do, right? So it looks like we're about to open up the gates of hell here and find out what's on the other side. So I'm quick playing right now. I have no idea where I'm at, who I'm playing with, but let's find out, shall we? Oh boy, look at this. I mean, Jesus Christ. In real life, man, I it doesn't really matter how many guns I have. Right? I mean, if we're dealing with, like, fast-paced zombies, this is tough, man. Take him down! Take him down! The Zero Mortals plan. Executing Zamasu Zero Mortals plan. Well, I mean, in this case, I would have to shoot my own teammates, right? So, Jesus, what? I can't even see anything, dude. Listen, we're, I mean, we're capping off 2022, right? In the best possible way. By them, just by fighting zombies and, oh my Jesus Christ, take them down! Shoot them! Shoot them! Oh, Jesus, what is that? Oh my, yo, my God, dude. She a fucking Jesus! Shoot them! If we get bitten, it's done. I mean, I I must have been bitten right now thus far like seven times, and we just started this, so it's like I'm already infected. You feel me? I got like, I got puke all over me. Where are they coming from? Where are these gigantic, just meat beating zombies coming from? Oh, he just smashed one of his own, bro. Get away from me! Get away! Oh, this is, this is bad, dude. Like, what the hell, man? I'm not even kidding when I say this, because I was actually doing a little bit of research just to kind of see. There are, like, certain people in the world that believe that a zombie virus like this can actually happen. Can someone get him away from me? 
He's just gotta start swinging this freaking baseball bat with nails, dude. All right, I got him to back up for a second, though. I mean, listen, out of all cases and, you know, out of all possible situations, I don't think that a zombie outbreak like this would ever happen. You know what I mean? Unless it's, like, alien in origin. You know what I mean? Like, like a parasitic organism that starts taking over people's brains and shit, but... If it's like a man-made virus, don't expect something like Resident Evil to happen, you know what I mean? Alright, we need to take him down, take him down, take him down. Come on, take him down already, dude. We're ending off 2022 in the best way possible. Am I just shooting zombies? Come on, y'all, I, I mean, Jesus Christ. Listen, Back for Blood could have been so much better, I, I would say, than what it is. I mean, there's been, there, there have been several videos that I've seen, you know, involving Left 4 Dead and when comparing the two. I mean, there is no comparison. It's kind of sad to see, but it is what it is. I mean, this game is still pretty fun when uh, playing with multiple people, so I don't even know who these people are, man. It's just, we're just engaging in a shootout. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? Yeah, you big sack of shit. See, what they need to do, honestly, is they need to make, like, good zombie films. Now, to kind of compare to that, like I've said, you know, many times before, you guys need to check out, like, some of these Korean zombie movies, like Trains to Busan, Peninsula, you know, Stay Alive, stuff like that, you know? Am I stuck? Yo, help me out. Am I down? Help me out. Where the hell did he come from? How is nobody, like, how did nobody shoot this thing? Shoot him! Like, he's trying to hide. Look, I mean, look, man, you're, you're a little too big to be hiding behind a car, you know what I mean? Last thing we Jesus, want but yeah, they need to make like better zombie films, man. Like I'm such a, you guys don't even know, I'm so big into zombie movies, right? So this year, you know, I there, there was a point in time during the summer where I just binged a whole bunch of zombie films, and it's kind of sad to see how like foreign films are so much better and more intense than some of the Americanized movies, you know? Like as an example, like I just mentioned, Train to Busan, Peninsula, Hashtag Stay Alive, stuff like that, you know? Now, rarely, like, rarely are you going to find, like, an American movie that's good when it comes down to zombies, but then they ultimately flop with so much, you guys have no idea. For example, I still feel, you know, and it's almost been as crazy as this may sound, it's almost been, oh, Jesus Christ, get him off! It's almost been 10 years going into 2023 since World War Z came out, right? And... World War Z, the movie, could have been so much better than what we got. I mean, the movie made a, a crap ton of money, but at the end of the day, it was so subpar, you know what I mean? And plus, it was PG-13. Like, that's so stupid. Oh, he's puking! Come on, boys. Boys and girls, let's do this. Close out the year by just shooting some zombies. You know, as a matter of fact, let me whip out my bat. There we go. See, the thing about this is I really do hope that down the line they give us more, like, expansive zombie games that are just like this but better. You feel me? Because this really isn't a bad game. Like, I really enjoy it, but, like, Jesus Christ, man. Could this game... This game could be so much better. I mean, that's just me, though. Listen, I really hope you guys are enjoying this gaming roulette because this is probably going to be my longest one. Gun him down! Yeah! Yeah, hey, you stupid ridden. These fucking zombies, get the hell away from me. See, Zamasu's plan wasn't entirely wrong. Uh, wait, what's going on here? Oh, I hear them. I hear them. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. They're inside the market. They're inside the supermarket, boys. Oh, I would not be going up in here, dude. I'd, I'd be running the other way. Yo, they're everywhere, dude. Any more? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Wait, what's going on? Am I, I'm, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Help. Help. I don't know, man. See, the way I look at this is like, you know, I'm pretty sure like this virus or whatever, it's alien in origin. So, you know, it makes sense for that to be the case, but. All right, wait. Oh, no. Hold on. Did I just, uh, I need ammo. Um, I need way more ammo than what I have. All right, let me just grab some of that. See, the thing about this game that I find really strange is I'm not sure if for, like, Left 4 Dead and other games, like, do you have to, like, you know, unlock specific things before, you know, furthering yourself in the campaign? But what's interesting about this is, like, so, so many of the other acts are locked unless you complete, you know, Act 1. And 
For whatever reason, every single time I select Quick Play, I'm always playing either Act 1 or for whatever reason, Act 3, which I find very intriguing to me at least. So, oh, how the hell did he get in here, dude? Oh, we got to get the hell out of here, man. Listen, I'm going to I'm going to catch like a panic attack doing this. I can't. Is that everyone? Is that everyone? Okay. Um Do we have everything? Do we have the supplies? Do we have the survivors? Is the coast clear? Everything good? Let me see if I... Anything else? Anything else? Alright, ammo. Okay. Because from what I remember, I think we're gonna... Okay, there we go. I think we're gonna have to go into the library because the next mission is going to be the library mission, right? So, do we have everything? Do we have every one? Alright, let me... Let me get the hell out of here. Alright, uh, any written around here? This is, uh, this is horrifying, oh Jesus, this is horrifying because not only is it really foggy outside, but we're gonna have to like maneuver our way through the fog. Where are the survivors? Are these all the survivors? You guys sure? Hey Walker. All right, I think, uh, I think these are all the survivors. I could have swore there were more. Okay, so, come on, let's go boys. Oh, I, I really hope we can get in here safely. Come on, come on. Glad All right, get in. It. Everybody get in. Gosh, where's the rest of the team? The team you see what I'm saying? Like, she's like, oh, where's the rest of the team? So, oh, wait. Oh, jeez. I, yo, you see? I would have shot all the survivors on the spot. What is this person doing? Yo, get in the safe house. Get in. Oh, my God, man. Did we just leave the survivors outside? Wait, what? Oh, that's not good. And here we go. We're in the library now, and this place looks so messed up, man. Now, from what I remember, I think we're supposed to barricade the windows, right? Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, I kind of figured. Okay, so let me go in ahead and take out all these zombies from the outside. Just so I can make sure that they don't just come in, because that's what they're about to do. In like, what is it, like 2 minutes and 52 seconds? Okay. I mean, you, uh, you'll never catch me holding it out at a freaking library, you know You know what I mean? Because to, to me, this is like the one of the worst place to hold it off at. I, oh, Jesus, help! Help! Help me. Oh, God. Where the hell did- Yo, oh my God. Where the hell are they coming from, dude? I mean, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, throw textbooks at them? Like, what? Like, what? Am I supposed to hit a zombie with, like, a science book and then hopefully, you know, it just dies? From, like, the blunt force trauma? Just, I don't know, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, I didn't even see that thing, dude. Come on. You know, not for nothing, having that one bot on, this, on the squad might do us justice, but... From what I remember... Okay, so we're gonna barricade everything, but, um... Let me see if I can just grab... Okay, that's shotgun ammo. Which ones are we, like, doing primarily? So, okay, I, I guess we're gonna start with this one, right? Alright, uh... Let me just grab one of these. Okay, so we have... Okay, perfect. So that's one out of six. I mean, like I said, I I, I don't know. I, I guess a library, uh... Hey, are they not gonna shoot that thing? I guess the, um... The library, like, would be an ideal location for, like, a hideout. But if you want to, like throw down with the zombies whoa shit oh she's smacking me damn it if you want to throw down with the zombies with them like coming in and attacking you and stuff then i don't know to me a library is not you know ideal i suppose all right can we can we fortify everything please because the idea here is for us to fortify and then you know basically to get to point you know b after this which i think is from the exit you know the exit zone so as soon as that's done, we're going to be making our way to the next one. So let me go in ahead. Uh, that's three. All right, halfway there, boys. Is there anything up here? Is there any... From what I see up here, there's nothing. See, this, this, this is what I'm saying, though, right? Like, staying up here would be great. Oh, is that a zombie? Yes, it is. Staying up here would be great. You know, like I said, for like a hideout location. But if you want to throw down with the zombies, I... I'm not calling for that. You feel me? Oh! Oh, someone got knocked down. Yo, we got 27, 26, 25, 24 seconds until the freaking horde. Come on, guys. Come on. Is this worth it? What? I mean, we spent a year. Alright, we got two more to go. Oh, we're not gonna make it. We're not gonna make it. We got 10 seconds left. Oh, come on. It's on the other side. Oh, you're right. 
Hey, I didn't. Oh yeah, they're they're, they're about to come. Oh, they're they're gonna be pouring in. Yep. Yep, here they come. Oh shit. Alright, we need one more. Oh, oh, oh damn! Back up, back up, back up. Oh, they're spawning inside. They're spawning inside. I mean, I would love to see a, a zombie, but oh Jesus Christ! Oh, how did yo, he's too big to even come in here. How the hell is that even possible, bro? And there's another one! Oh, if there was a way to end off 2022, this is it. This is what 2022 represented, man. Christ. Christ, look at the size of that thing. There we go. Don't shoot me. We need to fortify this ASAP so we can just leave. Come on, come on, come on. Someone else grab. Just grab the freaking, just grab the protection boards. Come on. Wait, 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 what just happened? What just happened? Hold on. Oh, wait, there we go. All right, uh, come on. Put that here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so... Yeah, rescue the remaining survivors. Oh, where the hell did he pop out from, dude? Over. A zombie movie in a library, I think, wouldn't be too bad. I think it'd be boring, in my opinion, like, to a certain extent. But... I don't think it'd be the worst idea, because we've seen, like I've mentioned, zombies in a train, zombies in cities and stuff, like, you know what I mean? I guess a library would be missing, but it'd just be so boring because, like, you'd be running behind bookshelves and stuff. You know, it's just, I don't know. Alright, we need to... Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm gonna die. My health is at a low. Come on. Oh, oh yeah, you guys are... Oh, oh, did, wait, did I just throw that for no reason? Come on, man. I threw that for no reason. So let me know down in the comment section below. Are you guys more for... Left 4 Dead 2 or Back for Blood? Because not for nothing, I mean, based on the dynamics and stuff, like graphics wise, yeah, like Back for Blood takes it. Graphics wise, I would even say, um, in terms of like the fluidity, but in terms of gameplay, in terms of like the mechanics, in terms of the maps and stuff, like hands down, I would say Left 4 Dead takes it. Can someone pick me up? I'm dying, thank you. Help! Yo, help me. I need some marijuana. Help me out, help me out, help me out. Come on. Oh, God, I'm swinging this bat, dude. Pick me up. Oh, my God, pick me up. Don't worry about them. I got you. Thanks, brother. Oh, thank God. All right, so let me, let me climb up here real quick. Perfect, the safe room. But we need to, damn it, we need to. Oh, yeah, that's right, the survivors. Son of a bitch, I don't. All right, well. I guess... What do they say? The old apartments, right? I know it's not here. No way through. Right? Okay, so that means... Yeah, it's down there. Oh, great. Okay, so... I guess we're on a rescue mission. To rescue some survivors and stuff, you know? I mean, I don't know. I would always assume that in, in, like, in a situation like this... I'm shooting my own teammates, dude. Like, in a situation like this, like, the world's governments would just, like, nuke everything. Like, you know? Maybe some of y'all might agree, maybe some of y'all might, you know, disagree, but... Oh, that's, that's terrible. I just feel like the governments of the world would not waste time. Alright, so I guess we're just running in there, you know, just Hawkeye. Oh, what the f- Oh, what the hell? Oh! Dude, where did they come from? Oh, shit! Where the hell did they come from? Did they just spawn there? Yo, gun him down, gun- Oh, what the hell just hit me from behind? Gun him down, just gun him down, gun him down, gun him down. Just gun him, gun him all down. Oh, God, Christ. Listen, if worrying about getting bit is something that is problematic, then I would have been bit, you know what I mean? I would have been infected. So, is this... Yeah, this is the apartment complex. That's right. All right, can we go inside or what? Let's go. Oh, Jesus, what the... Wow, wow, really? Really? Oh, son of a... Oh, I'm down, I'm down. They're in the apartments, they're in the apartments. Pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up, pick me up. Oh, Christ. I got the door, I got the door. Oh, oh, this is getting intense. This is getting intense. This is getting intense. Oh, here they come, this is getting intense. I got the door. They're not gonna come in. I just need y'all to pick me up, like, right now. Come on, come on, come on, I'm up. We need to get the hell out of here. I, I, I need to smack someone with it. Come here, you nigga. My ex. It's my ex. Alright, we need a... Oh, shit. Aw, oh, damn it. 
Help me, help me, help me. We need to go upstairs now. We need to go upstairs now. All right, uh, where is the, uh... No way through. Okay, we can't go in there. Shit. Where are they? Oh, sh Jesus Christ. Where are the survivors? Where are the survivors? Are they up uh, upstairs? Yes? No? Yes? All right, fuck it. I'm going upstairs. All right, which, uh, which room are they in? Look at this place, yo. This way. You know, hiding out in an apartment complex isn't bad. Like, it's actually a good idea, I would argue. Oh, is this it? Hello, anybody in here? Oh, sweet Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, we got kids up in here. Oh, wait. Okay, uh, okay, great, great, great. Hold on. Oh, yes, get to the safe room. Okay, so we have all the survivors. Perfect. All right, um, everyone down the fire escape, I suppose. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping the hell with that. All right, everyone back to the safe room now. See, this is the scary part, right? You don't hear nothing. You don't see nothing. But they're there. Oh, shit. Oh, it, oh crap. That zombie was eating someone, dude. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Everyone back to the safe house. Come on. Oh, that's not good. You see what I'm saying? That's not good. That's not good. Oh, I, I cannot let him get up here. I cannot let him get up here. Do not. Here we go. Guys. I'm gonna need y'all to hurry up. I'm gonna need y'all to, like, hurry up right now. Oh, my God. Jeez. There we go. Damn. That was beautiful. I'm not gonna lie. That was really beautiful. That was that was 2022 making its way towards us again. And I was like, not I, says the cat. Oh, wait. Did someone go down? No. Come on. Come on. We need you back at the safe house now. Look at this place, by the way. Not for nothing. I mean... Well, this place is dirty as hell. It's not too bad, but what the- oh, wow. Uh, look at this. Who the hell would sleep on this? I mean, not for nothing, like, if we had no other choice, then yeah, but... Oh, that's crazy. Look at this. Sleeping bags and stuff. Where is- where are you guys? Come on. This way. You don't have time. Is that the horde? I- I- oh my god, come on. We- get in the safe house now. Get into the safe house now, all of you. Uh, yeah, whatever. Just lock him out. The hell with that, right? Finally. Uh, been a Friday night in ER. Jesus. That Yo. There we go. Is it done? Completed. That was crazy, man. Talk about intense. Now, I told you guys during the Dragon Ball Marathon video that I was going to do this, and here we are. Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit, man. Oh, it's gonna be fun. Is that so, Frieza? You should cower before me. I don't think so. Maybe. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Here we go. Frieza versus Goku. I told you guys this during the Dragon Ball Marathon that I was definitely going to go back and continue this. And look at this. I may be a Saiyan, but I'm from Earth. Yes, I am. For all the countless Saiyans you've destroyed. Which I don't see why you care about them, the but... harmless, peaceful Namekians. Facts. I will defeat you! Facts! Let's do this! Here we go. Frieza versus Goku. In arguably one of the best fights that we've ever seen go down in Dragon Ball. So, look at the fluidity, though. You guys have seen on my Dragon Ball Marathon video where we played Budokai 2. We played, you know, Burst Limit again for the first time in so many years. Here we go! Yeet! Oh, that was a really crusty little spirit bomb there. Oh, I love this, man. And, and, and again, when going back and playing, like, you know, Budokai 2, Budokai 3, this is such a better version of what those games were supposed to be. And I've said this so many times, who else wanted to see a continuation of this? Like, I sure did. Oh, we fucked up. No, it's going to hit the... Oh, God. Can you imagine? That created, like, a massive environmental destruction-like scenario. That would have been clean as shit. All right, Frieza. Listen, we're closing off 2022, and we're going to be closing it off by using Migate no Gokui. Here we go. There we go. Ultra Instinct versus Frieza's Ultra Ego Aura. I mean, even... Uh, can you imagine just some of the craziest mods that you can actually pull off in this game? Because I remember asking you guys during the uh, Dragon Ball Marathon, you know, series, that, you know, if it's possible, and I know it's possible, but it's just really hard, you know? Damn, damn. Look at this fight. Nah, you ain't getting the better of me. Oh, crap, 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 crap. 
Now, I doubt I'll lose, to be honest, but just by playing this right now, it's so intense. Like, it honestly, it makes me want to go back and watch. Oh, there we go. Yeet. There we go. It makes me want to go back and watch the original fight. You feel me? Oh, oh, that was a nice little dodge. That was a nice... Yo, he dodged me, really. Oh, he just le he leapt right over me. Come on, Frieza. Oh, he's going to use his Ultra Ego abilities. He's done. There we go. Thank God. Thank God, dude. Down goes the Mighty Tyrant, right? He didn't have a chance. He didn't have a chance. And I, I know his ass was surprised. Oh, wait. Is this the uh, Spirit Bomb moment? Yes. I think it is. Using the Kaioken times 20. Oh, you don't say, Goku. You don't say. Huh? You don't say. Oh, look at Frieza. He's like, you bitch. Oh, did it? it I like Linda Young as Frieza. I, I really do. Frieza now, the entire universe will be in danger. Oh, well, until Beerus, you know, wakes up again. The spirit bomb. The spirit bomb. What's, what's, what's Frieza going to do? Oh, wait, yeah, I remember this. I remember Frieza thought he was, like, giving up and shit. He was like, what's this, monkey? What's going on here? Planet oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. And all planets nearby. Yep, give me all your energy. Share your energy with me. Everything. Just a little is all I need. Everything. That's enough. I'll reduce this planet and all of you just uh, face Oh, God, no. Also, I I'm guessing we're not going to have the Piccolo fight, right? Oh, there it is! Look at the size of that thing! It's ready. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done, homie. Yeah. Fuck you, Frieza! It's over. Oh, look at the beauty! That thing is big! Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. The way it's entering through the atmosphere. Look at Frieza's face. Like, what the fuck? Oh. What, what is that? Oh, it's it's over. Now, you could try, though. Yo, listen, you could try. No. Oh, you could try. No. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Come on, Goku, damn it. Push down. It, it can't be. Look at Frieza's face. He's like, what? Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, look at that environmental destruction. Oh, my. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. This game is still beautiful, man. GG. One of the most legendary and iconic no moments way. ever. Here we go. Look who it is. Oh boy! Look at the look at the lava in the background. Frieza! It's Frieza. Incredible. Uh -oh. Yeah. I really thought I was going to die. Yeah. I, Frieza, was brought to the brink of death. Oh yeah. Oh shit! Don't take it out on him. He's bald. Don't do it, Frieza. Man, what a legendary moment! I remember Goku's like, "Yo, chill." Stop it, Frieza! Oh, this game looks beautiful and crush. Goku! Krillin! Oh, oh, that's it, y'all. You fucked up now, Frieza. Oh, you fucked up now, buddy. Goku's like, bruh. <laughs> oh, I, I love, I love Linda Young's you laugh. Monster! Get him! Dare you? Get him! How, how dare you? How dare you? Oh, look at the beauty! Oh, here it comes. Here it comes! Look at Frieza, he's like, what the fuck? Oh, your, your worst nightmares have come true. Look at the graphics! Look how great this looks! What the hell? Oh, you're fucked, Frieza. Oh my, look at the shading, it looks great! Wow! Get him, Goku! Wow, bro, let's go! Oh, wait. Is he going full power, too? All right, let, let, let's do it. Really? Yeah, this game skips so much. Here we go. Okay, let me uh, let me put an end to him. But, I mean, give it a second. Look at the environment. Look at the background, right? Like, the landscape. The map looks amazing. Oh, it's done! Oh, we got him. We got him with a big-ass Kamehameha. Oh, I love this OST! Listen to it. Oh, that is such a legendary OST, dude. 
This is why this game brings back so many memories. I just wish, and I've said this before so many times, why didn't they just make a part two? You know, like a burst limit two, stuff like that. Oh, Frieza, oh shit. Oh shit, oh he missed. Yes, what an idiot. And let's not forget, like, definitely I'm putting the Super Saiyan fight with Frieza above that of, of the base Goku fight with Frieza. So, because this was one of the greatest fights in history, hands down. Oh, are you now? Oh. You shouldn't have said that. Look at Goku's traps. Uh-oh. Yo, let's go! Look, man, you can't sit there and tell me that this game isn't perfect, dude. Oh, my, oh, he, oh, my God. How did he avoid that? That's bullshit. Nah. Oh, he's trying to use those. Oh. Yeah, you would have thought, Frieza. You Your little. Uh-oh. But it seems you can't even destroy a single man. Oh, he's shitting on him, dude. Yeah, look at Frieza. What are you? It can't be. You already know, don't you? Just get him, Goku. Just get him. I am a saint. Raised on Earth. Listen, listen, the backstory doesn't really concern us right now. Just smash his face in, dude. My heart is at peace. Okay. A fierce rage has awakened the legendary warrior inside of the me. legendary warrior Broly. Imagine. Son Goku. Uh oh. Oh, that is beautiful. Come on, man. What? Like, you guys can't. Oh my God. I just kicking this dude's ass right now means so much more to me now. This dude is. He's giving him the speech. He's giving him the reminder, and he's giving him the hands. You're finished, Frieza. You're finished. But I didn't really think that they were going to rush it that fast, you know? Because they gave us, like, the final form fight 100% with, you know, Goku Super Saiyan, you know, transformation. So, I'm assuming after this, we're jumping into the story with the androids. Because there's no way that we're still going to be harping on this. Oh. Oh, yeah? You, 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 do you really think you can hold your own against me right now? Look at this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, please, learn my place. You're about to get smoked. All right, just a few more. Just a few more kicks like that. I wonder what the um, environmental effect for this is. You know what I mean? Oh, so we're just going to be standing around? Is that is that all we're going to be doing? Just standing around? Look, look, at the, look at the lava in the background. Oh, very fun. Oh, is it? It really has been a long time since I had such a workout. A workout? He's getting fucking smashed. This dude's getting punched into the floor. And he's talking about, yes, it's been a long time since I've had this kind of workout before. Oh, come on, Goku Yaga! We got him. We got him with the ultimate finish. Yeah, not so tough now, are you? Oh, yeah, it's, it's over. This is the end. Who could ever forget, right? You ain't shit, Frieza. Please. Oh, that's right. Beg for your life. Beg. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Beg, Frieza. Beg, you little bitch there. Listen, Goku's so compassionate. He didn't have to do this. You got some nerve, How many people have you killed? Yep. Yep. Beg for their lives. Yep. Just like you're doing now. Yep. Please. Yep. Look at Frieza. Save, Save me. me. But what pisses me off is like the censorship. Like, what happened to the Destructo disc okay. and stuff? You know, severing his body in half. After that, Come on. Please. Oh, that sucks, man. Like again, the censorship is just weird to me. You know. Because he never stood back up on his feet. He didn't even have a lower body. Look at him. Oh, are you now? Didn't your dad warn you about Boo and Beerus? I love that line so much. I am mighty and you are not. Come on, Frieza. Try your best. Come on. Yeah? Come on. Come on. Never? Ever what? Go ahead, do it, do it, do it. Oh, you stupid bastard. Goku, show him. Show him. Show him. Bam! Oh my god, you fuck, man. This is a question about, I mean, this is also a testament of how durable Frieza's body was, you know? Because he took this. He took this and the planet exploding, and he still survived to come back to face off against trunks you know what i mean like this dude he took that man look at goku he looks so clean man that aura around him 
Yeah, you messed up now, Frieza. But don't worry, you'll be back and you'll have a golden form and you'll fight with us in the Tournament of Power and blah blah blah. And then you'll bring Broly to us and blah blah blah. Alright, Goku. Time for us to get the hell off of this planet, man. GG. Well, this is a little don't different. A whole lot of time before those androids show up. This is not what happened, dude. Gohan. From oh here on boy. Out, we have to concentrate on training for real combat. What happened to the heart virus, okay, dude? Yeah. And why is Gohan like 20 years older? Like, what the hell is going on here? Oh God. So again, what they did was they skipped so much. They skipped the Super Saiyan Trunks versus Mecha Frieza fight. Work, they skipped introducing 19 and 20 against Super Goku. Come naturally now. Oh boy. All right. Show me what you can do. All right, Gohan. I guess we're fighting on Roshi's Island. Right. Instead of the hyperbolic time chamber, I suppose. Okay, here we go. Yo, look at the, uh, oh, look at Roshi's house. That looks beautiful. Look at the landscape. The landscape looks clean. Why is Gohan, like, in such a defensive guard, bro? Like, what the hell? Damn it, stand still. Stand still, Gohan. Oh, damn, he's actually, whoa, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Team Gohan right now is, uh, he's not only defending himself relatively well, can I transform into a Super Saiyan? Let me see. Hold on, hold on. I should be able to, right? I mean, at this point. But I mean, either way, again, I just never understood, you know, why they skipped out so much. Look at the sunset, dude. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, this map is really, really nice. So with that being said, let me go on ahead and uh, smash Gohan. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Really, Goku? Really, Goku? Hold on. Let me, uh... Can I knock him into the landscape? Let me see here. And Yaga! Oh, wait. No. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Nice. So now we're fighting above Roshi's house. Which, again, I, I think that with the way th this story is structured, like, moving forward, it's definitely not, like, you know, the same as we, as we remember, because it cuts out a lot, but... I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I'm guessing we're just jumping into 17 and 18 that much faster, you know? And then Cell, and then Super Perfect Cell, and then from what I'm assuming, it's going to be Broly. I, I, at the same time, I wish they added more movies, you know? Like Cooler and stuff, and BoJack. Go on. Are you all right? Does he look all right, Goku? Oh. Look at him. Dad, what the hell? Yeah. I'm fine. I can still fight. Barely. This dude's barely standing. It's too hard, son. Oh, come on, Goku. We may not have a lot of time, but don't worry. Yeah, I mean, all of this. Going to become a lot stronger. It's so weird because we're so accustomed okay, to seeing Goku have the heart virus. Like, what happened? Understand, I won't go easy on you just because you're a woman. Man. Then again, you aren't a woman. We're just skipping through you're everything, huh? Uh-oh. <sighs> Vegeta is in for a beating. We're just skipping through everything, huh? Oh, look at 18. She's like, I dare you. And not for nothing, like, I was a little disappointed by this, like, way, way long ago. Because I kind of wanted to see more from them, you know what I mean? Look at Vegeta. Can't tell whether I've even damaged this little puppet. Well, I guess you can find out, right? Look at 18, she's like, nah, not today, homie. So I think I'm playing, yeah, there we go. So I'm playing as 18, and I am fighting Super Saiyan Vegeta, which a lot of people, if they've ever started off by playing Burst Limit, are going to tell you, like, hey, so... I have a question, like, how the hell did Vegeta become a Super Saiyan and whatnot, you know what I mean? It's just a little confusing, I would argue, but it is what it is. Still, the landscape looks great. I mean, man, I, I, I'm I, gonna try my best to go into 2023 and find mods for this, because how could you not have mods for this, you know? Uh-oh. That was disappointing. Damn. What? Shattering his pride. Just straight up telling him, like, damn. Oh, that's a... What the hell is this? Okay. Interesting little, uh, interesting display of skills here from 18. Come on, 18. Show Vegeta the work. Break his arm. Oh, nice. What the fuck is happening? Yaga. Damn, Vegeta. Vegeta's getting the work. But can we, can we take a second to appreciate, like, the landscape and stuff? Because this looks so clean for a game that's this old. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it, I find it to be really weird. Oh, I missed. No, I find it weird because a lot of games these days, they don't, I mean, arguably, they don't look as good as this, you know? I don't think anyone's planning on interfering. Uh-oh. If anyone does, uh -oh. I'll be stepping in. Look at that. If anyone steps in, whether you're an earthling they're or dead. Dynamic, and especially if you're Kakarot. Yeah. 
would sooner die than have any of you help me. Of course, this was during the time where Vegeta's head was so far up his own ass, where he just was like, nah, I don't need help. I'm the man. Oh, he got me with that. Yo, okay, I see him. Even though I think that he does have the final flash, let me, uh, wow. He needs to stop blocking, bro. I need to put an end to him once and for all. And once we do that, I'm assuming, I'm only going to assume that it's going to be Piccolo versus 17 next. Unless maybe they throw in a monkey wrench and we just get end up, you know, we end up with something completely different. You know what I mean? Come on, Vegeta, come on. There we go. That's it. He's done. 18 with the definitive victory over a Biskita. Done. Back down you go, homie. I wish that we kind of, I don't know, maybe she's about to break his arm now. I don't know, but I mean, hopefully that is. Oh, he's standing back up. Kick his arm. Kick his arm. Kick his arm. Kick his arm. That's right. Come on, 18. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Is she going for the kick? Oh, wait. Oh, it's the typical animation. But wait a minute. She didn't break his arm. Ugh, boring. Break his arm. Oh, no. I'm disappointed, man. Trunks. That fool. Wait, what did Trunks do? Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Trunks went in, and then he got bodied. Jesus. He, he just punched all of the shit that was in my ass right now. Here we go. All right, 17. You want the smoke, huh? And now for nothing, you guys got to admit, Piccolo vs. 17, again, is one of the greatest fights to ever happen in Dragon Ball. Like, their fight prior to Cell arriving and stuff was really, really good. So, anyone that says otherwise is either lying, or they just simply forgot how good it was. Like, you know what I mean? Like, this fight was so good. And that was during the time where, you know, Piccolo and Kami became one, and then he just gave 17 the work. You know, like, that was a really, really good fight. So if you guys go back and watch that, you'll see for yourselves how good it was, you know? But Piccolo, using uh, Ultra Ego over here, his aura and shit, the fucking Hakaishin. Hakaishin Piccolo. Yo, he's really... Hold on. Hold on. Because this dude... What is this? Hold on. Can I... Oh, that sucks. Okay, so for me to use that, I'm going to have to get within range. Which, I mean, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. That's why I remember not playing a 17 that much in this game. Because, like, his special, his ultimate's, like, really yeah. trash. It seems you've become much stronger than Dr. Jerome's data indicates. Oh? Little. Yeah, well, why does he keep calling me little? Like, he keeps calling me little. He keeps calling me puny and shit. Like, yo, listen. I understand that you're, like, 7 foot 9. But, listen, at the end of the day, you about to get smoked by, by, a, by a fucking android. You know what I mean? Like, come on, son. Come on, Piccolo. What's up, Piccolo? What you got going on, Piccolo? Piccolo's about to get that work, bro. This sucks. Hold on. I my my ultimate is just trash. What the hell? Come on, get him. Yo, this is a this is a fight right now, yo. Come on. Yay! There we go. I was about to say, like, yo, he's kicking me. I'm kicking him. Then he's kicking me. Then I'm kicking him. But where's trunks? I wanna play his trunks. Like this, this is weird. I don't know, man. This. This just feels, it feels weird. Like, I know, I know Trunks played a pivotal part in all of this, so where the hell is he? I don't know, it's, it's very strange to me. Look at Krillin, you about to shit yourself, bro. Don't worry, they're all still alive. I mean, they shouldn't be. Tell them if they actually manage to become strong enough. I'll be happy to fight them again. No, that's, that's a bad idea. They always do that. Later. They always do that. Oh yeah, come back and fight me when you're stronger. What are you looking at? Oh wait, 16's here. There the he is. Birds, they flew away because you were fighting. Seri seriously, uh, like, like seriously, dude, really? Freaking 16 concerned about the no. birds and shit. Oh wait a minute. Oh, there he so is. You finally show yourself. My name is Shell. Ah, but you see, you and I are brothers. Like who could ever forget, man? Like their first encounter was like the best because that was the first time where kind of Piccolo played into. His naivety to suggest, oh, okay, you know, who are you? What you what, like, you know, what are you about and stuff? And Cell was like, you know, I'm the Cell. Great King Piccolo wished to kill me. Oh. For some reason, you know the name Piccolo. He does. He does. But unfortunately, you've got the wrong man. What the hell is Piccolo talking about? The wrong man. What? What? Oh. So who the? Gotten his true name. So, so basically, you're nameless. I am the Namek that forgot his true name, but you still call yourself Piccolo. Like that makes no sense, dude. All right, whatever. But I mean, like I said before, when Cell was first introduced, and even he went as far as to shake 
everybody up by telling Krillin and Trunks and Piccolo, not only do I know, you know, that little move, but I also know another little move called the Spirit Bomb. And everybody was like, oh shit, like, you know? So, Cell, Imperfect Cell was like the best. Like, he was definitely the most vicious and most, like, dangerous. I can't believe we just smoked him with a perfect. I can't believe it, dude. Yeah, so much for mimicking our techniques and knowing who we are, right? My name is Cell, and I know everything. You don't stand a chance of winning in your current form. Facts. Facts. Tell him, Piccolo. It appears I best leave this place. Oh, he's gonna run away? You gonna run away now? Not before I take 17. Listen, I mean, the, the narrative behind this was at the time. It was so fun. It was great. Not anyone will ever stop me from attaining my perfect Oh, uh, look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Piccolo, I will obtain those androids. Those androids may be capable fighters, but you... What a, what a dire and, like, dangerous time that was for everybody, you know? What? Oh, you're, you're screwed now, Pix. And, and can we talk about this for a second? How come nobody ever uses the solar flare anymore? Like, you know what I mean? Such an effective technique. I was careless. Yeah. I yeah. should've just destroyed him. You should've, but you let him go anyway, right? Now this one's going to be fun. It really so is. This time. Oh, Why 17, so you're in for it. Understand that you can't possibly win. You're in for it, man. Here we go. Piccolo's gonna power up. Ultra Ego, the power of a Hakaishin! Can you imagine? This is going to be the last fight, I guess, for this portion of the video. Because, you know, I, I want to go on ahead and continue everything, you know, on another Gaming Roulette series episode. So, let me go on ahead and just put an end to 17 once and for all. Which, again, like I've said, this fight was so good that I even remember when 16 and 18 were watching. 18 was like, yo, how the hell is Piccolo this strong and stuff? Like, it was such a, it was such a great time, you know? And then when, you know, Cell arrived, he, it kind of pigeonholed Piccolo and 17 to kind of work together in a way. Because Piccolo was, like, sympathetic. He was like, yo, you gotta get the hell out of here. Here we go. Oh, can I can I do it? Can I do it? There we go. We got him. Oh, we got him. Yeah, how do you like them apples, 17? Yeah, how do you like them apples, right? You're getting bodied by the nameless Namekian. For whatever reason, he's nameless, but in Super, he's referred to as Piccolo. In, in, in the Boo Saga, he's referred to as Piccolo. So it's like, what? What the hell? Oh, 17's starting to step it up. 17 is starting to step it up. Not not I, says the cat. What do you have? Ultra Instinct there? You're trying to dodge? What an incredible game, man. And what a, what an incredible way to end off the year. If you guys are still watching up until this point, my God, look at this. Look at this. The carnage. The carnage. I'm going to go back and play so many older games. I kind of have to. Because it's really, it's really piquing my interest. Yeah, I got, oh, I missed. Damn it. Stop moving. I had to, like, punch him in the chin, dude. He just wouldn't stop moving, this guy. He just really wouldn't. And now, where's Cell? I know he's coming. <laughs> Even if we're well matched in terms of power, yeah? it looks like stamina is another matter entirely. Well, that that's true. My energy never runs out. That is true. True. But, you're oh. forgetting. There he is. Cell, darn it. Oh, this is going to be good. He's too busy fighting to realize he was approaching. Yeah, I mean, that's your fault. What? Oh, this what is. What the heck is that? It's about to get bloody, man. Oof. Oh, now you guys already know the deal. Triple threat match. We're going to have Brock Lesnar versus AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins, who in fact is wearing the Royal Rumble 2022 Shield outfit. Now, I want to go on ahead and as I'm crippling these gentlemen, I want to talk about the state of wrestling because it really bothers me in the fact that, and I know a lot of you guys that are hardcore wrestling fans can see this for yourselves, but wrestling as a whole, it's just not the same, especially for WWE. I understand Jesus AJ. I mean, first and foremost, I want to see a match like this because if anyone out there is going to sit there, oh, wait a minute, is he going to curb stomp me? I don't think so. I don't know why he's doing RKOs, but it is what it is. So I don't see where in the hell wrestling went wrong. I would argue to say that WWE, even though they're making tremendous amounts of bank, like their product itself in the ring isn't quality or at least as quality filled as it should be by comparison to its previous self i don't want to compare it to aew because you guys have seen that aew had had a great year but i just want to compare wwe to its older wwe self 
from the golden era, from the 80s to the 90s with the Attitude Era to the Ruthless Aggression Era, F5. That's all she wrote for uh, Shield Rollins here. Let me... Oh, damn it, AJ. So, the thing is, though, I wanted to ask you guys, what the hell is missing in wrestling, right? I really genuinely want to know what you guys feel like it's, it is missing and, and who's really the problem here because we have so many talented people. Is this the end of the match? I don't think it is. AJ kicks out. Okay, not for nothing. Like I just said, if we had a match like this at, ba at Mania, like unrestricted, this would be just easily match of the year contender, even with, you know, some of the stacked people that we've seen on AEW. So, but the point here is wrestling had fallen off so much. It always continues to fall off. And I hate that because I love professional wrestling. I love the WWE. I love watching AEW. I have so many friends that are currently over there wrestling. I mean, you guys may not know this, but I'm a pro wrestler as well, you know what I mean? So there's a lot of things that I look at and I'm like, wow, I love this business so much. I love professional wrestling, but you know, I hate the politics behind it. I hate all of the ass kissing backstabbery that happens. You know what I mean? The corporate BS. Let me, I'm just tossing Rollins around, dude. And I'm only playing as Lesnar because I want to go ahead and use a big dude to just like fling these dudes around. Is he really gonna... Wait, what just... Oh, okay, alright, alright. Th thank you so much, AJ Styles, for preventing me right now from getting curb stomp because that would have been something. So, I wanted to know if you guys believe that maybe, just maybe, just maybe, there is a chance that wrestling could go back to the glory quote-unquote days that it used to be like in the 80s and the 90s and stuff like that, the early 2000s. And it's not as though... Oh, did you just see his leg? Yo, Lesnar is nasty. And you know what? Not for nothing this year. You know, seeing Farmer Lesnar come into his own, seeing Lesnar as a face and then hold his own on promos and stuff, you guys can't sit there and tell me that you just didn't enjoy Brock Lesnar this year in 2022. Like, the guy is just phenomenal. When I saw his, you know, podcast with uh, Pat McAfee, it was just, it was insane to see him literally talk like a human being and he was great at doing it, you know what I mean? I better not lose this match. I... I really don't want to lose this match. I am trying to do everything I can to hold my own in this, but even with AJ, with Seth, everyone, even Brock, everyone's getting up there in age, so it kind of sucks, you know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of 80s babies can talk about this, a lot of 70s babies, 90s babies, they look at, you know, when they grew up with Ric Flair, Macho Man Randy Savage, Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, Roddy Piper, you know, like, people look at these characters and, and these wrestlers, Stone Cold, The Rock, you know, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Undertaker, Kane, just everybody, and they get up there in age, and over time, you know, after a decade plus, two decades, three decades, you know, it's time to move on, so wrestling needs, I think, a revitalization, it's just kind of hard to put your finger on it, because I don't really know what the rejuvenation is that wrestling needs, but man, I don't know, maybe, well, as I'm going on ahead right now to just toss this dude around, yo, I, this is why I absolutely love Lesnar when he's, like, unrestricted, I mean, I would love to see more of this, because the dude is freaky strong, and he's almost, what is it, five years away from 50 or whatever, and the guy's a monster, so the thing is, though, let me know in the comment section below on... I mean, just, it's not really an AEW versus WWE thing, because I think that's kind of silly. Competition is good if you want to have great, you know, just an overall great product. And to see a lot of these guys get, like, a second chance to, you know, even after they're released to go to a different company, it's great. But I, I want to know from you guys, what do you think is missing from the wrestling world, objectively? That includes AEW, TNA, WWE. I mean, what is it? You know what I mean? I, I, I don't know what it is, but it's kind of sad because you look at the atmosphere, you look at, you know, everything involved, and yeah, it's not the same as it was, you know, many, many years ago, decades ago, but I guess to that, oh my god, poor Rollins, I guess to that is, you know, just my question is why, you know, like, I, I want to see the ultimate revitalization of pro wrestling, you know, and when you look at, you know, rating statistics and just, you know, drop-off rates because, you know, WWE's quality not only had dropped off, but its viewers as well, you know, like, Raw went from getting threes and fours, you know, somewhat during the early 2000s, even before that, you know, it was getting, what is it, fives and sixes during the, the Rock and Stone Cold days, Jesus, we're in that five, and then even before that, I think we had 
just the rating systems was like you had like nines and tens these guys were just getting like millions upon millions of viewers and now they're barely clinging on to one and two like it's like what happened you know like it i you can't really blame the talent i guess it, it's got to be corporate shills it, it, you know business mongols i don't know it but it's it's crazy to me and if you guys listen to a lot of these podcasts and stuff you can hear how genuinely just a lot of these wrestlers when they leave wwe they're happy you know or they join other companies and they find freedom and stuff you know i love wwe without it i think all of us just wouldn't be where we're at in terms of sharing our love and passion for wrestling because yeah some of the older cats can just be like yeah the territories and stuff but yeah let's just be realistic here like you know like during the boom of you know television and cable television and streaming services and stuff like the territories been there done that it just it wouldn't have been the same even then but you know the territories did establish in creating some monsters out there like just amazing pro wrestlers that till this day have etched their names in stone as being you know the best of the best so i don't know i'm i'm really hoping that in the next 25 to 50 to 75 to 100 years wrestling doesn't completely die off because it'll be so sad to see everyone kind of neglect it which i don't think will ever happen let me go on ahead and just yep plant them down there it's over if all right yeah it's done brock wait hold on hold on wait a minute yeah this is this is done this is oh aj are you serious is this dude serious hold on aj styles is he's looking to get crucified wait a minute not against bork lesnar bork yeah oh yeah it's over oh beautiful and that's the thing too so with all of the newer quote-unquote guys who do you think had the best match with lesnar was it cm punk was it aj styles was it daniel bryan aka brian danielson was it finn balor you know was it seth rollins let me know because this is this is bound to get very interesting let me go on ahead and just slam him right into seth rollins and, and the thing is too the reason why i picked this custom variation of rollins wearing the shield outfit is because early on this year at the royal rumble i freaking popped when i saw roman reigns who looks great he has a badass theme song i will admit that and you know just this whole demeanor as a heel and then just to hear seth rollins play mind games by coming out with the shield outfit wrestling like the old you know seth rollins of of, of you know from the early days and whatnot when he came up i mean prior to where or should i say after being tyler black from roh and you know just seeing him you know go back to that was amazing seeing the shield song so i was like yo this is great you know like this is psychology 101 when you look at like certain things this match hold on hold on I, like before we before we wrap things up because i don't i don't know how long this is gonna go but this is this match is nuts hold on i because i i think i i don't know who i'm gonna f5 and i don't know who i'm gonna put down for the count but like i said before you have crazy moments great moments but i think they're very rare and few and far in between versus back in the day instead of having these rare moments occur where you're ooing and aahing it happened way more frequently than it ever did before you know i honestly right now even though i'm focused into the match i feel so bad for rollins because he's been trying to like he's been trying to curb stop me for a while now but I'm going to go on ahead and, and just put an end to him once and for all, man. You know what I mean? Let me go on ahead and just... Yeah, this, this is done. Sorry, Rollins. It is over. Big man Brock Lesnar with the F5. One, two, and... Oh, man. Honestly, that was a fun match. And before we, you know, jump into the other matches that we have planned, I want to genuinely know, how do we fix wrestling? How do we have wrestling go back to what it once was? in being dominant and being something special you know like just let me know because i'm really really curious and with that being said let's go on ahead and jump into the next match to see what we got coming up next now as i just mentioned aew jesus christ brian danielson versus aj styles a match that i think we were just robbed in seeing in the wwe and honest to god i swear to you at the beginning of the year i would argue to say between january and february before we found out that you know aj styles signed a new contract i really genuinely believed that aj styles was going to let his contract run out and go to aewy for the creative freedom for the wrestling liberties that he may have in going all out i mean can you imagine seeing at least one more time right as an example we have 
AJ Styles versus Kenny Omega. We have history with the Bullet Club, right, from New Japan Pro Wrestling and seeing that unfold. We have, you know, as an example, AJ Styles versus, you know, Switchblade Jay White. That would be insane. We would have AJ Styles versus CM Punk. Can you imagine that? MJF versus AJ Styles. You know what I mean? Just, I, I mean, there's so many. We have, you know, Adam Page versus AJ Styles. Adam Cole versus AJ Styles. And more importantly to me, Brian Danielson versus AJ Styles. Brian Danielson in AEW is a monster. He was portrayed to be a monster. And I understand that, you know, Brian Danielson in real life is a really nice guy. And, you know, he's he, he, he is everything that he says he is. And he's one of the best, dude. Like, people that, you know, know how to work in pro wrestling will tell you, like, this guy is a machine, right? And we would have, I mean, if wrestlers themselves were allowed to remain in their prime and never age and just, you know, stay where they're at, can you imagine seeing a Brian Danielson in his prime versus a Kurt Angle in his prime? Or even better yet, we have a AJ Styles in his prime versus a, you know, Brian Danielson in his prime. Brian Danielson in his prime versus Eddie Guerrero in his prime. God rest his soul. So the thing is with AEW, it gave everybody kind of like a second chance. And it revitalized, I would say to an extent, the love of pro wrestling for a lot of people, including myself. Look at this. Yo, yo, oh my, my dude, Brian. And that's the thing, though. Even though he's not in this game, you have to download him and stuff, you know, character creation, whatever, whatever. Let me go on ahead and just, oh, sorry, AJ. Oh, my God. His teeth have to be on the floor. And I'm not looking to end this early. I want to go on ahead and just beat up AJ. But let's just say if we did have, and you can use any kind of hypothetical scenario, if we did have Brian Danielson versus AJ Styles at WrestleMania, who would you want to come out of that victorious? Or if we were to kind of switch that and have AJ Styles versus Brian Danielson in AEW, then let me know down in the comment section below who would you guys favor and why, because different circumstances, different environmental, you know, kind of scenarios go out, you know, because we have, you know, writers versus bookers that are just, you know, kind of calling things the way they do without having, you know, an entire script and whatnot. AJ is really trying to hit me with that phenomenal elbow. Listen, listen, it's, it's the end of the year. And we've gone through so much, and I just want to go in ahead and just melt all of my frustrations into this match. Because, not for nothing, I'm not going to lie to you, after the last match, and even this one, I'm starting to kind of sweat, because, like, these things are pretty crazy. Like, these matches and stuff, like, for fighting games like this, like, yo, shit hits the fan quick, so I need to... I need to be very careful, dude, because I just don't want to lose right now. And even if, I guess, AJ beats me, I really wouldn't be that upset. Look at Brian go, dude. Oh, my. You see, like, when I saw Brian wrestle in AE, what the hell's happening? Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Seth Rollins? Wait, is that Seth Rollins? Wait, what is happening right now? Hold on. Wait a minute. And I know I'm using a older rendition and an older version of the uh brian danielson mod i mean don't crucify there he is oh my really seth really that's man i mean i mean not for nothing that would be nuts and i understand that you know aj styles is a company guy so he ain't going nowhere he's gonna be locked with wwe you know for the foreseeable future uh i think he's also going to retire what at 40 or 50 or like whatever whatever age i think he he decided to kind of choose so aj is still even at his age He's extremely talented, and I remember watching, you know, a lot of his older matches in TNA. I just freaking busted him open. I remember watching his matches with, you know, Frankie Kazarian and Abyss, and watching his match matches with uh, Christian Cage and Kurt Angle and stuff. Like, you guys remember just, what, what oh, at Beer Money, you guys remember Beer Money from TNA and whatnot? So, I mean, classic stuff, and, you know, at some point, like I mentioned, everybody, you know, has, like, their final hoorahs. Is this it? Hold on, wait a minute. I think this is it. What a way to end it. Three, there we go. Brian Danielson is your winner of the match. Some people might say, oh, I want AJ to win, blah, blah, blah. But I guess in this case, we have our boy, Brian Danielson, take the victory. So speaking of retiring and kind of, you know, going about into the sunset, I suppose, like to a lack of a better term to put it that way, I want to go on ahead and feature a special match that I have quite a few things to kind of talk about, like, you know what I mean? Okay, so I want you guys to bear with me on this one, right? Randy, oh my Jesus Christ, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want John Cena to kind of, there we go. Okay, so 
this is what I was thinking, right? For those of you out there who, I better win this. If I win this off the gate, that'll be shocking. So I was considering this, right? So Randy Orton said many years ago that he wants to retire at the age of 50, right? And we already know that basically John Cena is finished with wrestling in a sense, right? Like his full-time kind of performance is over and done with. And I was actually stopping to consider what if we had in some way, shape, or form somewhat of a farewell match for John Cena, in that being Randy Orton versus John Cena one more time so that Randy Orton can retire John Cena for good. And that could come, I, I would say, between any kind of age. And hold on, I want to see how this is going to play out right now because, oh, he went, oh, he saw that. He was going to go for the AA. My ass countered, and I'm going to smash him right now into the camp. What the hell is happening? Hold on, hold on. Either my controller is messed up, or wait, am I, am I, yeet, okay, right on the ropes too. So let me know down in the comment section below, should I guess John Cena's quote final match be against Randy Orton? Because I really don't see who it could be with. Bam, there we go, RKO. It's, I mean, listen, all in all, this should be done. I mean, but I'm going to go on ahead and just uh, continue to mollywop John Cena anyway. So, I mean, whether you like him, whether you hate him, John Cena is a superstar. He had established himself in the business as being one of the elites. He's a great worker. Many people that, you know, are just praised by the fandom are also, you know, praising him for being a great worker. But the thing is, though, I think that, and some people might say, oh, yeah, John Cena's not finished. He has this, 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 and this. But if you look at his track record and you look at all the things that he's doing with movies, with TV shows like Peacemaker and etc., there's no time for this guy to hit the gym like he used to and basically go out there to wrestle again and again and again. And he went as far as to wrestle all the young guys. We've seen John Cena versus Roman Reigns and he went on to put Roman Reigns over. We saw John Cena versus Finn Balor before we saw John Cena versus Kevin Owens and Seth Rollins and et cetera, et cetera. So I think that the way they could kind of go about this is to give John Cena, I would say, one last match against Randy Orton, in my opinion, at WrestleMania, whether that be next year or the year after or the year after that, because if you look at John Cena in terms of his age, sadly enough, he's getting up there as is Randy Orton, which is pretty like crazy to even think about because I remember during the Ruthless Aggression era, watching these two actually come up during the days of the early WrestleMania 20s, right? WrestleMania 20, WrestleMania 21, WrestleMania 22, WrestleMania 23, 24, 25. So during the 20s of the WrestleMania era, you saw these guys blossom and come into their own as superstars, right? So at some point, they're bound to retire, right? And I think that what better way than to have John Cena's last opponent be than Randy Orton. I think that it makes sense. I think that if Randy Orton were to be a heel, it, you know, just all in all makes sense as a whole, I think. But let me go on ahead and see something because I want to, what I really want to do is just pull a classic here, right? So I want to go on ahead and work my way towards the tables because I'm pretty sure you guys already know how we're going to do this, right? We're going to go on ahead and smash this guy through the table. I want to go on ahead and perform my RKO on it. But let me know because it could be anybody else, but I think that you know, in that sense, Cena was shown putting over many other people, and including guys that were young, but I don't see John Cena's last match being against Roman Reigns, only for Roman to beat him again. I don't see Cena's last match being with Triple H because, you know, health problems and stuff like that. I don't see John Cena's last match being against, you know, The Rock or anybody else, you know, any other young guy per se, because there's nothing for him to prove when he's already proven it. We've seen John Cena versus AJ Styles, stuff like that. So I think that it's only fitting for everything to kind of go back and come back full circle and to have Randy Orton versus John Cena, a heel Randy Orton, so just someone that embodies what he was before when he was having these feuds with Cena, except, wait, hold on, wait a minute. Just bam! Oh my God, that's so far. There we go. I mean... Like I, like, I mean, I understand people were just like, oh, man, they've wrestled so many times. I can't believe I actually pulled that off. That's awesome. So far, what is this? A three and a half star match? Nah, come on. I, I have to get like that 12 match rating system from Dave Meltzer. What the hell is... Yo, this game, man, let me tell you. Hold on. It's just RKO. It's done. But it, that, that's just me. I think that if they were to have a match, 
Randy Orton should win. I don't see the value in Cena winning if Randy's going to be in the company for, you know, an additional few more years than Cena. And I think that, you know, as good as Cena still, you know, might, might actually be in the ring, this is a crazy match, by the way. I... I am like, uh, thank God, like my motherboard, you know, and, and the way my, you know, my PC set up, you guys really can't hear me clicking and clacking, but this is, this is giving me anxiety, but not for nothing, I think that if these two were to be given the right amount of time, the, and actually have the right amount of buildup, and just establish everything, you know, in a cohesive kind of way to where it makes sense, and it, you know, allows this match to feel more real than anything else, you can have something great on your hands and i can see that i can see randy orton talking down to cena being like oh you know you talk about hustle loyalty and respect and always being here but they've always said the same they as in the rock and this person and hogan and you know everyone that goes into hollywood like they ultimately end up staying there so you know you you abandoned us and while you were doing peacemaker and this and that and dc films and this and that i was out here killing it with riddle i was out here doing it with this and that and wrestling and you know you know, against Roman and, oh, and bam, against, you know, Brock and stuff like that, RKO again, G and that's the thing about this match too, because we've, we, we've seen them actually, you know, switch up finishers and use each other's finishers, we saw the AA from Orton, we saw the RKO from Cena, yo, this is it, one more RKO and it's, d oh, wait, oh shit, wait a minute, no, oh, what's he doing, hold on, wait a minute, he's doing his traditional shoulder tap, yeah, okay, yeah, he would have thought, hold on, let me see, I need to get my, uh, my momentum up okay so this so far it's what is it a four and a half star match and i think that it works and i think that story wise it would make sense and in my opinion i would have randy go over because if cena really wants to do movies and stuff like cena you guys need to go back and see and look at cena's work with aj and with finn balor and just it, he had oh jesus hold on hold on ah okay we kicked out oh man i was about to say so cena's had some great matches and randy's improved too so i i just think that it only makes sense if you guys have someone else in mind let me know i just don't see anybody else kind of being the guy for cena i mean i know some people are gonna say well what about austin theory what about kevin owens what about you know this person and that person and you know i just i don't see that being the case because if you want to have a meaningful match a match that has emotion and a lot of people had basically grown up with just to kind of see one final battle with i think it'll be this now if if they kind of want to have them go baby face baby face that'll be interesting but this is it right here man this is how i would call it too and oh my god the winner randy orton randy orton retires john cena in giving him his final match i mean listen you guys can't sit there and tell me that something like this wouldn't be awesome even if you want to have good guy versus good guy because cena ain't gonna go heel right he ain't gonna be a bad guy even if it's good guy good guy baby face baby face or if it's going to be a heel randy versus a face cena i think it works but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below because not for nothing if both of these guys at some point are going to retire and if it's going to be cena first then give him orton and have orton win that's just me but it is what it is right okay so this might shock y'all but i've never played this game when i was a kid growing up welcome to bully what the hell dude mom why'd you marry that phony what is wrong with you uh oh, oh i can't believe this Oh, who's this? You must be the Hopkins boy. Where'd you oh, come wonderful. from? wonderful. We've been expecting you. Welcome to Bullworth Academy. Oh, yippee. Uh, I'm sure you'll be very happy here. Very oh, we're back in school, folks. Indeed. Anyway, I can't spend my life waiting around for naughty little boys. I've got a man to make happy. Y'all hear the this? The headmaster is expecting you, Hopkins, in his study. Okay. His study is over there, boy. In the main building. Yeah, don't call me boy. Don't keep Dr. Crabblesnitch waiting. He's a brilliant man. Dr. Crabblesnitch? Is that the principal's name? This is like Harry Potter in reverse. Okay, so welcome to uh to Bullsworth Academy. Oh, this is bully. Okay. Alright, move Jimmy with the left stick. Damn. I've never I mean listen, some of y'all might be wondering, oh, how come you've never played bully when you were a kid? I mean I just never had the chance. What the hell? Yo, you better get out of my face, homie. You better get out of my face, homie. You better get out of my face. Yo, I just arrived on campus. Here we go. Here we go. You want the smoke? Oh, they're going to jump me. They're going to jump me. 
Ah, uh, let me just kick you in the nuts. There we go. Yo, already we just we just stepped through. We just stepped through through the gates, and we're already getting into a fight. Like this is crazy. All right. Oh, uh, this guy's just swinging. Listen, in my defense, right? In my defense, I did nothing wrong. Look at that one fat kid in the background. He's like, yeah, you kick his ass, man. All right. So this is this is what bully's all about. Right? Let me just stomp this guy out. Let me just teach him a lesson. Hear about this. All right, so I, I had to do it, you know what I mean? Yo, I haven't been in school in God knows how long, so... All right, this is the academy. Oh, Jesus, a fucking hell. I hope nobody saw that, dude. So wait, is this what the game is all about? I slip on banana peels and shit? Hey, yo. Yo, look at her. Yo, what's good? Yo, I may be fat and short, but let me tell you, I got that beef stick, you know what I'm saying? Yo, the girls are pretty. Oh, she looking at me. Yo, you want to go to McDonald's or something? Like, what's going on with you? Hey, girl. Here. Oh, she already talking to somebody. Damn it. This is so cool, though. Like, I, I understand. Like, listen, it, it's the end of the year, right? The final episode of the Gaming Roulette series for 2022. And I'm like, you know what? Let me let me just let me just dive into a game that I've never played before. So why not, right? Yo, they're already calling me names. You better get out of my fucking face. I'll knock you out, bro. Like I ain't playing that. I'll beat you with your own textbook. You know what I mean? So I'm guessing right now I'm supposed to be talking to the uh, to the principal. So all right, I guess uh, this is it. All right, let me uh, let me speak to uh, let me speak to the head honcho. Is that him? Ah. Yes. Uh-oh. So, you must be Hopkins. Yes, I am. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? I meant yes, sir. Very is he good. is he really that well, uptight? Let me see. You've done a lot of naughty things, haven't you? Vandalism, graffiti, so? bad language, so? violent conduct, disrespecting so? staff. So? Oh, I'm scared of you, Hopkins. Come on, give me a break. Yes, I've never met a boy like you. Never in all my life. Yo, Hopkins, they're already quite like the chopping my balls. Little boy I have ever encountered. Tell me, why should I waste my time on you? I don't know. Is he serious? Because it's my calling. It's what I do. Oh, what a douchebag. You excel at causing trouble, and I excel at fixing little boys like you. At making you into respectable members of our community here at the Academy. I'll go finger yourself, bro. I've got a good feeling about you, boy. A feeling you and I are going to be great friends. Yeah, okay. You keep that nose clean, boy, or I shall clean it myself. What? Miss Danvers, are you back yet? Yes, headmaster, and I got your tea. You are what a good yo! To me, Miss what a bunch of no douchebags! You deserve, headmaster. Well, she's head over Take heels for him. Hopkins here and show him around the school and get him properly attired. Certainly, headmaster. Come along, boy. I haven't got all day. Did you hear her tone? And boy, remember, you will have a clean nose. So keep it clean, or we'll clean it for you. All right, Dad. I mean, like, Jesus, what a douchebag. I mean, I, I just, I don't honestly think principles like this exist to be treating people like that, but damn. So here I am at probably the worst school in the country. Look at the way she was walking, you saw that? Nothing but arms dealers, serial killers, and corporate lawyers. Damn. Real scum. And that old creep thinks he can tame me? Word. We shall see, my friend. I only give people what they have coming to them. Okay, I like that. All right, so I'm gonna Where's be uh. Your uniform, young Hopkins. Yo, wh why? Why is everyone outside. shitting on my attire? You must go change, Mr. Hopkins. All right, so let me go to the boys' dorm. Yo, listen, I've never been to college, right? Hey, yo, what's good, girl? I'll take you to Burger King. Show you the Beef King. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Okay, so I yo, with, honestly, even though I'm playing this for the first time. What they need to do, based on from what I'm looking at, is they would have to, like, uh, hopefully Rockstar one day, like, remakes this game. You know what I mean? Because, it, it, I mean, it's a very old game, but I mean, shit, dude. So is this the other side of the school? Hold on. This is pretty cool, though. So, like, I don't, I, I'm not sure if I become, like, the big bad bully of the school. I mean, maybe I do, maybe I don't, but uh, I can't access the locker. That sucks. This is pretty cool though, like, th this reminds me so much of, like, Harry Potter, but like a ghettoized version, like, you know what I mean? Like, we just beating the shit out of each other in the hallways and stuff like that. Yo, am I, yo, I'm super short, mind you. Like, some of these girls are taller than me, so that's kind of, um, that's kind of sad, actually, so. 
This is like, oh, this is really cool though. I'm not gonna front. So, all right, uh, the dorm is outside. So I'm assuming now, look at the way some of these people are walking. It's like so weird. They're walking like they have like, like beef sticks up their ass. So let me see here. Access the map. Oh, this is like so dope, bro. But I'm playing as a short fat kid, but I'll fuck somebody up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, do I go here? I don't think I, do I go here? I don't think so. Oh yeah, that that actually did say girls dorm, so I'm assuming that the boys dorm is right across. So before I go in there, though, Garrett, you're going ahead and beat this kid up just for this. Oh, look, look at the way he's fighting me. Are you kidding me? You saw the way he was swinging his hands at me. I'm just kicking him in the nuts right there, real quick. Just, yeah, you better not snitch on me, kid. Let me get the hell out of Dodge. The boys dorm. All right, so we are in. Are, are, there, are those kids gonna pick on me? I don't think so. Let me see. Uh oh, cutscene. Time it is. Yep, time oh shit. Get the new kid. Beat him down. Are you kidding? Yo, I just arrived at this school. Hold on. Oh shit. Hold a uh, LT to block and lock on. Yo, I'm trying. Nah, you ain't gonna beat me up, homie. You ain't gonna beat me up. Hold on, hold on. Why are we? Listen, but why am I fighting now? Literally, when I started the game, like these dudes try to jump me. So. I don't know about the whole grab thing. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Come on, come on. Grab him. All right. Grapple punches. Grapple punches. Son Goku. All right, come on. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Now fight the. Oh, wait, hold on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, fight the bully. You ain't no bully. I'm the bully. All right. Tap Y to let go. I don't want to let go. Hold on. Uh, tap the RT, right? The RT to bring up the menu. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm beating the shit out of him, son. Yo, look at all of his friends just watching. They're like, yeah, kick his ass, man. Come on, come on. Oh, did he say kick his knees in? That's horrible. Hold on. Yo, this kid's not going down. Hold on. It appears in the right corner. All right, I'll give him the finisher. Hold on. They're screaming at me. Finish him. And I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, what's this? What's this? What is he doing? Wait. Wait, did I just break his arm? <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, who else wants to smoke? You're dead, new kid. Dead. What hey, the? Oh my God! Is that? That's Brock Lesnar, bro. That's enough of that. Break it up. Why are you not in your uniform, young man? Why are you running? Change immediately. Like, what, <laughs> what's happening right now, dude? Why is he yelling at me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's yelling at me, as though I did something. All I did was like defend myself. Who the hell is this douchebag? Hey, you're the new kid. Yeah, what's it to you? Yeah, fuck Friendly, off! aren't you? Give me a break, loser. Hey, relax, friend. You're all pent up. Friend. Go easy or they put you on medication. They did to me. Boy, you nearly sent me insane. That's fascinating. Now if you'll excuse me. I said me. relax, friend. Yeah, don't Get touch off, me. Man. Listen to me, tough guy. I'll fuck you up. You just up. arrived at the toughest school in the country, and I'm offering to be your friend. Trust me. In a place now like we this, good. you're gonna need friends. Now we good. So it's up to you. You're gonna play nice or what? No. Yeah, sure. Good. Damn it. So how about I show you around? Damn it, Jimmy, you should have said no. Alright, what is this? We the health bar is located at the, the left of the radar. Just a soda machine. Oh, we got some soda up in here? Well, so I'm assuming soda actually like replenishes your life, so. There we go. Sweet. You should probably change into your uniform if you don't want to get in trouble. All right, douchebag. Like every single person has been telling me that since I got here. So let me go in ahead and change before anything else. Right? Let me go in ahead. Is this my dorm? Get out of my fucking way! This is my dorm? Ew! Oh, that's ugly, dude. All right. Well, let me just uh, starting outfit, school uniform. All right. So I guess uh, the school uniform it is. Can't believe I have to be, you know. Coded for school clothing here, man. Look, he's even hey, shaking his head. How you doing? Who the hell are you? you? Must be the new kid. I'm Pete. Pete Kowalski. Jimmy Hopkins. And don't ask how I'm doing. Oh, he's a nice I've been kid. Here five minutes, and already people want me dead. Even my parents didn't hate me this quickly. True. Well, welcome to Bullworth. Oh, shut it's up, kid. Great. I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent. Yeah, I've been expelled from anywhere halfway decent because I'm really bad. I'll smack you. you. Oh, I don't like I this act, kid. Pal. Hey, man, what's your problem? Well. Yo, fuck him up! Primarily, but also life. 
my parents, this school, Western civilization, but really, honestly, oh my, about nobody me. Oh, cares. I see you've met the dorm's mascot. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Femboy, the girliest boy in school. Wow. Petey, haven't you got some imaginary friends to go annoy? Why don't you leave me alone, Gary? Yeah, why don't you leave him alone, <laughs> Gary? You. What a douchebag, yo. Gary. I'm really self-important now that I finally hit puberty. What's your Yo, problem? what a douchebag. I'm just being nice to the new kid as he passes through Bullworth. He called him a femboy. I mean, that shit would prison. that would not look pass in 2022, 2023. Out of here. <laughs> oh, now look what you've done, Pete. Jimmy can't stand you already. Yo, half the stuff that was already said would not even pass. Are you kidding me? Okay, so this is the saved area, I'm guessing. Yo, like, first of all, this dorm is just like so nasty, man. You know, I, I mean, I've never, I've never like gone to a college where I was dorming and shit because let me just tell you if I did, then I'd probably get kicked out, like not for nothing. This is your school stuff. So that's the mission I'm assuming, right? But I, I can only imagine, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, if you guys have dormed, I guess let me know what your experience was like because for me, if I ever had done something like that, man, it'd be some American Pie shit, you know what I mean? Like, no, no rules, Steve Stifler kind of stuff, you know what I mean? I would be running to the girls' dorm and just having a good time, you know? So, I mean, it is what it is, but I don't know. I, I've heard a mixture of, like, different opinions and stuff. Who the hell is... You saw him running and stuff? Wait a minute. You following me, son? Is you following me? You want to fight? Is that what it is? Oh, what the hell? Oh, oh, you saw that? Yo, he, yo, he dropped that girl. You saw that? That was funny. Oh, these dudes are bullies up in the school, man. Oh, shit, they're fighting! Yeah, yo, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, you want to fight too, bro? I'll fuck you up. Okay, let's go. I'll fight both of you, son. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I'm busted? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? The infirmary. Hold on. I, I know I didn't get knocked the fuck out, did I? Wait, what happened? Wait, who busted me, first of all? You're going to be pissing blood. Yo, you heard that, dude? You're gonna be pissing blood. Who's gonna make me piss blood, huh? You gonna make me piss blood? So what's good? So what's good? Make me piss blood then, bitch. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, not so tough, right? Yeah, not so tough, are you? Yo, I love this game. Yo, <laughs> this is a great game. All right, here we go. This is your school. Oh, this is this is good. This is good. Who's that? Hey, Jimmy. Let me show you around this. Oh, okay, okay. It's Gary. All right, let me go on ahead and follow Gary around. Oh, is that Brock Lesnar? You know, the big ape who almost put you in the hospital. Are you kidding? Uh oh, oh no, no, no. Yo, chill. What's wrong with this guy, man? Hold on. If anyone become okay, so press and hold LT and then the A button. Oh, don't tell me I'm cucking down, bro. No. No, don't do that. Hold on. I have to pay him. Are you kidding? No, hell no, bro. You don't know what pain is. You don't know what pain is. I am stupid. Next time you get more doofus. You got to be kidding me. I would never pay him. Are you stupid? Come on. Let's break into it and steal something. All right, That's fuck it. Let's break into Russell's locker. Yo, I mean, you saw that first? First I had to cut down to him, then I had to pay him? Are you are you crazy? Listen. It's the end of the year, man. I ain't giving nobody no money for to, to like stop bullying me. Are you kidding me? You gotta be out of your mind. How do I do this? Um, am I doing this shit right or what? I've never. I, I gotta break into this kid's locker room. Oh wait, did I do it? I did it. All right, let's see what kind of prawn we got up in here. Well done. You got Playboy magazines and everything up in here. All right, so let me see the trouble meter. Uh, the perfects will be the dots on the radar. Watch out for them. Okay, so, uh oh, is this the authority? Oh, now you in real trouble. Oh shit, is that the authority? You better run, homie. I better run. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, hide in the garbage. Are you kidding me? In front of all these kids, I gotta hide in the garbage. First of all, I'm sticking my head out. There's, oh wow, that kid got dropped. I'm sticking my head out, so it's like. How could they not see me? You know what I mean? I, I gotta get the hell out of the garbage, bro. Hey, Jimmy, follow me. Where the hell did he? Y'all saw that? He just popped out of nowhere. Yo, Jimmy, follow me, man. Hey, it was good, girl. 
was good. At least I'm at least I'm taller than her. Some of these other girls were like six foot nine and shit, right? Alright, so what what is the objective? Okay, so he's showing me around though, but like where's the gymnasium? Where's the cafeteria and shit like that? You like you know oh, what I mean? Man, there's that weird chick Eunice. Oh Let's god. Have some fun with her. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? See what she wants. Oh god, what happened? She's she's a big girl, you know? Oh god, what happened? She ugly. Oh lord. He took my chocolate! Listen, chocolate is the last thing that you should be eating. So wait, who took the chocolate though? Don't push me. Get out of the way, fucking Gary. Um, so the X marks the spot, so I'm assuming we're gonna have to run across the school. And I, I gotta watch out though. I don't want to get in trouble from like these authoritarians walking around telling me that I can't run in the hallways. So someone took the fat girl's chocolate, right? So now I gotta be responsible for getting her the chocolate back. But the question is, what am I getting in return? I'm pretty sure I gotta fuck somebody up, right? So yo, give me the chocolate, son. Give me the chocolate, son. I'll beat your ass, man. Look at this little herb. What a herb. Give me the chocolate. Give me the chocolate. Where the hell's the chocolate? There we go. I got the box of chocolate. All right, return the chocolates. Okay, so get out of the way, Gary. Oh my god, I can't believe I just busted my ass in front of that fine ass girl, bro. How embarrassing, right? Imagine that. All right, so let me. How do how do we know like when class starts and shit like that? You see, are you guys seeing these kids? Like, these kids are degenerates, bro. Like, I am in a school full of degenerates. All right, here's your fucking box of chocolate. There you go. Thanks. Um, wanna make out? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, no way. Oh, I'm, get, I'm getting me the poontang right now? Let's go. Sheesh. Oh, he don't like it? Oh. I'll remember this forever. Oh, God. I actually kissed her. I mean, I didn't kiss. Let's just get the hell out of here, Gary, all right? All right, check the cafeteria, finally. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is she following me? Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, no, she's following me, bro. Yo, she wants the D. She wants the D. Look, she's following me. Oh, God. Like, get the hell away from me. What is this, the cafeteria, right? Are, are we about to get into a food fight? Uh-oh. Feeding time at the zoo. Okay, here's the deal. True. Over there, we got the nerds. Of course, they're complete social outcasts. They look pretty harmless. Look at that one kid. He's like, oh, yes, right there, their sure. turf is the library. Okay. And those are the preps. They're all money. Yeah, look at that girl. Yeah, massively inbred and completely brainless. Very observant. Jim Very boy. observant, yes. Now, over there are the greasers. They think the greasers? Tough. Or at least try to look tough. Wouldn't advise messing with them. At least not yet. They hang by the auto shop. The greasers. And last but not least, the jocks. These guys. Ah, uh, there they school. are. Definitely avoid them. Whatever. I'm not afraid of some dumb roid monkeys. True. You'll learn. Oh shit. Come Here's on, the bell. Go. You're here to learn. Oh not god. To goof off. We get know. Class. We know, sir. Oh, wait, he said get to class. So does that mean that I'm finally about to go to class, right? All right, the bell icon, the radar. Okay, so that's my class, right? Okay. Okay, so it's from nine to eleven. That's actually pretty short. Oh, okay. That's actually pretty short, yo. Y'all remember when we used to have like periods start at like seven, eight, all the way up until like four? Yo, I, when I was in high school, I used to have that shit, man. I used to start. There was one time. I think it was during my sophomore year. I had, I had class at like seven thirty in the morning. And my first fucking class was gym class. So I'm already starting off the day, like, working out and being all sweaty in the school and shit. Wait, uh, where's the class? Hold on. Oh, wait, where's the classroom, bro? Oh, is it downstairs? Shit. Oh, I'm 20 minutes late. No. Don't fail me. Don't fail me. Don't, don't fail me. If you guys used to go to school, let me know your, uh, your schedules for those that used to. And for those that still do, let me know. I don't know, because, uh... 9 to 11 is awesome, dude. Like, that's, that's like, that's like right, senior class level, you know what I mean? Oh, right. Oh, chemistry. Class. Oh, shit. What am I doing Take here? Take care to follow my instructions precisely. Wait. As we will be working with volatile Wait. chemicals today. What am I doing? Oh, okay. 
Yeet. Up All right. All right. Almost done. Oh, this is easy. Very yo, if school was this easy, I would have gotten like A's in every class, yo. That's right. That's right. You're a wizard, Harry. Excellent. Good job. We finally passed chemistry one. Hell yeah, boy. See, the thing is, like, when I was in school, I mean, during my day, nobody was sensitive. It was, it was like the Wild West. Like, not even kidding. I mean, oh, we got firecrackers up in here, too? Oh, that's awesome. So I get to, so I get to just throw firecrackers in the hallway. Oh, this reminds me of, like, high school days. Yo, let's go. Before everything became, like, desensitized and, like, so, you know, soft and sensitive. I get to throw firecrackers in the hallway without offending somebody? Perfect. Yo, who wants to get these firecrackers to the think? face, huh? I'll throw it at anybody. I'll throw it at bullies. I'll throw it at the greasers, at the jocks. Who wants it? Yo, what'd you say, bitch? Oh, he called me a whip. Word? 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 You want to scrap? You want to scrap? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wait. Oh, yo, you saw that? He came out of nowhere swinging at me, bro. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Oh, shit. Is that an authority figure? That's right. Kick him in the nuts. Yo, I'm not going down without beating your ass. No, 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 no. Get, get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. I got to stop this kid. I'll fight you too, bro. I'll fight all of you. I'm fighting two authority figures. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, oh, this is bad. Wait, so what happens now? Uh-oh. So? This is your only warning. Don't mess up again. Why? Now, go and think about what I've said. Dude, they they started with me. Like, don't you just hate that shit? Like, you're minding your own business, and then you're getting called, like, a wimp and shit, and then if you fight back, it's like you're the one that gets in trouble? Like, what? Yo, you guys can best believe going into the into the new year into 2023 we're definitely gonna be playing this like hands down yo what's good girl you want me to take you to wendy's yo we're definitely gonna be playing this game though definitely i should have gotten into this game years ago man i just never found the appeal to it i was like oh okay i mean it is what it is all right you the setup. seem to be making yourself quite comfortable here my boy i hate this guy i'm just trying to fit in by fighting? By making yeah. a nuisance of yourself? Yeah. That is not the Bullworth way, boy. Oh, yeah, shut up, bro. You could fooled me. What? I said you could have fooled me. This place is full of bullies and maniacs. Nonsense. Get him. That's just school spirit. High school days. spirit, Why, bro. in my day, we felt nothing of castrating the new boys. I want you to stop this nonsense, Hopkins. I want you to behave yourself. You might learn something. Fine. Can I go He's now? He's insane. Sir? On your way. Yeah, that's right. You better let me go. Yeah, hey, I, I I saw you sucking up to Crabble Snitch. What? what? Shut up. Screw you, new kid. You this see? This is what we do to teachers pets around here. You see? <laughs> get him. Oh, <laughs> hell no, bro. Get him, get him, get him, get him. First of all, we never had like slingshots and shit like, you know, in our in our day, but Yo, he's too fast, bro. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, tap. Okay. Yes. Finally. Davis is getting away. Not today, you not. Yo, I know you're not gonna assault me and insult me and then run away. Get out of here. Hold on. Where's he going? Where's he going? You ain't getting away, son. You ain't getting away. But look at the map, though. The school's pretty big, man. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? They have a dusty ass auto shop part of the school. Look at this place. Hey, you want the smoke? You want the smoke, son? All right, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Open the gates. Yo, we, we, we're gonna Vegeta our way in here, bro. Where you at? I'm about to beat you up for that slinky, bro. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, they're in there. Hold on. Yo, this dude got goons everywhere, dude. This dude got goons everywhere, dog. Like, no matter where it is that I go, no matter what it is that I do, it's like his goons are everywhere. Hold on. All right. Oh, there's a goon right here, too, bro. See... If we did this in school, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I used to fight in school, but, you know, like, shit wasn't super sensitive. Like, I don't know how it is nowadays, but, yo, there's, there's like, there's like students everywhere, bro. I'll beat all y'all asses, bro. Come on, come on, come on. The fighting, like, the fighting mechanics in this game are kind of like, meh, but, come on, come on. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. This is your origin story. There we go. All right, let me, uh, oh, hell yeah, I got a brick. Wait, hold on, where's he at? Oh, there he is. 
What the hell? How do I, uh, hold on. Uh... Oh, okay. So, okay, so I'm just... Alright, so I'm throwing bricks at him. Perfect. This was exactly what I wanted. Was to, like, chug bricks at this kid. Yeah, you wanna... You wanna hit me with little... With little slingshots, right? Watch this, watch this, watch this. Suck brick, kid! Yeet! Oh! God! Yep. That's what I thought. Perfect! I got myself the slingshot. Yes! The weapon of the gods. Oh yeah, this is this is definitely awesome. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be playing this next year for sure. I I'm just mad that I picked today out of all days to play this, yo. This is awesome. This is like really awesome. Alright, so let me it's almost two o'clock there. Okay, so school starts at what? Tomorrow, yo, was good, girl. Wait, uh, can I talk to her? No, no, don't, don't hit her. Hold on, hold on, yo, she got a fatty. Hold up. Did anyone ever tell you you're, um, hot? What, yo, what kind of lines are these? So, um, you're a girl, huh? Yeah, yeah. wow. <laughs> Let me see. telling everyone you're my girlfriend. Johnny's waiting for me. Really? Is that all he's gonna say? Hey, uh, want some loving, baby? Oh, yeah, there we go, yeah! Um, don't play hard to get, okay? Oh my god, Jamie's so stupid, bro. He just asked her, like... He's asking her if she's a model. He just asked her, yo, you want some loving? And then he follows up by saying, Are you a model? What a... What a dweeb. Yeah, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna go back and save this because... Hands down, we're... Oh, crap. Oh, crap. No, 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 let go, let go. I do not want to get caught. Yeah, no, we're definitely gonna be playing this in 2023 for sure. This was... Yo, this was an experience. This takes me back. Like, hands down, this takes me back, man. What a game. Alright, so I'm not too sure if you guys remember what this is, but this is Dragon Ball Super Mugen, and right now we have Hakai Shinmo Vegeta teaming up with Mastered Ultra Instant Goku to battle against Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Vegito and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Gogeta, which, I mean, speaking of right now, Vegito just went Kaioken, and here we go. This is going to be a bloodbath, and I'm so thankful that I'm just watching this, because what in the fuck is going on? I think Hakai Shinmo Vegeta is targeting Evolution Gogeta while Goku's fighting against Vegito, but yo, this is this is messy and I said to myself why not go out in a bang and what a bang this is right I can't even I'm trying to follow to see who's fighting who but it seems as though like they're pairing off and they're kind of switching opponents back to back but I really do think that I don't know I think Hakai Shinmo Vegeta and MUI Goku are going to take it because MUI Goku for this game is busted Gogeta is actually troll oh my god Goku with the massive Kamehameha. Wait a minute, are the fusions jumping Vegeta? I think they did. Yo, they beat the dog shit out of Vegeta, so now they're trying to gang up on Goku, but look at Goku. Goku's slapping, dude. Are you kidding me? Like I said, I mean, I was about to say the last man standing was Vegito, but my favorite fusion just got bodied. Okay, so round two. Can the fusions catch up? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe the fusions can actually... Oh my god. First of all, I think Vegeta's about to... Jesus, what a combination. This is done. I'm sorry to say, I don't see the fusions winning this unless they somehow use, like, Master to Ultra Instinct of their own or something, because... Goku and Vegeta paired off. I mean, specifically Goku, he's wrecking them. And Vegito right now is deciding to use Kaioken. A little bit too late, pal, because down goes Gogeta. Vegito's the last one, and now I think they're jumping him. Holy God! We're not done, though, nah. Because we have a lot more than that coming up next. What the hell? Now, if you guys thought that was crazy, now we have Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta teaming up to battle against Super Saiyan 5 Goku and Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta. So, fun fact, nine years ago on this channel, I discovered Mugen, and when I played this for the first time, I think one of my first fights was Super Saiyan 4, or maybe Super Saiyan 5, Goku and Vegeta versus Super Saiyan God, and it was nuts. And here we are, nine years later, still doing this, what is happening? So, I don't know who to give it to right now, but what I do see is Super Saiyan 5 Goku is just cleaning their clocks, man, while Vegeta is just powering up and just keeping it funky in the corner. So, again, 2022 was a banger of a year. 
at least professionally and we're gonna try to make the most of it in 2023 so again let me know do you guys think we should do more Mugen games on the channel what is Vegeta oh my god dude and I, I love the fact that Super Saiyan 5 Vegeta just targeted Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta you know what I mean this is always going to be a debate I think until the end of time even though you know Super Saiyan 5 is a fictional transformation it doesn't really exist I still don't think people are gonna let this go and from what it looks like right now I think they're about to beat blue so this is pretty nuts because I assumed at first that the blue squad was gonna win but yo they are Goku's down Vegeta wow so Vegeta took down Vegeta while Goku took down Goku at least that's what I saw right so you know Super Saiyan 5 just took the first round but are they going to take the second round let's go ahead and find out here so all right oh my god okay so I have no idea what the hell is happening right now but from what I do see I think the Super Saiyan 5 squad is like really serious like these dudes are all about business right now they're not looking to take any shit from the god key wielders like you know what i mean and i don't know though i think i mean just judging based on what we're looking at right now the blue squad is actually trying to fight back but i don't know about this one man i mean super saiyan 5 goku looks really damaged so they might take him out first but then again i think they're turning the tides here because not only are they jumping them in groups but it looks like i think vegeta blue vegeta might go down first which if you really look at it right now like they're cornering these dudes so they really can't go anywhere so i don't know if you guys were hoping that the blue squad was gonna win i don't think so because super saiyan 5 right now he's like on a whole different level these guys are just murking them and if you guys go back to some of the older and previous gaming roulette videos then you will see that we've been playing the Mugen games for quite some time so just be sure to go on ahead and check those out i think it's done man i yeah yeah the super saiyan 5 squad wins i mean but you know what we're not done because we have a whole hell of a lot more coming up ahead Now, you know, in all honesty, I really want to close out 2022 by leaving everybody kind of scratching their heads, and this is definitely a head scratcher. We have full powered Super Saiyan 3 Cumber, we have Super Blue Vegito Absorbed, we're supposed to have Blue Kefla, I don't know what the hell's happening, and we have Super Saiyan Rose 3 Goku Black. What is Cumber? Oh, that was a that was a great combination, dude. That was like the perfect combination. Cumber held him in place. And then Bugito just like blasted him. What in the fucking world? We have a gigantic Golden Ozaru on the field. This is bad. Okay, so unless Kefla plans on going blue, then maybe they have a chance because poor Goku Black. Oh, I think Kefla's finished. Okay, so yeah, she's done. All right, so we have Super Saiyan Rose 3 Goku Black. He is the only one left. He's not using his full power, so he's not shirtless. But Cumber might be a problem because if he ends up reverting to a Super Saiyan 4, then it's game over. But at the same time, if Boo ends up absorbing him, why, why is Cumber attacking Boo? What is going on? Yo, I was not expecting for Cumber to actually do that. You can actually see the little, like, false moon thingy in the sky. But yeah, that's done, dude. This dude, Super Boo, literally uppercutted Black in the air and then Cumber just finished him off. Like, you know what I mean? Just, like, what a, what a savage combination. So, let's see. I don't know. If they end up winning, then it'll be a tiebreaker. And finally, it looks like Kefla had gone Super Saiyan Blue and she is a... What a difference maker. That one attack actually crippled 25% of their health. That's actually pretty impressive. So, something's wrong with Cumber. I think... The moment he was about to do something using his key, all of a sudden now, he's like enveloped by it, so I don't know. And Boo, I guess he's trying to use all of Vegito's and Gotenks' moves against, you know, Black, but I don't know. Like, it would be fascinating to see Boo try to absorb him, or even, even absorb Kefla, but speaking of Kefla, dude, Kefla literally just soloed the entire team by herself, so now... We're heading into round three, dude. I don't know. I still think unless she goes blue, then the other team's going to take it. But if, if she goes blue, then I don't know. I think that they might win. But for right now, I'm going with Cumber and Boo because, I mean, just look at what's happening right now. They're, like, eviscerating Kefla and Goku Black, dude. Like, I mean, my eyes right now are, like, bleeding from all of, like, the shockwaves that Black is creating, which is pretty much nuts. But I don't know. I mean, first of all, Super Saiyan 3 Cumber looks amazing. So whoever makes these moving games, shoutouts goes out to you because this is this is fun. 
this is like, it makes your eyes bleed from all the intensity, which it is what it is, but I don't know, I mean, I just, I like, when you select a character like Blue Kefla, you would only assume that she would be blue off the gate, but I guess she has to transform, so it is what it is. Black is down, and it's all up to Kefla. Now, again, we don't know if she's about to go blue. If she goes blue, then there's a chance, but Cumber, I don't, is Cumber about to, yeah, Cumber's out. Okay, so it's a one-on-one -on -one fight, Bujito versus base Kefla. If Kefla goes Super Saiyan God, or even Super Saiyan Blue, then, I mean, I, she might get the victory, but if she stays in base, I'm sorry, Boo's about to slap her. And again, we have more fights coming up after this. She's done. She's done. Oh, she's alive. Oh, wait, she's alive. Oh, she's slapping Boo Rap. Wait a minute. Is she about to change the game? Hold on. I like Kefla, except like her air. Oh, I was about to say her arrogance, man. Boo really got her. I gotta give it to him on that. Alright boys and girls, it's time for us to save the future. Gohan Black, Vegeta Black versus Super Saiyan God Trunks and Miga Teno Gokui. Mastered Ultra Instant Gohan and I will say, like not for nothing, but this would be a very interesting scenario. Like you know what I mean? Like a lot of us often wonder like what if, you know, Zamasu took Gohan's body, Vegeta's body, X, Y, and Z. And I mean for this right now, I'm really digging this and I'm really trying to follow along here because it looks like Vegeta's attacking Trunks. Black Gohan or Gohan Black's attacking Trunks too, but I guess Ultra Instinct Gohan's trying to go after Gohan Black. So this is, yeah, I was right in my assumption. So this is nuts. First of all, Ultra Instinct Gohan is destroying Gohan Black. I would love to see what Zamasu could do with that kind of potential, like, you know what I mean? But unfortunately that never happened. And as for Vegeta, you can only imagine how ruthless a Vegeta Black would be with that kind of potential as well. So. Father versus son, we have Doppelganger versus the original, and not for nothing, man, like, this is crazy. I mean, uh, Gohan looks good. I prefer the Super Dragon Ball Heroes variation of God Trunks. My eyes are bleeding, dude. What is Gohan doing? First of all, I think the Stolen Body Squad is about to go down, so Gohan and Trunks are about to emerge victorious. I think that it's more than fitting to see Vegeta go down first, because with Gohan Black last, Let's see how he goes down. Is it going to be courtesy of... Oh, yeah, it is. Of course. Of course it'd be courtesy of Gohan. Gohan was the last one standing by the end. So if they end up winning again, then it's a clean sweep. And you guys got to admit, man, like this game, it's really, really fun. Playing it's really hard. Watching it is really intense. Oh, what's happening right now? What is Vegeta about to do? What is Gohan about to do? Hold on. Master the Ultra Instant Gohan looks ready for something. Oh, my God. There he goes. Super Saiyan Rose Vegeta Black with a vicious... Gallic gun, but I mean, they're still alive. Gohan's fighting both of them at the same time. I mean, it's expected at this point, I would argue, but I, I did not think that he was gonna like just sweep them, you know, two on one. I mean, it's expected, especially if Gohan trained, and what a year for Gohan it was, right? And let me just tell you, we have way more fights following this because not for nothing, I do think that, you know, the original squad is about to win. Vegeta might, yeah, Vegeta's down first, leaving Gohan black last. I think. Trunks and Gohan teaming up to take him down is more than fitting because, you know, they're friends and with Trunks, you know, seeing him as a mentor, it only makes sense. It's done. Yo, what an interesting scenario, though. You know what I mean? Damn, that was a really good fight. The Z Warriors win, but we're not done because we have more coming up ahead. Now I know what you might be thinking, and no, I don't even know what the hell it is that I'm doing myself because we have Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta, Super Saiyan 3 Vegito versus, oh boy, get ready for this, Super Saiyan 4 Dragon Ball Z Broly, and of course now, Super Saiyan 4 Cumber. Listen to me very carefully. I know what you guys might be thinking, oh well, probably the Super Saiyan 4 slap, or some of you actually might believe that the Super Saiyan 3 fusions would slap. Listen, just sit back and enjoy what's about to happen because I don't know, I'm probably rooting for the Super Saiyan 4s on this one, but for all I know, the Super Saiyan 3 fusions could evolve themselves, you know what I mean? What is Cumber about to do? Oh crap, what is Cumber about? Oh, oh wait a minute, oh, what the hell is happening right now? This, wait, so this dude Cumber, yeah, Cumber's, Cumber's gonna be a problem. You see Broly just beating up Gogeta, Cumber's beating up Vegito, like this is, and they're doing damage, dude. 
Gogeta, I just, I just peeked that. Gogeta just barely avoided Broly's kick. But Broly, Broly's targeting both of them. What is even happening right now? The fusions gotta get some offense in, man. Because they, look, look at the other team's health, man. They haven't done anything. And Gogeta's the first one to go down. Poor Vegito is trying to hang in there. You know, he's trying to dance around them and do whatever he can. But it, it just doesn't seem like it's working, Chief. It doesn't, oh, sweet baby Jesus, man. It doesn't seem like it's working. Get out of there. Oh, my God. So, if you just peep that, Cumber kind of, like, punched Vegito in the face. And as he stumbled back, he was just overtaken by Broly's attack. So, that's not fair, man. I mean, look, first of all, if these two fought, that'd be crazy. But not only that, they're actually teaming up to fight against the opposition, which is even more terrifying when considering who they're fighting and what kind of power they have. So, I don't know. Maybe it might be a sudden death. Maybe it won't be. Broly. Oh, look at Vegito. The final con He nailed it. Wait, no, he didn't nail it. Broly actually caught him. Dude, Broly actually caught them even after he fired the final Kamehameha. Are you kidding me right now? This is crazy. Yo, this is crazy. I, I really did not foresee this. I really did not foresee this, yo. I thought that the fusions were kind of going to, like, you know, give him a little bit of a run. But no, this is... This is just a slaughter. This is literally a slaughter, dude. And I'm really, I, I, I was really hoping that the fusions were going to do something. I don't know. Maybe I might be wrong. Maybe I might be wrong. I mean, they might turn it around because from what it looks like right now, these, yo, are they really going to turn it around? Okay, down goes Cumber. Holy shit. They're jumping Broly. They're jumping. Are you guys seeing this? Yo, they're jumping. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. Is that, is that a dragon? They, back, they actually beat him. What? what? Are you kidding me? Wow, the fusions actually tied it up. Okay, it's a sudden death match. Oh, I was not expecting for that to happen. What, what, oh, what the hell is this? Okay, Gogeta caught them. Vegito is blinding my eyes yet again. I really thought the Super Saiyan 4s were going to have a sweep, but the fusions tied it. Okay, and let me know in the comment section below. Are you guys for the fusions or are you guys for the Super Saiyan 4s? Let me know because... This is really hard to kind of call down the middle now, especially when we just saw the fusions use like a really interesting combination. But then again, I don't know. I think that with Broly unleashing these gigantic attacks and with Cumber kind of like maintaining that momentum, I'm not too sure, man. Their health, I mean, they just took down Vegito. Come on, Gogeta. Yeah, this is done. This is done. What kind of a battle even is this, dude? They're just slaughtering the guy. Oh, oh, he pushed him. Oh, wait a minute. Is Gogeta going to be the one? Uh, I, 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 I got my hopes up a little there too much. Oh, my God. What a battle. That was a really good fight. But you know what? We got one more fight coming up ahead. And I promise you, you guys are really going to like it. Okay, so check this out. We're going to be capping this off the right way. We have Ultra Instinct Omen Goku versus Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku, which we understand based on Super Dragon Ball Hero standards that the Limit Breaker forms, or at least Xeno Goku from that timeline, does also possess God Key and all of these things. But I don't know. At the end of the day, even if Goku were to use his Omen form, that might be a problem for the Limit Breaker. So I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section below as to what you guys think, because so far... They seem as though they're kind of taking it easy, even though this just started. I'm not too sure. I'm probably leaning more towards Omen Goku winning, but I have this weird feeling that Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku, based on all of the damage that he could inflict, may in fact end up winning this fight. So again, also let me know based on all of the fights you guys see, what kind of fan mangas you guys want me to create in 2023 it could be anything and you guys know better than anybody i could make anything happen right so that's why i ask you guys for your suggestions and whatever it is that you guys want to see in terms of just one-off specials or perhaps maybe an ongoing series or perhaps even a crossover so let me know down in the comment section below and essentially enough we're going to make it happen so i don't know man i mean just looking at this right now i think omen goku's going to lose man on oh all my god how do you miss that oh jeez, man I don't, this might be a sweep. This might be a sweep for the Limit Breaker. I don't know. I mean, if he caught him with that gigantic attack, that could have been it. But I will say, though, uh-oh. Oh, wow. How do you miss that Kamehameha, dude? That was embarrassing. That was really embarrassing, man. 
Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 Goku is just like drilling him with Kamehameha after Kamehameha. And I will say though, I love the effectiveness and the way, you know, UI Goku kind of dodges, you know, his opponents and whatnot. But I mean, here, it just seems as though he's kind of struggling. So I don't know. It could be because the Limit Breakers probably have a higher attack potency for this game. It might be that. I don't know. Or well, perhaps maybe, I don't know, Omen Goku's nerfed, but it is what it is. Oh, oh, that's nice. Yo, look at that. They're both powering up at the same time. And then, of course, he nails Omen Goku with a really... Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed, too. Yo, they both missed their Kamehamehas. They're like, are they dumb? Oh, that's that's stupid. Oh, man. I don't know what's going on, but I think, uh, I think this is a clean sweep. I think this is a clean sweep. Originally, I assumed the position that Omen Goku was going to win. But, I mean, just judging based on the way he's fighting right now, I mean, he looks great. Oh, it's over. Wait, is it over? Is it over? Oh, wait, he's still in there. He's still in there. Wait, wait. Oh, Wait, that was a good that was a good finish. He double axe handled Limit Breaker Super Saiyan 4 in the dirt, bro. So this is this is a sudden death fight. Oh my, what's happening right now? Oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What, what's what's oh my what's what's happening? Oh my wait, whoa. Holy crap. Wait, wait, what is this? Wait, what the hell is this? Is Goku Damn, it's over. It's over. Okay, what well, never mind. Okay, Omen's still in the fight. Yo, we're closing off the Mugen portion like this? This dude just drilled him. I'm sorry. I don't... Unless Goku just goes, you know, MUI right now, then it's over. I, I just don't see him surviving this. He's barely able to connect the Kamehamehas. He's barely able to, you know, connect his ultimates. So, I don't know. I mean, for anyone out there who's been rooting for the Limit Breakers, you guys are probably happy right now. But then again, I could be wrong. You know, Goku can just, you know, turn it around. Maybe, you know, use MUI or something. I don't know and just pull off a victory but until then i think that yeah limit breaker super saiyan 4 probably got it because look at the amount of damage but wait a minute goku if omen goku's turning it around a little bit yo this is a close fight this is a really close fight man what a way to what a way to end off 2022 like you know what i mean i gotta thank you guys man because this is fun i'm having fun i hope you guys are too and man this is gonna be a close fight this is gonna be a close fight and he nailed him with the kamehameha dude what a way to finish that fight. That was really solid, man. GG. Okay, so there's always going to be something about Resident Evil games that I'm always going to go back to, and we're back. Resident Evil 2, the remake. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, damn. You better stay down, buddy. Let me just make sure he's dead. I didn't even... Yo, I wasn't even expecting that. I mean, all right, listen. If we're ending off the year like this, then it is what it is. Damn, I forgot. Uh, Well, I guess I'll go upstairs. I forgot where I left off, to be honest with you guys. What would you guys do in a situation like this? You know, let me know. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh, one of my fellow officers. Back up, lady. Back up. Oh, oh we took her head off, dude. All right, well. See, the thing, the thing with me is... I mean, look at this place, man. Something must have just ravaged right through somebody. I mean, these are human beings we're talking about. You know what I mean? I don't know. In a situation like this, like, I, I'm sorry. I wouldn't trust anybody. I wouldn't be able to do anything. You know what I mean? Because the situation is just, like, so critical at that, at that point, you know? Okay, so, I don't know. Like, Resident Evil games, like, especially, like, the older ones like this, even though this is not, like, the original classic, whatever, like, the remake for this game is just phenomenal. Oh boy, are you dead? I think I remember this. All right, so yeah, because I, I think I um, this was one of the save features that I had during one of my gaming roulettes for the Halloween season. So, which if you guys have not checked out the Halloween episodes, I really do encourage you guys to do so. I don't know, like I want you guys to put yourselves like in Leon's position, like you feel me? Like you're just in the middle of this mess. And I don't think Leon knows that, you know, well, I don't think he does. Yeah, so I don't think he knows that, obviously, they're planning on nuking Raccoon City. But in any situation like this, you can only imagine that the world's governments are going to try to, like, contain and, you know, refrain the rest of the world from finding out what happened. So I always thought this dude was going to move, you know what I mean? I would not be doing this, bro, with a handgun, with a handgun. And I'm really curious. I swear to God, I am about like what they have planned for uh the resident evil franchise in 2023 
because and even after that too like i mean listen i I, I, like at the end of the day we're all getting older i know a lot of y'all listening to this watching this know exactly what i'm talking about so it's kind of sad because you know as we get older we remember these games for what they were we remember the you know moments that we had you know by playing them and stuff like that so oh let me not let me, i don't want to come crashing down again yeah so this was one of the because i picked a random saved uh game here so i'm like all right well let me go back yeah this is definitely uh what is this i got myself a knife right here this is definitely one of the um the saved games that i had from one of my roulettes all right um Damn, this is this is kind of this is kind of grim. Let me go on the other side, because I completely forgot what I needed to do. I definitely think I need to turn down the uh, the steam, so I need to look for the valve. Some spooky stuff, man. I don't. I'm, I mean, listen. I don't know if I'd be able to to do this. All right, so we just, we ran a giant circle, technically. Yeah, okay, so... If anything, let me go on ahead and develop this, because I have this in my inventory for nothing, so... All right, what we got here? Okay, so... There's a book. Okay, all right. Some pretty, I mean, listen, some pretty spooky stuff. Like, some people may look at this and go, oh, well, you know, if, if a zombie apocalypse to this extent actually happened, like, I'd be all right. I mean, you just never know, you know what I mean? Like, in situations like this where you're forced to, like, kill, I guess, other, you know, entities that were once considered to be human beings, it's not an easy thing. Uh, 102, okay, 103. I think, yeah, I think this thing is missing buttons. I think, I think it's the, uh, the three button three or two one of those um oh the shotgun right there yeah all right let me use this all right open sesame come on open up i said open up damn it there we go all right uh before i do that though yes got the w870 shoddy load it up we're gonna go on ahead and equip that stack up some shells up in this mug listen when I get my own house, I've always told myself this, like, I want to get legalized weapons just in case of, like, home invasions or whatever the hell, zombie apocalypse, aliens, you, you, you know, like, I, I want to be ready, so just in case, if I got to blow some zombies' heads off, you know, I, I'm, I'm safe and secure. I definitely need, um, to extend my inventory, so I knew it, I knew it, two and three are missing, come on, dude, really? Oh, son of a bitch. But what would you guys do in a zombie apocalypse, because... I mean, I'm in New York City, so I'm basically screwed. You know what I mean? I, I mean, for anyone out there living in California, you know what I'm talking about. For anyone out there living in, like, you know, like a big city, I suppose, like Chicago, whatever. You know, like, you know exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So, I'm in New York City. I'm, I'm dead center in the middle of people. So, if we had some zomboids running around, then, ah, man, unless I can cross those bridges quick, I'm screwed. All right, uh, let's see. This game, this game is so good. This, this dude, he's, he's gonna turn any moment, man. This game is so good. I'm telling y'all right now, you know, as y'all are watching this for the final gaming roulette episode, and I said to myself, you know, because these gaming roulettes are always random, but I did say, let me just jump on, you know, one of the remakes, and I said definitely choosing two over three. But if you guys have this, play it. I'm telling y'all, play it. Oh! whoa all right that dude yo yo he freaked me out hold on there's another one over there all right, let me just make sure he's dead i'm not gonna lie i got a little got a little jumpy off that one. Ah, oh, come on yeet there we go where the hell did he come from dude so i need to i definitely from my understanding right now i need to are you gonna get up stay down i need to turn off the um or i need to put out the fire but let me see if I can. Yeah, you guys need you guys definitely need to get this on Steam or buy this on your console or whatever. And, you know, I'm not sponsored by this shit, but I'm just telling you all like just this is a game that you should get. Now, if you're asking me between two and three, I'm telling you all to get two over three because the three remake was cool and all. But the two remake was it, it's where it's at. You know what I mean? 
anybody can tell you that one. So... Can you imagine me? You know what I'm about to do? I swear to God. I'm about to go on my second channel, Unreal Network, and I'm about to start creating actual stories and mangas for, like, games like this. Like, I understand that there are, there are like, what-if comics and stuff, but I want to make, like, a manga version of this, you know? Like, what if, like, Leon died, or, like, what if Leon faced, like, you know, Nemesis or whatever? Oh, this is not good. Oh, this hallway. Oh, y'all know this hallway. This is a bloodbath. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. The doors are just like... If that thing broke and whatever's on the other side comes in, I'm screwed. That's it. I don't know, man. In situations like this, like, you're dealing with zombies, and you don't even know that they're zombies, like, you don't even know if they can be cured and stuff, you know? I just have to look around. I know I have to find, like, the valve and all that stuff. I mean, if you guys want me to play this next year, then let me know. I'm for sure gonna do it. Oh, wait, what is this? Hold on. Oh, wait, yes! The the handle. Okay, Ah, oh, crap baskets. Um, sorry, powder. Uh, I can't really combine it with anything. All right, um, definitely gonna stack that right there. Okay. So, if I remember, I'm either gonna use this to turn off or at least turn on the water so I can put out the fire, or I am going to use that to turn off the steam. It's definitely one or the other, so bear with me on this one. And by the way, like, this year for Resident Evil, it wasn't that bad. But it's pretty crazy how going into next year, we're going on two years since the release of Village. You feel me? Like, that's, that's cra- Oh, where's the body? Oh, boy. Is he alive? Um, you know, like, that's crazy stuff. You feel- Oh, wait a minute. He's up. Yaga, stay down. Damn it. Was not expecting for that to happen. Um, is this it? Uh, no. Oh, wait, no, it's the lever. Aw, oh, crap. Yeah, I don't have the lever. Aw, oh, shit. I gotta go look for the damn lever. Yo, time's flying by fast. Like, it's it's been a year and a half going into two years for the release of Village. I mean, I forgot how long it's been for, like, RE2, RE3. I think RE3 came out, like, what, two years ago? Two years plus? Going on three? Whereas, I think, for this, it's been, like, what, three and a half? Or going on 40 years? Like, oh, Jesus Christ, man. All right, um... Got to get the hell out of here. Come on, Leon. I got my shoddy and everything. I mean, once Mr. X arrives, I'm gonna have to figure things out. But even then, I'm not, I'm not worried. Um, just kind of looking around to see what I can get here let me know down in the comment section below like which resident evil game you guys want me to play more because you guys have seen it this year i've been playing resident evil zero for the halloween you know for the month of halloween i've been playing um just different variations of resident evil two three stuff like that so is there a door here or is that upstairs i think it's upstairs right yeah oh wait, what's this oh yes always need that thank you very much yeah, so I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to turn off the uh, the steam. But before I do that, I know I can just use this. I know I can move these around. Like, I know that. Like, I know that for a fact. Let me just check something real quick. Like, some of y'all may not know. Like, I'm a huge... Oh, damn it. I'm a huge Resident Evil fan. Like, I, I love this franchise. Even though, like, continuity-wise, story-wise... You know, direction-wise, sometimes it may not be the best. You know, like, because, I mean, people will argue to say, well, it fell off after five, it fell off after six, seven brought it back, but then it fell off after this and that. You know, it, it's all subjective, but make no mistake about it, like, this franchise is, like, so awesome. All right, um, let me see if I can move this rock. Oh, oh, that's right. Ah, oh, God, all right, damn it. See, if I had my man's Gohan, right, Gohan would have just floated on up, he just felt like levitated up, or at least like patched things up on his own, oh, this is BS, come on Leon, 
I need to do like some Dragon Ball mods for this. I, I think I did that for uh for RE3. You guys may not remember it. I think I'll feature maybe I I think I'll post it in the after this just so you guys can watch. You know what? That's exactly what I'm gonna do after this. I'm I'm gonna show y'all what I did for uh, RE3. Yeah, that's exact. So what what I'm about to show you guys after this video is going to be like a funny montage clip of what I did during the events of modding RE3. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Cause some of y'all may not even remember it, but when I played RE3's mods, that it was funny as hell. Cause I had, I think I had Nemesis like coded as like Frieza or I forgot who I had him as, but it was, it was great. I played as Goku. So, oh, we might go back to doing that actually. This place is so dark, dude. I can't wait for the future of this. I really can. Even some of the, the fan mods are so good. Like some of y'all may not even realize like the fan mods are really dope. Like the fan games, they're insane. All right, ladies, stay down. Just wanted to make sure. That she wasn't gonna just get up. All right, time to turn off the steam. Is that it? Yep, are we gonna do it? Yes, we are. All right, perfect. So I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna continue this next year, but before I do, first thing I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't wanna step through there yet. I'm gonna go on ahead and save. And as I do, I wanna present y'all with what I did not too long ago with Resident Evil 3 when I went along ahead and combined the Dragon Ball mods along with it, so check it out. Now I know what you might be thinking, and yes, you're not on drugs. We are going to be doing something a tad bit different here today. I mean, with a face like this, how could you not? So with that being said, subscribe, leave a like, and let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so can someone please tell me what the hell happened to Raccoon City, and why in the world did Nemesis set that building on fire? I swear to God, they couldn't make opening locks any slower in this game than it is in real life. I think this is a good example for those guys that don't know how to take no for an answer. Okay, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I'm not the only person that thinks that Nemesis reminds them of Zamasu. I mean, think about it. He's bitter, he has a twisted mindset, and he has a small penis. Oh, holy crap! Okay, so I think I take back the penis joke. Yeah, nope, I think the penis joke really got to him. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at him! Son Goku! Yo, Nemesis is quick. Where the hell were you the entire time, Goku? Yo, this guy's booking it. He's gonna leave me. You know, not all of us have Super Saiyan Blue, you know. We all just can't run faster than the speed of light while being chased by a biologically designed organism who's out to kill you, you know. But then again, what do I know, right? Booyah! There we go. Goku finally was useful. You better get me the hell out of here. You better use that instant transmission stuff and put those two fingers to work. Hey, wait a minute. Can you ever imagine Goku with an assault rifle trying to put in work? What are you doing? I mean, can't he just... There we go. Oh, Jesus. How is he down? And why does he need my help? I have a skirt on. Ah, uh, wait a minute. You're not slick, Goku. Checking out them titties. You know, for a sentient being that has powers beyond that of a human, you could have just gotten rid of him by blasting him, you know? These two actually remind me of the Z Fighters because this entire time while I was out there risking my life to fight against an enemy who is seemingly stronger than me, putting my life on the line in becoming the ultimate simp in risking my life for a piece of ass, all these clowns managed to do while I was away was beat each other's meat in the subway station while making TikTok videos. Great job, you guys. Great job. It's all right, you go on ahead. What a simp. I'm not gonna die on you, leave you in a cold, cruel, carlosless world. Oh, what a simp. Okay. I'm telling Chi Chi. Yo, no lie, this entire game feels like the actual Future Trunks arc. See? And this guy reminds me of Zamasu, hands down. Look at her face, she's like, yo, I would rip your penis out if you talk to me like that again. But I mean, what do I know, right? My pussy just hurts from fighting Nemesis for about three hours, but hey, do you see that look on her face right there? That's the face of a snitch, and Goku knows it. I mean, look at his face, that's how you know you done messed up pretty bad. You ain't gonna tell my wife that I have a Tinder account, right? So there I was, back to back with Jesus, Bible in my right hand, machine gun on the left. You know, this is a really, really bad idea because we're just two jabronis with machine guns in the midst of a giant zombie apocalypse happening within the inner city with absolutely no lube or condoms on deck. Well, would you look at that? We're at the graveyard, the site where Vegeta's pride was buried. Yo, Goku looks like he's the type of person that would pull up at his op's house and beat the shit out of them with a broomstick. You smell that? Oh, I smell trouble. 
Man, I swear to God, T reminds me of Krillin. Because realistically speaking, what's he going to do? Oh, here we go. We're about to witness a massacre. See, this is Gohan when uh, when he was fighting Super Buu. And that's Super Buu, and this is Gohan. You should have finished it when you had the chance, Gohan, you son of a bitch! And of course, he just pushes him away and he runs away. Of course, that's what you're going to do. Of course, you're not going to shoot the zombie. While here we have Goku and Vegeta showing up to finish the fight. Which essentially, that's what happened, because we're essentially reenacting Dragon Ball Z with Super Buu getting up right now and Goku's trying to put in work by himself. Let's finish the job, shall we? Okay, okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. Any day now, princess. Alright, time to finally get down to the bottom of this. What the hell is that? I hear people screaming. Good lord, good Jesus, sweet mother of God, what the hell was that? What was that thing? Nope! Nope, I did not sign up for this. Nope. No, 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 no. Strongest in the universe, my ass. I signed up to fight. I signed up to knuckle up with people. I didn't sign up to fight murderous monsters. Let me out. Let me out, goddammit. Well, it looks like I found my ex. Oh, look, it's Vegeta during the Tournament of Power after he saw Goku achieve Ultra Instinct. You know, people often talk about how cool it would be to be a part of a zombie apocalypse. In real life, half of y'all wouldn't even be able to survive. So, you've chosen death, huh? What you fail to realize is that I have plot on my side. Yeah, you stupid... Whoa. All right, let me just make sure this zombie stays down by blowing his meat off. That's right. Yeah, oh, oh you, you thought you had a chance? No chance today. Mission completed. Yo! Oh, you want, you want some smoke too, huh? Yeah! Yeah, I got plot on my side. Look at this fat cheeseburger. Where did you come from? A fat man's weakness is their weight. <laughs> What's the matter? You can't stand up? Is your own gravity holding it down? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot you in the butthole. Yeah, that way you know who's daddy. Your soul belongs to God, but your ass belongs to me. Yep, still waiting for the new Dragon Ball Super anime. Any day now. This is literally going to be me after this video is made public, just to read the comments and seeing what you guys had to say. Like the video or I'm gonna shoot you. Well, I wonder what's behind door number one. Let's find out, shall we? Oh Christ, it's a bunch of Boruto fans! Stay back! Your enemy ain't shit! Ka 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 ka! Time to end this! Goon goon! Ah shit, he got my leg! I feel as if I'm a Twitch thought and I'm shooting at a bunch of simps. This is me giving out free nudes after you subscribe to my OnlyFans account. Anyone else? Free nudes for you? Anyone else? Ah uh, yes. Dick pic for you? Anyone else? So, you've chosen death, my Hero Academia fan. You wanna know what my quirk is? Plot. If this isn't what a YouTuber's journey feels like in endlessly having to climb up a bunch of stairs, then I don't know what is. Alright, so I need to go and find the be- Oh man, God is really testing my patience, isn't he? I'm just gonna take that for, uh, <coughs> research purposes. I wonder what's in here. Aw oh, man, damn you God, you're really testing my patience. I'll take that. Okay, so now that I have the key, I can- Oh my God, it's Frieza! Get off me, Frieza! You're not relevant anymore! Stay down, Dragon Ball GT! You're no longer relevant! Exhibit A, ladies and gentlemen, a Naruto fan who still believes that Naruto can defeat Goku and stating, Oh, well, Naruto can use a chakra, and then Naruto can defeat Goku, and then Naruto can defeat Goku, and then Naruto can They will try and use it all. They will try and use anything. And coming up with almost any excuse they can. The Nine Tails, and the Hokage, and the I wonder what's inside that safe. For all I know, it's probably my dignity. I mean, but you gotta love Chi Chi, though. She still provides for Goku, so. Oh, don't oh mind, Vegeta's back. Well, well, looking for redemption, are we? Not today, Vegeta. Not today. Exhibit B, ladies and gentlemen, a Saitama Tard in their natural environment. Thinking, mind you, that Saitama could beat Goku. Nope, not today. For that, we revoke your pee-pee. Your fate is sealed. I have spoken! I need to find my way back. Oh my god, it's my ex! I thought I was through with you! I guess my meat still holds merit, doesn't it? Otherwise, you wouldn't be crawling back. And you know the old saying, we give sympathy to no thoughts. Not gonna lie, this is going to be Twitter once Toei announces the return of Dragon Ball. And the crowd goes wild! Not gonna lie, this is a good representation of me trying to reply to every single person in the comment section below. So now I know what it feels like to be in the midst of a Superman vs. Goku debate. Oh my god, he's gonna give me a hickey! Get off me! I have made it far in life, and now I have all of my exes trying to leech onto me because they know that ya boy got some clout and they're trying to reach for anything they can to make themselves relevant in this situation. If this doesn't feel like family trying to cling onto you, and using you for all your resources when you make it in life, then I don't know what is. I mean, we're talking about aunts, uncles, 
cousins, sisters, brothers, your grandma, your grandpa, your other grandma, your other grandpa, your ex, your first ex, your second ex, your fifth ex, your ninth ex, it's like they just keep coming. Well, I mean, that wasn't so bad, I would say. All right, so now I have to try to find, oh God, it's Frieza again. I mean, I swear to God, that's what it feels like because he just keeps on coming no matter what, trying to do everything he could to take your boy down. But luckily, your boy has the one thing Frieza does not, and that's the power beyond that of the gods. Super Saiyan plot, where the hell- Oh wow, he just clinged onto the ceiling. Down you go, and down goes Frasier! Yeah. Man, I'm telling you, the amount of period juice on my face is indescribable. My boy looks like he just got done doing 12 rounds with his girlfriend after finding out that her parents had left the house. I mean, literally, I feel as if I just was a part of Vietnam. Oh wait, what's this? My computer is telling me my OnlyFans account just reached 1 million subscribers! Oh wait, Grandpa's an OnlyFans supporter? This ought to be good. Uh-oh. Yeah, sounds like my love life. No, don't save him! How about no? Ah. Sounds like you just got done witnessing your ex give birth to your child, huh? You shouldn't have hired that hooker off Craigslist, buddy! Oh, you gotta talk to me that way? Sounds like a you problem. Zamasu wasn't wrong. Ah, the vaccine. Alright, Bill Gates will be there. Well, my dick will be in my hand, goddammit! Now, you know what? I'm just gonna sit there with my dick in my hand. I like him already. Fuck you, Vegeta. I mean, where the hell did you come from? Listen, we have a mission. I have to simp out, okay? You heard what he said. Yeah, you heard what he said. We can't turn him over to the company. I mean, we can. That's not our call to make. Who says who? That's Mihail's call. Who the hell's Mihail? I'm gonna check the computer to see if I can Of course. The of course. While, while, while you do that, Mr. Fucking Technology, I'm gonna go simp my way out of here. Oh, what's this? I have a message on my Tinder account. Alright, what do you want? What time? Uh-oh. You're pregnant. Is anyone hurt? No! No! Shit. Damn it, she's pregnant. Wait, what? Ah, damn it, there's twins! Joe! Joe, what happened? Aw, oh, damn it. This is the exact reaction when she tells you that she's pregnant. Well, gotta do what all deadbeat dads do. Go to the store and never come back. I mean, how could we end off 2022 without featuring Dragon Ball Fighters? And right now, I know you guys may remember this. There he goes right there. Super Saiyan 5 Gogeta. I'm actually very happy that we're getting some Super Saiyan 5 love as on the other side, we have Majin Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. We have Master to Ultra Instant Goku Black. And of course, their team leader that consists of Master to Ultra Instant Goku, Super Saiyan 5 versus MUI. Of course, I'm on the side of MUI, but I guess in this case right now, bam, oh, okay, that didn't do much. Listen, I really do hope that going forward, we get more modded content for this game because this game, even though I primarily suck at playing it competitively, it's fun as shit. So let me let me go on ahead and take care of uh, Goku Black by using the strongest warrior of Universe 11 by slapping this guy around. Actually, he's the one slapping me around. So again, let me know in the comment section below in terms of Dragon Ball video games, what kind of content you guys want to see on the channel going into 2023, whether that be, I guess, more mod showcases, survival challenges, stuff like that, right? So let me go on ahead. Is he really going to take care of Jiren? I mean, listen, MUI Black versus... All right, first of all, we had a switch. I, I did not... I completely for a second forgot that we chose Bardock. And what a year it was for Bardock, right? Did you guys remember the Dragon Ball Super manga and seeing the way Bardock had, you know, just done away with gas and stuff like that? So it was, it was pretty refreshing to see more of Bardock from last year and now this year. Father versus Son, I'm sorry. MUI Goku claps, even if this is blue oh shit oh that's right he has super saiyan blue three. Oh yeah my son is finished but then again i'm still rooting for goku on this one and i mean just not in a sense of you know him and his team beating me but in a sense of just like mui goku versus blue bardock i'm sorry that's just not the case but super saiyan 5 versus master to ultra instinct in this case here i kicked goku into an asteroid so he ain't coming back but now we have Majin Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So going back, Super Saiyan 5 versus MUI, who do you honestly think wins and why? You'll be surprised as to how many people would say, well, if you do the math and you kind of upgrade Super Saiyan 4 past the events of GT going into a hypothetical narrative after GT, then Super Saiyan 5 would win, yada, yada, yada. I'm still standing for MUI being the be-all, end-all, but right now, I think the be-all, end-all is going to be me finishing this dude off, and I'm not, I'm not too sure how I want to, but let me see if I can unleash 
my ultimate because I always seem to have trouble with that, so I don't want that to be the case right now. I need to, I want to finish him off, god damn it, I want to finish him off with Super Saiyan 5 Gogeta, so I'm really, I am really, really not trying to go down, but I mean, I guess, oh, oh, that was, oh my, I did not expect for that to be the case. He, I just, I just like backfisted him, dude. That was fun for what it's worth, but you know what? We got more coming your way because I'm not gonna front, that kind of got me fired up, so I want all the smoke. Now check this out, hear me out on this one, there's something about Omni Zamasu that I really, really gravitate towards. I'm not really sure why, maybe it's the conceptual idea of believing that the essence of Murd Zamasu could still be alive, considering the fact that, you know, he was just made to be immortal, so what if he had obtained the Omni King's powers and merged that onto himself and then kind of you know, just gave himself another life and whatnot, you know what I mean? So, I want to go in ahead and test out Omni Murdzamasu against Jiren, MUI Vegito, and of course, our modded version of full-powered Super Saiyan Broly. And this game, like I said before, it's really unfortunate how we can't really create, like, our own moves and whatnot. It's just, like, a bunch of reskins, but the people that make this, man, shoutouts goes out to all of them because they really bust their ass to go as far as to give us, like, all of this crazy shit. I can't believe Jiren just went down the way he did. Are you kidding me? And now we have Brody. Listen, the interesting thing about this is, yeah, I mean, they could destroy Murd Zamasu's body, but what about, like, the living essence that is of the universe, like Astral Zamasu and stuff? And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and switch out. So, another character, right? Mastered Ultra Instant Goku Black. I really wish that we saw more incarnations in this game featuring different hypotheticals such as, you know, maybe uh, my, my memory may not be serving me good, but Ultra Ego Goku Black, stuff like that, you know, like, I believe I saw somewhere a Super Saiyan Rose Evolution mod, which that was pretty crazy, so I don't think Broly is going to survive this, and I've said this openly so many times before, one of my favorite characters in this game to use is none other than the legendary assassin of Universe 6 himself, there he goes, uh, look at that, one punch to the freaking abdominal, right, that's it, one punch to the stomach, and now we're fighting Mastered Ultra Instinct Vegito, it's not happening, I mean, in this case, there's nothing that Hit would ever do to basically avoid the inevitable, but I want to see maybe if we can time skip him, I think that'd be pretty cool for our little second fight here, but in the comment section below, also, for 2023 in terms of adding oh jesus christ more hit stories on the channel let me know because i do have quite a few lined up that i want to probably do so let me know if you guys want to see something like that can i connect oh my god we just time skipped mastered ultra instinct vegeto i can't believe it we're closing off the year with a magnificent ko by knocking this dude out I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied, and I want to go in ahead and get another fight going because this is just too much fun to put down. I'm, I'm not going to front on that. You know what I mean? Now, this one is going to be really, really fun. Why? Because look at our boy, Super Saiyan 3 Gohan. He finally had done it, and now he's going to be battling the likes of our boy right over here. The modded variation of Dragon Ball Super Broly. We have Kefla on the squad. We have Kid Buu on the squad versus, of course, the team of Dragon Ball Super Broly. We have Baby Vegeta, and we have a concept of Dark Super Saiyan God Gotenks. So let me go on ahead and just see if I can clear the path by taking out Broly. Now, again, I think that for a lot of these mods, they're absolutely insane. Once again, I wish that we had, you know, moveset changes and, oh, here comes Baby. You know what? I got someone for him. Can you imagine this interaction? We have Baby Vegeta and Kefla, two of the biggest trash talkers, I would argue to say, in Dragon Ball. And, I mean, Kefla would whoop on him, don't get me wrong, but it would be interesting to see if Baby could, you know, possibly infect her and stuff. So, I have to kind of, like, keep myself composed. He's using the final flash, man. I doubt I'm going to go down but I really want to see if I can land my ultimate because I swear to God, man, it, it's always so hard for me to perform that, you know what I mean? And I want to try with Kid Buu because I haven't used, I don't really use Kid Buu that much. I use, like I said, I use Hit a lot and down goes Baby Vegeta. Who's next? Is it Broly? Can you imagine this little interaction? I think that if Kid Buu gets desperate enough, he would try to absorb him. Oh, there's, there's Dark God Gotenks right there. That sucks, yo. I mean, that, that, that right there was my ultimate, and I just 
fucked it all up, dude. This is not good. And I mean, just playing with people online, I've done that before, and y'all are nasty. Either I suck at this game, or y'all are just, like, too nasty, you know what I mean? So Broly, I, I gotta make sure I swap out because I do not want Broly, and I'm trying to keep him alive, as you can see. I'm trying to perform my ultimate, and it's not working out for me, dude. Like, oh my god, man. Come on, come on, Kid Boo. I want to I want to use my planetary destroyer attack so bad. And now we got Go Tanks. We have Go Tanks wielding the power of a god and uh I if, if I'm not Oh yeah, I have to swap out. Oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm going to have to swap out. Um well, I I guess I was going to swap out with Gohan, but he got hit before he can even do anything. So, let's see if Gohan can actually do something. I want to use my I guess family Kamehameha against him. So let's see if we can actually pull that off. So again, let me know what kind of mods or at least the modded skins that you guys want to see in, in 2023 because I, I really do hope that they continue this because, I mean, the possibilities are endless in my opinion, but then again, I guess we've hit the glass ceiling for Fighters Wii skins because I don't know who else they can do, like, you know what I mean? Maybe Whis and the other angels, but let's see, come on, Gohan, I need to use my ultimate, there we go, my god, bro. Alright, me and Goten, that, there goes Broly, even though it, it didn't really seem like it, there goes the entire landscape, and now, all that's left is one. We have Dark, I guess Dark God Gotenks, or whatever the hell he's classified as, I mean, he doesn't look like a good guy, so I'm not too sure, I, I mean, I'm really hoping to kind of finish this off with Gohan, and if we can do that, that'd be great, but look at that, unfortunately, he took me out. Alright, my hands are getting a little sweaty on this controller, dude. I'm not trying to go down. I have that feeling that I might I, I might drop to one character, and it might be Kefla, so I need to finish him off before he finishes off me, you know? So I, I want to try one more game after this, even especially if it's a loss, you know what I mean? If it's a loss, it is what it is. Oh, we did it. Oh, dude, I love this attack. Boom! There goes the entire planet, man. Kid Boo with the victory, man. This is so, this game is so fun. If it doesn't get you fired up, then I don't know what else to tell you. But we're going to be entering our final game right now. So let's go on ahead and see the team that we're going to be fighting coming up next. Man, I said to myself, I have to do it again. I have to choose Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku Black. I mean, first and foremost, just look at him, right? Can you imagine the potential that he would have, right, as a character if he had never just gone through with the plan and fusing with Future Zamasu, so instead he just kept growing? We saw that in Super Dragon Ball Heroes, and as cool as that was, make no mistake about it, I think that he would have been, he just would have been a threat. So now we have MUI Goku hit, and now we have, of course, MUI Vegito to close off this portion of Dragon Ball Fighters. Again, like I've said so many times before, I need you guys to let me know as to what kind of content in terms of the gaming portion of the Dragon Ball, you know, side of things, do you guys want to see? I'm down to do, like, you know, let's plays and battles and all ki kinds of different things, you know? So now here we got, I think this is Dark Star Janemba from the first Dragon Ball Heroes incarnation. I think it was, like, the first victory mission manga. So I, I think that we also have Black Armor Janemba and stuff, but for the life of me, I can't get certain, you know, skins in this game, so it is what it is. There's no way I think anyone on my team could smoke you know, MUI Vegito, logically speaking, of course. Maybe, I guess, the only other person that could try is MUI Black, but even then, watch this. Oh, yeah. You see this finger? Oh, yeah. You're gonna eat all of it. You're gonna eat all the glass. Uh, unless, of course, he just somehow bounces back and hits me with a, I guess, just ultra final Kamehameha, but there's no way. Our boy Janemba just slashed and dashed and cut a big hole in Vegito's ass, but now we have MUI Goku. Okay, so I mean, like I said before, I think that the concept of MUI, and this is a huge debate because people will still debate by saying that, you know, characters like Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta would just slap everybody from Super just because it, quote, takes place 10 years after Super, yada yada. I mean, that's a whole different debate. You guys have seen on the channel, we started the Hot Takes series, which a lot of you guys love, but, I mean, right now, I love Hit, but I want to see if Gogeta could actually just, uh, overpower him and just beat, oh yeah, it's done. Look at this, the 100 times Big Bang Kamehameha, he's alive. Oh, wait a minute. No, he, he actually switched. He switched during the last possible second, dude. Okay, that was a really smart tactic, and I want to see, I, I don't know, maybe I might end this with Mastered Ultra Instant Goku Black, unless 
This dude just ends up smoking me, which I don't want to be the case. Oh, he blocked. Oh, yeah, that's right. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. We're going to try to cap this off with Mastered Ultra Instinct Black. I mean, hits on the other side, so I don't know. If he ends up somehow, I guess, time skipping me, that'll be a, a complete disaster. But I don't think he will. So, with that being said, we got a few more games coming up. I really do. Oh, my God, dude. Really? I really do hope that you guys have enjoyed this because it's been fun. And the gaming roulette is always meant to be fun. We're always just playing tons of games. What is happening right now, dude? What is happening? This dude hit is, like, performing... Oh, no. Oh, God, yes. Okay. He's performing these, like, assassination attempts to, like, take me out, dude. And meanwhile, I'm trying to hit my, uh, my 100 times. There we go. Yeah, it's done. What a way to close off fighters, bro. Yes. Oh, we took everything. Oh, my. The landscape is just done. This was fun. Yo, fighters is still the shit. Even till this day. Even till this day. The game still holds up. Okay, so with that being said, let's go on ahead and jump into the next game to see what we got coming up next. Now, honestly, I couldn't think of a better way than to close off 2022. Gears 5, you guys already know the business, and we're back on some Horde. Here we go. I have no idea what the hell is about to happen. I think we're playing on, like, either Master Difficulty or something, so I have to really, have to really be cautious. You guys already know I hate some of these goddamn weapons. Like, the weapons are just absolute trash. Let me go ahead and just, uh... Where are we putting this fabricator? Are we putting this, uh... We're going in there? All right, I guess. Listen, so as long as I have competent players, you know... I, all right, let's just put it here. Um, grab some barriers. All right, I'm going ahead and upgrade this. We definitely need some upgrades. Oh, God. All right, so I'm going to go on ahead and put this over here in case you guys don't already know. We're going to be... Oh, they're all over here. Holy crap, guys. Oh, boy, this is not good. Hold on. I'm gonna have to be very careful. These dude, these dudes look like they already have like all of the legendary weapons and whatnot. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to be very careful here. But either way, like I found myself playing Gears of War Five like a lot this year, like just low key. Because I mean, I I'm definitely a horde guy. Like I'm I'm a horde guy only because horde mode is just it offers something different for me. Like you know what I mean? That's why for Gear Six I can't wait. Like what you know to see what they do. Because I'm just really hoping that they don't mess it up. Oh, God. What the hell is happening right now? Oh, they got granadas. They got empanadas. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm grabbing this Lancer. I'm grabbing this Lancer. Did we actually... Uh, I can actually pick this up. There we go. Who the hell put this here? Was this this guy? You guys are a bunch of turd burglars, bro. Who the hell would put that over there? All right. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll put this over here, right? Just in case we need to use that from, like, a distance. Um, do we not have any ammo? Are we not gonna, like, just take these dudes down or what? What's going on here? Alright, we got three more remaining. By the way, let me know in the comment section below as to what your favorite Gears of War game is. If it's, I don't know, perhaps maybe Gears 1. You know, Gears 2. Oh, shit. Ah, shit! Uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nah, 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 nah. There we go, take them both down. Take them both down, grabbing all these. Now, since we're on Horde Frenzy, I'm really curious how far we're gonna go. Like, I, I, I shit you the hell not, I have this really weird feeling that we may not go very far, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Alright, uh, are you even playing? Oh my god, what the hell is this person made of? Like, they're made of, like, titanium armor or, like, some shit. Alright, I'm grabbing this. Definitely going to, uh, secure our location. Oh, wait, no, let's not put this here, actually. I don't know what I did that for. I mean, not for nothing, though. Like, there's something about the first uh, the first three Gears of War games that I think will never be topped. That That's just an absolute fact. I don't think that those games will ever be topped because of, like, how good they actually were. Hold on. I'm trying to... I'm trying to hold my ground here, man. I'm trying to secure the... I'm trying to secure the location, man. I, I think it's all about securing the location, but these guys... I don't know what these guys are doing. But I mean, it's it's as I said before, I, I thank you guys so much for just a memorable year. I mean, we've all gone through some bullshit, you know, this year, but you know, for what it's worth, it's been a it's been a very memorable year. So I have to thank you guys so much for just everything you guys have done on the channel to support, for watching the gaming roulettes. Uh oh. Oh god. This is why you see that? You see that? This is why we put these things down here. Because we have to make sure that 
none of the baddies come through. But I mean, it's 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 horde frenzy, so it, it really. Oh, hold up! I gotta back up here for a second. Yo, you think you're tough? Oh, what the hell was that? Oh, oh, hold on, hold on! I gotta back up. I gotta back up. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. Yo, I was I was like mid battle. All of a sudden. This one douchebag decides to just slap me around. Nah, not today. Come on, that's right. All right, are we tagging and bagging? What's going on here? You can only imagine what Gears of War 6 is going to be like. Like, you know what I mean? That's why, like, I feel like, you know, hopefully for its horde mode, they definitely kind of step it up, you know? But I guess we'll see. All right, so this is intermediate. I'm just checking right now. I could have swore this was, like, on a higher difficulty, but I guess not, right? So let's just prepare our defenses. And, and and you guys have seen me. Like, we've played the campaign. We've done a whole bunch of stuff, you know, this year with Gears, with Halo. And you guys have really just supported everything. And I greatly appreciate that. Like, I, I really, really do. But in terms of us completing this, I'm not, I mean, I think we will. Because, again, we're on intermediate. So, all right. I, I promise I won't touch anything anymore, okay? I, I promise I won't. All right, where are the enemies at? Where are the enemies at? Unless these dudes are going to boot me out because, like, I'm accidentally... I'm accidentally, like, spending Yash, like, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm just doing this for, like, reassurance purposes, you feel me? I'm just trying to make sure that, like, we're locked and loaded and ready. But also, like, I want to know your expectations for 2023's gaming scene. Because I don't know if you guys have, like, noticed this, but, like... A lot of the games that come out, they're just, for whatever reason, they're just such trash. Like, you guys can't sit there and tell me that you haven't noticed that, you know what I mean? Games are, like, so half-assed and stuff like that, like, you know what I mean? Does anyone know why? Oh, there we go. Does anyone know why? Like, I, I think it's pretty sad. I think it's pretty sad to, uh, to, to be developing all these games and stuff, and they just end up being such half-assed pieces of work. I mean, I'll never understand why, to be honest. But I, I, I did notice that. That's right. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's running. He's running. He's running. Oh, you little slut. Come here. Nah, you about to get these hands, bro. You about to get this chainsaw. Where you going? He's actually running. Yeet. Nah, not today, home biscuit. Nah. Oh, that was wonderful. All right. Take him down. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Grab this. All right. So I'm not going to go and hit the box anymore because I feel like... These dudes are probably pissed. They're probably asking themselves, like, why is this unreal guy just... Why does he keep hitting the box? We're supposed to be preserving our money. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, that's, that's just what I'm assuming, because... Right? Like, where the hell is everybody? Okay, so the person that was in here is no longer here. So that that's cool. Um, I guess what I'll do is... Uh, I I thought I was going to keep my promise, but the hell with that shit, right? So I'm going to get this, uh, this turret, right? And I'm going to go on ahead and put this bad boy right over y'all because this turret is really gonna do us justice so right there you guys have seen me do this time and time again so round number five i i honestly just completely forgot that we had a boss round oh it's the flock see the flock is trash i'm sorry the flock is kind of trash for anyone out there who's like nah the flock is pretty beastly nah i i, I just honestly think no matter what difficulty you're on like the flock is just ass that's why, like, I think the, the Matriarch is, like, the, the most terrifying one. Like, y'all can't front. Y'all can't front on that. The Matriarch is, like, the most terrifying one. The Matriarch will fuck you up. And, and, and that thing, like, really comes after you. You feel me? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Did we take it out? Wonderful. Wonderful. We took everybody out. That's right. I mean, mind you, we're on intermediate, so I, I don't know who decided to put this on intermediate, because normally we're playing on, like, the craziest difficulty, so... But also, what I, what I genuinely want to know is... What are some of your favorite gaming roulette videos that you guys have seen from me? I am so curious, because I know some of you guys might have, like, different opinions and stuff. Some of y'all might say, oh, it's this one, it's that one. I genuinely want to know. I genuinely want to know, like, which ones are your favorites, because... I want to go back and kind of watch them and see what you guys saw. Like, you know what I mean? If that makes sense. I need ammo. I need ammo. All right, so we're entering wave five, which, again, doesn't seem like that big of a challenge because so far it's only been, what, 10 minutes since we've been doing this? And we've been slaughtering, so... All right, we got, we got more coming up. 
Alright, so their health gauge is increased, their damage increased, okay, so that just means my ass is gonna have to step it up, right? We're gonna have to buy more barriers, more barriers, barrier. Alright, these dudes are probably so pissed at me. They're probably like, like, what the hell's going on? Why is this guy purchasing so much? Alright, let's go on ahead and just do this. Alright, hold on, get out of my way, you guys. Bam, right there. Okay, now we have two. So that's two for two. So if they try to come in through the front, they're going to get stuck on the first one, and then they're going to get stuck on this one. While they're getting blasted by my beautiful, wonderful machine. Okay? Oh! Oh, wait, wait. I, I know that thing did not jump over my freaking, uh, my, my little, my little sting traps. Oh, God. Wait a minute. You want the smoke? Yeah, look at that. He's stuck. Look at that. See? Oh, now they're all gonna go down. Now they all go down. Come on, come on, come on. Take them down, take them down. All right, so good... Str Where are they coming from? I think they're coming from behind us. I'm about to chainsaw you, homie. Come on, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, you little shite. I'm not gonna lie, though. Like, the one Gears of War game that I was always so... Oh! Are you... Wow. Wow! I was about to say, yo, the one Gears of War game that I never really gravitated towards a lot was Gears 4. And the minute I was gonna say that, this dude just comes up from behind and just gnashes me, man. Are you kidding me? Hold on, where am I at? Come on, guys, pick me up. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas and ladies. Somebody pick me up, man. Wherever this person is, Ghost Sniper. They're probably just invincible, you know what I mean? They got, like, the crazy armor. They got, like, the crazy loadout and stuff. The guns. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all need to pick me up, man. Y'all need to dead... Oh, I'm alive. I just don't have my shit. I need my stuff, man. I'm not using this gun. I hate this gun so much. I hope that for Gear 6, they allow you to, like, pick whatever you want. Like, you know what I mean? Because this is, this is, like, BS. I finally got my Lancer back. Like, I want to be able to, you know, equip whatever I want without any, you know, without any backlash or whatever the hell. All right, advanced wave. I, I advanced. Okay, let's see. We need two more to start. All right, uh, what am I going to grab here? I'm going to grab another body. -a. Body. -a. Now, again, some of y'all might be wondering, like, yo, what's with all the barriers and stuff? I have to. I just have to. Oh boy. Alright, let's just go on ahead. Let's just go on ahead and put this here. For quality, for qual Oh Jesus! Okay, oh they are they're lambent, right? Are they lambent? Yo, pick me up. Let's rock and roll! Pick me up, pick me up. Thank you very much. They must be oh god. Yeah, I was gonna say they must be coming from somewhere. Yo, I will chainsaw your ass. That's right, come on. Bam, he's finished. Get out of my face. Alright, so. Yeah, so, some of these dudes have to be Lambit, you know what I mean? Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll take him out. Oh, you want the smoke? You want the smoke? Hold on, hold on. Oh, you want the smoke too? Oh, yeah. Who else wants the smoke? You want the smoke too? Everybody will get the chainsaw. You want some smoke too? I'll, yo, I'll give it to you too. Yee! Holy Jesus Christ, guys. Oh, I can't, I can't do it. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yee! That's right. Executed five enemies, homie. That's it. Damn. God damn. We're over here just ripping it. I only got seven bullets left, man. All right, I need some. Oh, they're shooting at me. I need some ammo. Uh, do y'all are y'all gonna spare some ammo or what? Well, there we go. No, no, no. That's mine. Thank you very much. I am not sharing ammo. The hell with that. Okay, so our little fortification zone is pretty good here. So I guess we're good, right? Shout out to my boy Emish. He would never play this game, which sucks. All right, Lancer ammo, yes. We have we have a Torque Bow, no. Torque Bow. Torque Bows are pretty solid, but I mean, there have been gaming roulette videos where I was just like, I was using that Torque Bow and I was just like, just nailing everybody. You know what I mean? But then I've used the Torque Bow in in, in certain instances and cases, and I just I, I messed everything up. You know. Oh yeah, more ammo for daddy. Alright, wave 7. So that means... We gotta start, like, packing it up. Because I think we, we're we gonna have a boss round at, like, wave 8, right? Yo, listen, you jabronis need to, like, step it up. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, listen, y'all jabronis desperately need to step it up. Century upgrade. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for real, because I don't want to. I don't want to be in a position where these dudes are all like, ah, you know. Uh, I'll put this here, I guess. I wanted to put it closer, but whatever. All right, where are they going to be coming from? Are they going to come from over there? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. The secondary spawn zone. That's right. All right, Lambit. Who wants some anymore? Oh, there's another guy over there. Uh-oh. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go over there and chainsaw him. Whoa, oh, God. He has, he has a magnum? Does he have a magnum? It looks like he does. Uh-oh. Oh, he does. He does. I, yeah, I got him. I got him through the wall. That's right. Good job. Good job. Damn, these dudes. I mean, I'm really curious to see what they're going to do for Gear 6. You know, like, you know what I mean? Oh! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I want to see, like, some heavy-hitting shit. Like, I, I've seen people talk about this before. I've seen people discuss openly what they want for Gears of War 6, you know? Come on, come on. Get him, get him. There's a bunch of Lambit up there, too. Come on, take him down. Oh, what the hell's happening? Are they behind us? Oh, I think they're behind us. Hold on. Wait a minute. Is, is there anybody here? I have no idea what's happening. All right, so we, we got somebody here. We're about to enter a boss wave, yo. Come on. Listen, it's the final Gears of War horde game of 2022. Like, why the hell not? You feel me? We have to go all in. That's why I'm ready for the Matriarch. I'm ready for, you know, just whatever they're going to throw at me. I'm ready for all of them. You feel me? Actually, I'm not. Like, if it's the Matriarch, I don't know. We all need to be, like, collectively on the same page to take that big bastard down. Because if not, we're just going to get destroyed. So what I'm going to do... Oh, who the hell put this here? Are you serious? Why would anybody want to put that there? That's just so weird. That's, that's like, so freaking weird. Hold on. Hold on. Let me go on ahead and grab this. I don't know who the hell would put this here, to be honest with you. But what I will do is I'm gonna secure this again just like that barrier upgraded and I'm gonna put this barrier in front of that barrier so do you see that it's like a triple wall of like carnage so there's no way any of them could actually get past this so is this a boss wave I have to pay attention hold on hold on hold on oh it's the snatcher okay okay so I'm not that concerned, but we do have to kind of be concerned. Oh, God. We have a bunch of uh, Theron guards over on the... Jesus, what the hell was that? Are you... Oh, are you kidding me, bro? Yo, he's he got me in his boo goo, son. Yo, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, he's destroying my shit. Yo, get me out of here. You son of a... Man, shoot it in his titties. Oh, hell nah, bro. I know you ain't trying to... I know you ain't trying... Nope, nah, you're finished, bro. He is... That thing is finished. That's right, come on. Finished, I say. Finished, I say. That's right, by the hands of God himself. Man, I'm covered in, like, gigantic spider jizz, and there's another freaking snatcher right there. Come on, shoot its, shoot its ball sack. Come on. Guys and girls, shoot its ball sack. Shoot its gigantic, hanging, fruit basket of a ball sack. Come on. Oh, he's the last one remaining, too. Oh, he's dead. Oh, you is fucked. That's right, that's right, yeah. Oh, God, wait a minute. Ah, I almost had him, too. Get away from me. Oh, get away. Thank God. Thank God. I was about to say. Is he gonna, is he gonna, is, he, <laughs> is this, is this thing gonna, like, just drip down ball sweat, you know, on my, on my, on my head? All right, new trap. All right, so we have new traps. Um, so as long as we have, like, let me see here. I, I guess I'll buy this. What I like about this team, though, I'm not gonna lie, is uh, these dudes are actually putting in money. Like, they're actually putting in money within the, uh, within the, within the uh, fabricator. So that's, that's really, really good. And so as long as they do that, I think we'll be alright. You feel me? Um, actually, I'm gonna put this right here, because that's like a double whammy. You feel me? That's like a super double whammy. Hold on, let me just turn this a little bit. Yeah. Because they're going to have to, like, walk through all of that. Plus, they're going to get jammed on the other side because of it. So, let me see. Oh, what is happening? Yo, come on, guys. Come on, we got a few more rounds to go. And then we'll be able to do our thing and just fight our way through. It, it, what, is that what I think it is? Yeah. Oh, damn it. Come on, get it. Get it. Get the sire. 
Get the sun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, 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 crap. We have a pouncer. Oh, that's that's not good. Damn it. Okay, so it's a two-shot hit. Help! Emish! Oh! Oh, man, I'm bleeding out of my asshole. Help me. Thank you. Uh, where is it? Take him out. Take him out. Yeah, there we go. Is he gone? He's gone. All right, three more remaining. Perfect. This is good. This, this is what I call teamwork. We're actually getting it done. And, like, there's absolutely nothing here that's going to stop us. So let me go on ahead and just activate this. Because, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the mechanic, right? I'm always going to have to fix everything in sight, right? I have, like, no other job. Like, no other means of doing anything else but, like, repairing shit. And you guys have seen that all throughout my Gears of War adventures. You guys have seen me play JD. You guys have seen me just fix shit all the damn time. And it's because I, I like I like being the guy that's like like fortifying everything. Like you know what I mean? If that makes sense. All right. Am, are you gonna are you gonna be mad at me if I take another freaking barrier? They're probably they're probably so pissed at me. They're probably like, oh my god, what's this unreal guy doing? He keeps stuffing everything. All right, I have an idea. Uh, let me put this actually over here. So again, it's like it, it's like a freaking quadruple whammy. Cause they're gonna have to go through three, no, actually no, four layers. They're gonna have to go through four layers of, you know, barriers and stuff just for them to actually get by. Look at that, look at that, look at that. I slowed them down big time. You see that? You see that? You, do, you, do you now see why my strategy works perfectly? Is because not only do I slow them down, but they have no means of actually getting to me. Look at that. Look at that. They're all stuck. They're all stuck. Yeah. Yeah, you about to get got. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. What a massacre. What a freaking massacre, dude. Oh, boy. All right. Um, What's happening right now? Who got the fire? Like, oh, shit. There's a Theron guard with a flamethrower, bro. Take him down. Take him down, he's almost down. Where is he? Where'd he go? Take him down, take him down, he's almost dead. Oh, there we go. I, I, I had to take him down. And this dude sniped him perfectly. Alright, take him down, take him down. This guy, this guy's dead. Now listen, my man, I don't know where you think you're going, but you ain't going far. Nah. It's New Year's, homie. You, oh, you about to get kicked in the ass, yeet. Oh, what was that? What was that? I, I just heard that. What was that? What's down there? What's down there? What the hell is that thing burning? What the hell is that? Oh my god. Oh my god. What was that thing, dude? Oh, you took the, all the ammo, you son of a bitch. That looked like a giant, like, matriarch. Like, you feel me? But it really wasn't. Alright. Oh, whoa. Whoa, whoa. What the hell's happening here? Hold on, hold on. I got you, I got you. Aw. Oh. I had to reload. Okay, so we actually got two more, two more waves left. So that's... I mean, we did really, really good, dude. We did a lot better than I expected for us to do. I swear to God we did. All right. So, boom. We're going to do that. I'm going to go in ahead and skip the round. Can we just skip the round, please? Can we skip the round? All right. Can we do that? Advance wave. I already skipped. All right. What are you putting in here? Let me let me grab more more bodies. Badia. All right. Uh, perfect. Fortification is locked. Everything is locked, loaded, and ready. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put this over here, too. Because you guys have just oh, yeah. seen what happens when I start stuffing these, right? There's no way they're getting through. I'm telling you all right now, there's no way they're getting through here. Like, no way. Oh, what the hell? You see? Uh-oh, wait, 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 wait. What's happening here? Hold on. Flame throw a body up! Get him, get him. Come on. That's right. You see? Look at that. There's no way. There's no way any of them are going to try to clear their way through here. Unless you have, like, a, a gigantic boss, that's about it. Like, I swear on my life, that's about it. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Get out of the way. Yeah, it's a shootout. We'll be having a shootout. Closing out 2022 with a shootout. Yo, if you guys are still watching up until this point, hashtag shootout. Oh, Jesus Christ, get up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, what is happening right now? Damn, yo, yo why are y'all out there, bro? No, why are y'all out there? Don't go out there. I'm telling y'all, do not. I gotta take these. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, that's, oh, that's a warden. Oh, shit, that's the warden. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, hell no. Wait a minute. Oh, that's not good. This is, this is not good. Okay, so 
Remember when I was a little too comfortable? Oh god, I have to pick him up. Come here, come here. Oh no, no, no. Jaga, get off my friend. That's my homie. Ah! Damn it, no, wait. Are we gonna die? Please, no. Oh god, go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Thank god. Thank god that I added these barriers and shit, bro. Take him down. That's right, yeah, you burn in hell, you piece of shit. Pick him up, pick him up. Oh, I thought we were gonna lose, yo. I seriously thought we were gonna lose. I swear on my life, I thought that was it. Yo, I literally thought that was it. I swear to you, I did. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to repair this. Oh, hell no, because we got... We got the final boss wave coming up. Nah, dude. Oh, I thought we were finished, yo. I dead the hell ass thought we were finished. Yo, you saw that warden, yo. He came in and he was just laying the smack down. All right, he's, he's done. Thank God I saved that dude because that freaking locust was about to like just have his way with him. I was like, nah, gotta defend the homies, man. 2022 capping it off by saving the homies. All right, so this is the final wave. The final Gears of War fight of 2022 how is it gonna go down i have no idea is it going to go down in catastrophe perhaps i'm grabbing this turrets oh wait who who paused it what's going on who who the hell would pause the game right now are you kidding me come on oh what the hell okay okay i was about to say what is the host doing because that really messed a lot of things i was about to say man is he really gonna quit before like the big final round like you feel me all right, I'm putting this one down here because we blasting everybody. Everybody is on the list. Here we go. Oh, wait, it's the carrier. Okay, the carrier's kind of fodder. Wait. Oh, the Swarmok. Oh, God. All right, boys. Come on. Come on. Get rid. All right, we need to get... Oh, crap. I don't even... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Swarmok. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Oh, Jesus. Holy. Oh, my God, bro. Come on. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Take him out. Keep shooting at him, boys. Oh, I, I, I got to get the hell out of here, bro. Yo, I, I didn't think they were going to send in a fucking dinosaur after us. Where's my gun? I'm, sh I'm shooting with, like, an invisible gun. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, my God, dude. This is really bad. Where, where are the homies? Where is everybody? Hold on, I'm just trying to... I'm just trying to... Oh, he's almost dead. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. He's finished. All right, take down the carrier. The dinosaur is gone. Take down the carrier. Oh, take down the big ass. Where's the carrier at? He's smashing his way through. Oh, God. I don't even... I, I'm not even wielding a gun. I'm just wielding nothing. Oh, come on. Take him out. 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 Take him out, boys. Take him out. If, if, I'm listen. If I have to, use, you know what? I'm using it. I'm using my close shoddy. Come on, come on. There we go. There we go. What happened? Perfect. Five more enemies remaining. Yeah, these dudes are done. These dudes are done. You guys are finished. Not against us. You're not. Oh, what the hell just happened? Why would you pause the game again, you dipshit? Oh my god, we're about to finish everything. What the hell? Come on, man. We're literally about to finish everything. Why in the world would this guy pause the game? Like, come on. I can't believe the host literally just paused the game. Look, like, are, you, are you kidding me? You saw that, right? Oh, that's such bullshit, dude. Come on, let me let me go through. Let me go through. Oh, god damn it, man. That's, hey, yo, that host. Whoever the host is, he what a dipshit. I'm using the try shot. Yeah. Try sh oh, what the- oh, come on. Oh, Jesus, tap dancing Christ. Really? All I needed was one more. Why is the host pausing the game? Why is the host pausing the game? This is like the worst host that I've ever seen in my entire life. That's right, Jesus, and I'm the MVP of all this. Oh my God. Man, that was good, but the host sucks. MVP, man. Closing out 2022 with a bang that was amazing that was amazing gg boys gg
Now let's be honest here for a minute, right? Who would have thought that we'd ever go back and play Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 to end off 2022 with? But with mods, we have a little bit of a challenge. It's going to be, I mean, as of course you guys can see right here, Super Saiyan 3 Broly and Super Saiyan Blue Goku. And the only other, I guess you could say, teammate on my side is Ultra Ego Vegeta. So I'm going to gradually step it up. I want to see if Goku and Vegeta could actually take on some of these villains by themselves. And it's going to be Super Saiyan 3 Broly. It's going to be Janet. So let's see how we handle this situation. So again, this year has been great, I would argue, for Dragon Ball Gaming. And as I'm playing this, I'm trying to kind of control the fight because I know that Super Saiyan 3 Broly, if used correctly, and I'm playing at the highest difficulty too, would be a beast, and he is a beast, and if you were to get a hold of me, then I think I'm finished, but in the comment section below, what I really want to know from you guys are some of the games that you guys want to see us play in 2023, it's done. Listen, if something like this were to happen, I mean, considering the fact that this is Dragon Ball Z's Broly, because if you guys remember, we had a lot more mods, and courtesy of King Dan 12, I was able to play a whole bunch of them, but I had to restart my game. These were the only ones that I was able to recover for the time being. So I can promise you guys this, in 2023, we're gonna have a lot more mods for Raging Blast 2. The only, the only thing is, you can't really mod specific things to the T like you can with Xenoverse 2 and stuff. I mean, it is what it is. How is Bully alive is beyond me. I mean, this should be it. I mean, theoretically speaking, right? All right, he's gone. So Super Saiyan 3 Broly's down. Who's next? Who wants to smoke? Okay, you can't tell me that this interaction wouldn't be neat. You know what I mean? And the reason why I say that is because Boo could just try to do what he did to Vegito and just simply absorb Goku. And with Goku being Goku, it is what it is. But I'm going to go on ahead and swap out here for Ultra Ego Vegeta. And I hate doing this because I always, I always tend to mess these up. But I'm actually doing relatively well right now. So, bam. Incoming Hakaishing Mode Vegeta. So let me know in the comment section below, like I just said, in terms of the games, because I was considering Legacy of Goku, I was considering Budokai 2, I was considering Budokai 3 story. I need you guys to let me know because whatever it is you guys want to see, I will go back and do it. And the only thing I guess I won't ever touch ever is Dragon Ball Sagas. That game is atrocious. So no. But look at this, bam. Oh my god. Listen. The animation for this game in terms of its like fighting mechanics is just beautiful. So I had to throw this game in here because we did the uh, Dragon Ball Marathon and we did several other things. How the hell do, wait a minute, how was he able to do that? That's, okay, let me use my big bang. Oh, he, did he really, yo, did you just see that? That's, that's crazy. This dude literally sidestepped away from my Big Bang attack, which I, I, I'll be honest, like, I don't think Boo would ever survive anything that Ultra Ego Vegeta could do to him, unless Vegeta is just as stupid, and he ends up getting absorbed and caught during the middle of that, but I don't really think that's the case. So, let me have Vegeta slap him around, and also, let me know down below for King Dan to see what kind of mods do you want him to create in 2023? It could be anybody. Now, it's not easy, but I would argue to say, like, Moro and Gas and, you know, f fuck it, even Gamma 1, Gamma, like, you know, stuff like that. I mean, anything is possible, but because I think it is possible, but it's just difficult to do when it's just, like, one person, you know what I mean? So, all the credit goes out to him for making these mods because that dude is a beast. Now, let me go on ahead and finish off Buhan for good, because I remember this year, and towards the end of 2021, I believe, there were so many debates in regards to Kid Buu versus Buhan, and look at that, one punch off the cliff is all it really took. So, down goes Buhan, who's next? Janemba? All right, bet. Now, not for nothing, I would have loved to see Janemba, specifically Janemba, kind of be canonized for Super in a sense. You know, you know what I mean? We saw Black Armor Janemba, we saw Black Star Dragon, you know, Janemba and stuff like that. So, I don't know, for me, when looking back on Janemba's character, I think that he could have fit very well, but it is what it is for the time being. So, I don't know, should King Dan actually mod Black Armor Janemba? I think that'd be pretty simple, because... All you really have to do is just change his, you know, his skin color. That's essentially it. Vegeta needs to finish him off. Vegeta needs to finish. Yeah, it's it's done. And, and the thing is, too, I want to see, because I know you can mod Budokai. I know you can mod, obviously, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and Xenoverse 2 are the most modded games in Dragon Ball history, like bar none. 
but it'd be interesting to see if you can actually go back to like Budokai 3 and kind of mod that, you know what I mean? You can't really mod the gacha games like Legends or Dokkan, you know, but it is what it is. So Vegeta finishing off Janemba. Now what I want to do, I think my last opponent is Cell, and what I want to do is I want to give Cell a little bit of a beating with Vegeta, maybe. And then I'm going to swap out, look at him, I'm going to swap out for Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And I'm going to go in ahead and slap him around with that. So, like I said before, we had tons of crazy mods this year. But look at this. Just look at the transformation feature, right? It looks so brilliant. And then the shirt gets blown off, the hair is there. I wish we had, like, the Ultra Instinct aura, per se, but it is what it is. So, ending off 2022 with a fantastic game, I would argue to say. And I want to say thank you so much, guys, for just, again, being on the channel, supporting the channel, getting the merch, and all of your feedback and everything you guys have done really does go a long way. It went a long way. It's going a long way. We hit a million plus subs. It's been a roller coaster. So thank you so much for that. Thank you. And also follow me on the social media platforms that I always tell you guys to follow me on. Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff is located down below. Let me finish this dude off because I can tell Cell right now is... He's getting a little, he's getting a little too uh, ahead of himself because I, I guess he still believes that he has the edge over me. But again, this is Dragon Ball Z's cell, so there's no way, there's no way in hell. I mean, against MUI Goku, but I don't know. I, I, I just, I feel as though when I play as MUI Goku, there's something about him that just gives me an ass beating. Like I'm getting my ass kicked right now, dude. Look at this, full power death beam. I'm, I'm about to die. Like I'm literally about to die. I don't want to swap out with Vegeta. I mean, for obvious reasons, because obviously, I mean, Vegeta got two victories and I only have one. So I kind of want to make it even here, and I want to end it with MUI Goku. But I guess we'll see. But again, my appreciation, my gratitude is just through the roof. And, and all I could really say is thank you guys because you've made this year amazing. And I, I, I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to make next year, 2023, that much more amazing. So go back, watch some of the older stories. Go back, watch some of the older fan animations. Cell has been destroyed. Thank you all so much for watching this very special edition of the Gaming Roulette series. My name is Alex. Thank you so much for being here. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Hello. Did you know that you can stay up to date with the latest Dragon Ball content by simply subscribing to Unrelent Gaming? Also, don't forget to follow on these social media platforms, you sexy son of a bitch. Roshi. Silent Cell. Me and the fans are having a moment. That's right. I know what you want. Extra long, thick Dragon Ball content. Quality reviews with flawless editing. Yeah. Yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? You dirty bitch. Roshi, the fuck? God damn it, I need them to subscribe, Cell. And we're demonetized. Yeah, screw it. Let's cut to the video.